podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling. I'm done with fucking losing. I'm done with trying to learn the sweet science. It's war, it's just straight war. TheBoxingVoice.com As it stands, stop listening to the bullshit until it comes from me. He's got to come out here and try to take this dude's head off, or we, we got a rematch on our hands, man. I hope they can learn from my situation and not give up, like, stay strong, like. A man like me don't make no excuses. My boy Chisora said I can win this. I let the cat out of the bag, he's like, I'm going to whoop Usyk next fight. I'm going to beat him. Let's go, Tim. I'm going to take away them belts from him. Get out of y'all. And I'm going to reign again to become three-time heavyweight champion of the world. And the news. Stay hungry, stay humble. SDS Promotions. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's go, champ. Where's the rematch, champ? Like, I love that shit. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another edition of the Boxing Voice Radio. I am your host, Nesta Gibbs, joined alongside Marco Boxing, and we're here to discuss some boxing. We're going to be talking Anthony Joshua, obviously destroying Nagano. But what's next? Deontay Wilder, Philip Hergovich, you tell us what is going to be next for, you know, Anthony Joshua, because uh, everybody wants to know, right, after such a great performance. But a lot of people feel like, Marco, we're getting too hyped on this performance. He was a one and no novice, you know. Uh, people are too excited for Joshua. Um... Well, I don't think so. Do you? Um, I'm not going to use his resume against him, you know what I mean? I'm going to use just the last fight. You know, the fact that uh, he lasted with Fury 10 rounds, I think that was uh, the stripes he needed to earn, right? Like, at the end of the day, you know, I can't see me, you any common man lasting 10 rounds with, 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 with Fury. Like, I thought Fury would get him out of there eventually, and that never happened. Like, you, you went 10 with a novice, so, yeah, I think we should be excited about what AJ was able to do because he was able to do what Fury was not, which is treat that motherfucker like he don't belong. Fury made him look like he belonged, and yeah, that's, well, I think, the problem. At what point is it? Fury having an off night or not taking it seriously or probably a mix of both. And at what point is, you know, because everybody expected what Joshua did Fury to do. That's what um, I'm saying. I don't think it was off night. I think it's no. just, you know, one man took him seriously and maybe the other one didn't and then couldn't get the knockout because it's not like mid-fight he didn't know what was going on and, 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 and he didn't want to fucking stop this guy. At the end of the day, he was 0-0 with Tyson Fury. If anybody should have wanted to stop him, it's, it's fucking Fury. Let's not forget, Fury tried, man. The second that first bell rang, he, he let off some, some shit. But, yeah, sloppy over him, right? But, it, but he threw it hard for his standards, and it didn't do anything. Yeah, I mean, he didn't set it up like Joshua, you know what I mean? Joshua was poking that stomach to get uh, Francis to bite, to get him to drop, you know try to parry which was a bad parry. That was some MMA parry type shit he tried to do. Did the class... Why I'm not surprised, I tell people, is he did... When you're a novice, the most susceptible punch that you're susceptible to is a straight right hand. I mean, it's... And that is... It's just boxing 101. It, it, it's, a, it's rudimentary what he did. And then he also, one of the knockdowns, if you remember, was a, was a over the top of Ngannou's lazy jab. Boop. And that was it. And if you saw right before the fight, Joshua was hitting the pads, right? And he was extending that right hand. I mean, he was throwing it textbook. And that's exactly what he, I mean, he punched right through Nganu and 
Good night, Cameroon. Yeah, I mean, look, um, Philip Hergovich, one of the contemporaries of Joshua, was not impressed. He literally said, and I quote, I'm not so impressed. I thought it was going to end that way. That's the way fights have ended, end quote. Uh, not impressed at all with AJ. He did come back to say a guy who has a one fight fighting the former two-time heavyweight champion of the world. So that's the way it should be. I was expecting something similar results. I'm not so impressed. I am not sure what to be impressed with. Joshua did what he needed to do. So it's, a, he, it's not a huge deal. I think Nganu would finish in the way against a lot of top heavyweights. I guess, I meant, I guess they meant finish in that way against a lot of top heavyweights. Um, that knockout was so stunning. I don't think he would have had so much chance with any top heavyweight. But the, you see, that's the end quote. Excuse me. That's the, the lie, right? Because Fury is the top heavyweight, and, and, and he couldn't do that. Like, Fury made it look like a real fight where AJ... I mean, look, now we're using the word novice with Francis. It's something that really wasn't being used when, 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 when Fury faced him. You know, one guy made him look like he belonged, and the other guy made him look like I mean, he should stop fighting. I saw Fury interviewed, and he goes, you know, oh, I had some, you know, I had some stuff going on. I don't want to talk about it. No excuses. He's like, but I'll tell you one thing. If I was prepared, if things were proper, I'd beat him with one hand tied behind my back. And he goes, in a way, I was hoping Joshua would lose so I could rematch Ngannou because he was like, Ngannou's getting too cocky for my liking. Um, I kind of believe Fury. I, I think this was a case more Fury just not showing up, not taking it serious. I mean, you looked at his, at his waistline. That tells you he didn't take it. Look at the difference between him now and then in terms of just his fitness. Um, well, in terms of the waist, I don't know that it was visible. Obviously, you can tell that he's lost a significant amount of weight and that he looks good, but I don't know where that waistline is. You know, Fury's a guy that got that tire around his stomach no matter what. But speaking of Fury, I got some quotes from him as well because he was impressed. And I quote, I thought it was absolutely fantastic. It was a fantastic knockout. I almost got my prediction right because I had picked AJ to win inside of one round, but he got it in two. Okay, so we were wrong yesterday. We thought uh, he picked it in the correct round. Um, I mean, you know, it's just, uh, I think, Hergovich, it's a little bit of hate speech going on. I think, how can you not be impressed with somebody laying somebody out so beautifully, regardless of if he's an MMA guy or not? Um, what I'm not impressed with was Hergovich's performance against Yang, you know, uh, Maybe Hergovic is just trying to talk himself up, trying to talk the fight up, trying to stir something up. Because really, who does Joshua fight next? He can't fight Usyk or Fury. They're tied up for two fights. Um, he could, I guess, possibly fight Wilder, but nobody really wants to fight Wilder right now because of his bad performance. He, uh, he could fight. But if you're AJ, wait a minute. If you're AJ, why not jump on that performance? Like I'm not saying yeah, he Parker, should. Yeah, Parker beat him, but he didn't stop him. I'm not saying he shouldn't. And but it could be the same him. effect. Look at who's getting more credit right now today, AJ or Tyson, Fury. Right. So right. so all AJ got to do is come in there and do better than Joseph Parker. Well, like here's Parker, what I think, right? So he can't fight Parker, or he could, but they already fought. He could fight Parker, but they already fought. So those three, I'm thinking this: AJ in a in a showdown of Britain against Dubois. That'd be a nice tune-up. Keep him sharp. It would draw a lot of British fans. Boom. Then he gets the winner of, of Dubois, Usyk Fury. I, I hear that Dubois was hoping to had, uh, I think, fought um, Zhang. I think that was the plan, that if he beat Zhang, he was supposed to fight Zhang. So I don't know that Dubois' trajectory is to the top with AJ. I think they are going to reserve the top for the top. And that's why uh, the two names I'm thinking is Hergovic and Wilder. You know, Hergovic on the tougher side, Wilder on the give the people what they want. And if he, if we're basing it off of his last performance, you know, AJ well, might does, destroy that guy. Does Wilder need to have one more dominant performance first? I like, think we can't keep building it. No. Like, we've been building the fight and then AJ lost. 
Then we were building the fight, and then Fury beat Wilder. And then we build in the fight, and then Wilder loses the part. It's like, yo, we got to just stop building. Just fucking give us the fight. You know, I really don't want it, but since AJ's win, people are still like, oh, he knocks out Wilder. This version of AJ beats Wilder. I'm like, wow, y'all still really want this fight. Well, um, this I don't version mind of AJ it. beats the version of Wilder we just saw, but what about the version of Wilder we saw 40 somewhat times before that? Which one yeah, I mean, the issue with that is does that version of Wilder exist is what, you know, I, I'm assuming even Wilder fans are contemplating at this point. We haven't seen that version of him since maybe Dominic Brazil. Well, he, he looked pretty explosive against Fury, even though he ended up losing overall. He looked explosive in, 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 in spurts. Yeah, but Wilder right? was known as a finisher. So yeah. now, we're, now we're subject to giving him credit for explosiveness, like, Again, I, you know, I haven't yeah. seen that dominance since the, the Brazil days. Yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe yeah. some will say Hellenius, but that new style that he demonstrated mm. in the Hellenius fight, it gives me the shades of the um, fight with Parker. Parker. And yeah. I just feel like, okay, that's the same shit he did there. And he just, yep. it didn't show yeah. itself. It wasn't revealed. Um, and that punch was more had people like, how did that just do that much damage he was on his back foot he didn't play like that punch for me was more i was more curious like damn that's how'd that even work it made you think wilder is so scary though at the time i just I hate man that these guys think they're they're greater than you know the fighters before them you know uh joe lewis what's the famous phrase marco you're older you can than me run but you can't hide the other phrase the joe other lewis. joe lewis phrase right you can run, but you can't hide. It was only one Joe Lewis made famous. Knock it the fuck off. Well, what you talking about? The one with the club? Am I confusing the fighter? Yeah, I don't know what you're. You're cash wheezy. You're lying. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna club. text it because I don't want to. Uh, if you're right, I don't want to be a fool. But I think you're lying to me. Club? What are you talking about? A club? His I, famous one is your Rico Rumble. I bet you people it. in the chat already know what I'm talking about. Fucking Marcos, I swear. You better be playing Cash Weezy here. Am I wrong about that? Oh, bum of the month. Whoa! What if I'm wrong? You're just going to throw it out there like that? Thank no, you, no, no, Marcos. No, you're right. You're right. I wouldn't have said it. Bum of the month club, yes. All right. So then why can't these fucking guys go back to that? Like, if, if, if Joe Lewis did it, and guess who else did it? George Foreman. Nobody fights once a month anymore, though. That's just, but, that's a lost but, art. But, Marco, that's what I'm saying. Why are they acting greater than the greats? If, oh. like, Wilder needs to fucking get at it. Bro, go back to fucking Tuscal. You got the money. You don't even need nobody. You just need rounds. It's sparring without headgear. That's the mentality. Let's work on shit. We can't keep waiting. Do you want to be cool boy Steph tomorrow? Man, get me a fight? Like, on Twitter, who is he talking to? <laughs> get you a fight? Who is he talking to? Like, Wilder got it. These dudes got a, got a strike now. Like, look. I don't know if Wilder Al Heyman and to... those people can only put you in the big position, but it's up to you to be prepared for that. So getting an off-TV fight or getting a, you know, I'm sure one of these other, these guys are 1099s anyway. So one of these other promoters on a lower level would be ecstatic to have them selling tickets, you know? I, I don't yeah. get it. They definitely, because look, look at what you're saying. Oh, well, don't you think Wilder needs one before good? Like, bro, we going to keep waiting because he needs one? Like, you should have oh, been got one. I don't talk like that, but I get what you're saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just because I feel like the fans, we need to, because Wilder looked so bad his last fight, we want to see shades of that explosive knockout because he's going to... I mean, I guess it doesn't matter, but... Bro, it, imagine it, Wilder on a main event fucking pro box destroying, like, Curtis Harper, you know? Or, or what's a more durable heavyweight? Because Curtis Harper, you know, he might walk out the ring. But we need, like, a durable journeyman heavyweight and just fucking throw him on pro box and get your rounds off, you know what I'm saying? Bro, uh, yeah. I would say Gerald Miller because he's durable in terms of being able to take shots. We've seen how many he was able to take from Dubois, but obviously that's not a that's not an off TV fight or a small TV fight. That's a real, real fight. 
Um, but he yeah. certainly needs someone that can give him at least eight rounds. Someone that's going to, you know, someone like Gerald Miller. Someone just like Gerald Miller that can absorb, that can smother, that can maul, and that can about, be there. That can be there that more. Wilder can hit. So that Dubois. Wilder can practice throwing these shots again. My motherfucker ain't throw shots in the Joe Parker fight. He needs a walking punching bag that's durable. Daniel Dubois. That's, bro, that's danger. You kidding me? I, I mean, we just seen that. Like, I'm respecting Dubois as of yesterday, excuse me, Friday. He, ha I've always respected him, but I, but his level... Like he's rise, he's ri he's risen to me because of Lerena. Lerena showed us with 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 with, with Justice Huni. Like Huni, he was in a fight with Lerena. Dude, that Dubois destroyed in three. Like Dubois' power is real. Look at what he did to my guy again. I, you know, they call me biased, but when I'm rooting for a guy and you destroy him, I'm a fan of you. He he beat the he beat the Brooklyn out of motherfucking uh. Big baby, you know what I'm saying? Beat the stuffing out that guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a roof yeah. for Dubois at this and point. And there was a 100-pound weight difference, too, which to me is insane. Yeah, I don't think Dubois Wilder right now. If you want to retire Wilder, then yeah. Mm. Or if, not that, not to say that he can, ride, you know, he will retire Wilder, but that fight can lead to retirement. Like, if he does win... Wilder might consider not coming back. And that's a fight yeah. that Dubois can win. Yeah, I mean, you know, Malik Scott was telling me that Wilder has his fire back. This was relatively recently, so I don't know. Of course, I don't know. Hopefully he does. Yeah, I mean, that. I mean, look, if, 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 if they're not looking for a tune-up the way you are and Turkey Alashik is willing to pay for it, you know, I just just give it to the people that you know that still want it. Give them AJ Wilder, you know, no mm -hmm. tune up, the way that it is. If if they're gonna give Wilder another tune up the way you recommended, I believe Gerald Miller. Now that I'm talking out loud, that we we need that fight. Let Turkey Alashik pay for that fight, and let Wilder, you know, get back with that fight. That's I mean, adorable but, dude that's going to give us some good, decent rounds out of Wilder. And uh, he's not a mover like Parker. He ain't got that lateral move, that head move, that Parker, that he did. He did for Wilder to try, try shit. Um, and that's what yeah. I want. I just want to see Wilder let his hands go again. Let him get confident again and let him get happy. I want to see some juke moves. You know what I'm saying? Like, get back to the Stavern Wilder. That might be, uh, that might be over, man. Again. Because he's not a happy fighter. Give him, give him ten people to fucking knock over and and earn, get that confidence back, that fire. You know, guys that you could pay, I don't know, fucking maybe fifty grand. That's probably too much. Cause then now we we got to sell some tickets. You know what I'm saying? So might need somebody to take a little bit less than that. Uh, but uh, we need well, we might... need a couple of those. He might not have it. I mean, uh, you know, I went through this, too, and he said this recently. He goes, remember after the fight, he goes, well, I'm in a happier place in my life. You know, things are going well. I, I don't have that fire, that rage in me. And, and I've been there. I know what that's like. You know, when you get older, you know, as we all get older, most of us calm down. You know, you figure things out. You get less. He just might be at that point in his life. And you need to have, I don't care what anybody says, you need to have that fire in you. You can call it controlled rage. You can call it anger. You can call it whatever you want to call it, but you got to have that. And he might've lost it. It might just, you know, in natural progression and maturity of life. Listen, no one wants to believe that Wilder is done. Uh, you know, he brought too much excitement to the heavyweight division. We have a person that's willing to give us the fight we've been wanting for years. Um, we're all hoping that he can get back on the wagon. You know, get back on there, uh, on the horse, and 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 you know, be that, be who he was. Um, he I just needs like... rounds. He just needs rounds, bro. You need look at look at Joe Parker and and AJ. They are the perfect example. They each have what four, four or five fights apiece. Mm. Um, since since their losses, AJ is on his fourth fight, and let me see what what we got with Parker. 
Parker is on. Damn, Parker's the number three heavyweight on BoxRec. Sweet. Salute to you. It should be. Parker, oh my God, Parker's on a one, two, three, four, five. So one more than than AJ. Uh, but look at these names. You know, Jack Massey and whoever this hometown guy is. That's what I'm telling Wilder. Go fight a Tuscaloosa dude, bruh. You know, you know who's a good dude? That mm. he sparred. Um, might he might knock him out, he might not because he's so familiar with him. But he could do rounds. Uh, Alonzo Butler. People are gonna laugh, but this is what Wilder should do. Give these guys opportunities while working on shit. You give a guy like Alonzo Butler his biggest payday, which will be what? Maybe 50K, 25K, whatever, 35K. Sell a bunch of tickets in your hometown to cover his purse. You don't really need the money. You want the rounds. Mm. It, you know what I mean? It's free to him. Paying for spawn, he pays for spawn. He flies them out. He puts them up and he feeds them. It's cheaper to just set up a fight and sell tickets. And you ain't even you ain't you ain't coming out your fucking pocket. And you getting the rounds in, man. Um, I hear everybody with the wild that don't got the fire, but that's how you get it back. Knocking motherfuckers over. You get that fire back. You start believing. You know you used you you the person you used to be. Mm. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's, it's it goes a little deeper than that. I don't know. We'll see. I guess we'll see. I'm more curious about who AJ is going to fight next because it's nothing really there. So people thinking that Wilder versus Chisora could be next in, in Saudi Arabia. I think that's the perfect fight, mm. you mm -hmm. know, um, in terms of a guy that's durable. You know, I mean, look, now it's it's sad because once upon a time I thought Wilder would knock out Chisora. But but now, you know, Chisora is is more rugged than Joe Parker. Uh he's not as skilled as Joe Parker, so he m may still get knocked out. He can't slip that right. Uh but he he brings a lot of pressure more than Parker, and Wilder mm -hmm. was on that back foot. That's a that's a good fight. That's a good fight, yeah. man. It's a fight that I've always wanted, which is unfortunate because it's like so many years. Like, I wanted that when, when Eddie was offering Chisora for $5 million and Dillian White for $8 million, then get the AJ fight. I'm like, bro, take all that shit. That's free money. Back then, you know, we talking undefeated, Wilder knocking everybody out. We, we, we had no clues about the little chinks in his armor that he has in terms of defense. Um, so... You know, wow. don't forget, we need you to hit that thumbs up button if you want to get that live chat open right now. We got more people watching than the amount of thumbs up we need to open up that live chat. So don't forget to do that so that you can let your fellow man in who is not a member. Right now, it's members only mode. Salute to my members who help keep the lights on. Take advantage of being a member and get early release of all our interviews and all our shorts Everything that me and Danny upload outside of what we do on a podcast, members get early release to. No matter what level you're on, you get to see everything before everyone else. Um, so you don't want Wilder versus AJ next. You want Wilder to get the tune-up. No, no, I'll watch it. I just think it's not going to be – it's not going to create as much – it's not going to stir up as much anticipation. So basically you would prefer him to get a tune-up. I prefer him to get a tune-up, but then who does AJ fight? That's Hergovich. We didn't even touch on that. Southpaw Hergovich. You know, I think AJ stops him. Uh, I, I thought Zhang beat him. Um, yeah, me too. I thought Zhang beat him too. I, I feel that he also has uh, tank issues. Um, and her, I'm speaking Hergovich. And uh, Eric Molina landed a... a, a a crazy right hand on her division that I can never get out of my mind. And, mm. uh, yeah, I mean, the guy with the perfect right hand seems to be AJ, you know. Uh, he's put that on display in many uh, occasions. I mean, obviously, Charles Martin, counterpunch comes to mind, and yesterday's, uh, Sat Friday's counterpunch comes to mind. And I'm sure people can think of others, you know. 
I mean, he yeah. even countered Ruiz. He, he lost that fight, but he countered the fuck out of Ruiz. So that upper uppercut against Klitschko almost took his shit off. You know, so uh, I like specifically his right hand versus Hergovic, who got hit by Molina. Now, again, Southpaw versus Orthodox is it's probably doesn't matter who who the person is throwing the right hand, but. Uh, yeah, I would lean AJ. Just experience, too. You know, Hergovic is a guy that has good experience in the amateurs, but I feel like he's old now and hasn't mm -hmm. done anything, you know? Like, I mean, nope. I, he's probably AJ's age and hasn't done what AJ's done, but somehow considered a boogeyman. Okay, so he's 31, which is probably two years younger than AJ. And, bro, he hasn't even won a title yet. Yeah, why is he not progressed? I, I don't know. I mean, maybe the belts have always been forever, you know, with someone. But but he doesn't even have like look look at Zhang. Zhang suffered a loss, had a draw, and still has a bigger win than Hergovic. Mm hmm. Yep. So yep. Uh, yeah, I don't know, yep. man. Hergovic is like this guy that we used to think was like gonna be. Something in the division, and people used to like, you know, before I left Twitter, people used to be like always putting the the the, the Wilder and Hergovic sparring on Twitter, and it's like, bro, where's the guy that sparred Wilder? It's like yeah. not here. He really you know, good he, he's, in that video. He never, but he, he again, I thought he lost the Zhang fight. Uh, There's not Molina, one heavyweight. Molina definitely showed me some stuff. I don't know. He, he we only. We he only really got one heavyweight him. in their twenties. That's the that's in the discussion, which is Jared Anderson. Isn't that crazy? Um, everybody's nah, thirties I mean, and forties. Really? How old is Zadjik Kabayel? Let me check. Uh, uh, let me what check. What about uh, a jog? A not a jogba. No, jogba's jog old. It's got to be old. I mean, everybody's advanced, mid thirties to late thirties. And some 40. Magic Cabobel is 31. There you go. Nobody in the 20s but Jared Anderson. Hmm. Weird, right? I mean, Justice can't be. He's got to be in his 20s. Yeah, he's 24. Justice Hooney. That's a good fight for Jared. That's a good about, fight for Jared. You know what's a good fight for Jared? Jared versus Frank Sanchez. How old is Bacoli? Bacoli is 30. Just just on that. Uh, what about think, Sanchez? He is 31. 30, he's 31. Wow. But I think him versus Jared would be a good fight. Who? Sanchez? Yep. I there guess. I mean, Jared's a, he's certainly aggressive enough or can get aggressive enough to to catch the uh, boxer. Cassius Taney is what? 36. Fucking hell. Yeah, man. Wow. All these all these guys are, all the heavyweights are older. Did Jermaine me. Franklin turn 30? Oh, yeah, he's 30. Yeah, I mean, look, bro, you know you know what they say. We, we as Americans lose the heavyweights to uh, other sports, you know? What do you think about White versus Wilder? I seen that uh I would screen share, but I'm blocked on the boxing voice. He didn't block me on my personal, but um I seen that White is having a tune up. You see what I'm saying? He blocked you? <laughs> oh yeah, he been I mean, you know the Wilder days, bro, you know. Fucking hell. You know, you ride, uh, you, you ride for your fighter and you 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 get blocked for your fighter. That's how it are goes. Are you a big man. Wilder fan back in the day? I mean, this was the wild the voice. That's what I'm saying. These these fans are like weird. Like this first was like originally, this was uh, the Danny Garcia voice. Okay. And then that changed to the Sean Porter voice, then the Ken Porter voice because I was having Ken on as much as I have Bill, so this became okay. the Ken Porter voice. Then from Ken we switched to the Keith Thurman voice because Keith gave me the spawn between him and. Sean, so Ken and Sean cut me off for a couple of years, and this became the Keith Thurman voice. So would they like say something to you, or they would just block you? No, I mean ignore, block, all that good stuff. Everything that has to do with that. Not Ken and Sean they though. They just, you know, we just took some years off, but it worked out. 
That's wild. I mean, and then and then you then you started following. You had Wilder on a lot. No, I I did six six straight camps, bro. Damn. I spent I spent seven days for seven for six straight camps. So like I had a week and for every camp for like six. Was I'm this the Bre- when Breland was training him? Yes, Breland, JDs, Malik Scott was always there though. He was always there. Always you, did. Wilder didn't block you now, did he? No, he didn't block me. He just doesn't talk to me. <laughs> so it's a lot of broken relationships, huh? Yeah, I mean, you know, um, this is they want you to be like football or other sports where it's like you lose your quarterback and you're still an Eagles fan. You know what I mean? It's like Marino left. You still got to fuck with the Dolphins, you know, and it's like. That's not nah, boxing. You know no, what I mean? You, like you gotta... in boxing, first of all, it's 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 ridiculous to compare boxing to those other sports because those guys play so many games. So uh-huh. so you do have the ability to say, I had an off night. My dude, you right. fight twice a year. Don't hit me with the I had an off night when it cost me eighty dollars or it cost me a thousand dollars to get to your fight or it cost me a thousand dollars to buy a ticket for your fight. Like I don't want to hear that off night shit. You got three hundred sixty five mm-hmm. days to give us a perfect night. Like you know what I mean? And that's just the issue with those other sports comparing it to this sport. Like the fandoms can't be the same. We're, those 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 sports are allowed to critique quarterbacks and running backs and linemen and all that funny shit. In this sport, you do that, you're not a fan of that team anymore, quote unquote, person, because you critique them. And it's mm. like, what the fuck you want me to say? You wasn't letting your hands go in the Parker fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, it's the heavyweight division though, man. You know? Not everybody trains the same way. Like, Fury is special. You know, Jared Anderson is special. Uh, heavy weights that run the amount of miles those two gentlemen run will be successful no matter what. Um, you know, I know people look at the Jared fight with Charles Martin and they think they see something, but that's still a 23-year-old guy getting the experience. You know, give him two, three more years of experience and the consistent ridiculous runs that he does, he's going to mm. destroy people, you know? like, yeah. And he's a student of the game. Like, he's literally learning how to fight Southpaw before our eyes, you know? I was – I had the pleasure of watching him spar, like, two people practicing Southpaw, high-level guys. Like, who practices Southpaw with Johnny Rice or with Tony mm. Yoka? You know what I mean? But the dude is good like that. So, you know, I know he's got his issues like everyone. You know, we all got issues in life. Hopefully that sorts itself out and he can rise to the top because I I, I believe he has the talent, the agility and the athleticism uh, to be one of those special heavyweights. Uh, I still want my fight. And I hate that Fabio Wortley hasn't gotten – uh, as popular as a Jarrett so that we can be demanding that fight because that's something we need, bro. Um, and maybe maybe that can be his nemesis in the future. Maybe like Tyson, who was that? You know, you you the older guy. Help me. Tyson versus what was that guy? Frank Bruno. So maybe, mm. at, maybe Jared, you know, maybe Jared's Frank Bruno can be Wally. And I get it. Wally isn't, you know, he, he started like in a prize fighter type situation. So a lot of these UK purists, are down on him. Like, they don't want to give him the credit he deserves because it's like, oh, you know, he was a prize fighter or whatever the fuck, he, you know, whatever his humble beginnings were, but that's why he's special. Dude ain't even supposed to fucking be here. So uh, I like him, man. And I think uh, the reason I'm bringing him up is because I think he matches Jared's athleticism in the ring. And I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm super excited to see that fight. I'm hoping, like, wow, the speaker, believe it, receive it. I can continue to talk it up and and hopefully get it to happen. Um, yeah, because that'll oh, be a I, great ma- style just, of mat, uh, you know, matchup of styles. Jared just has a, you know, he's talked about his his. He doesn't seem like he loves the sport, which hopefully won't affect him eventually in the ring. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you know, he's going through some things, but those are the types of things that can 
really make you focus, you know, realizing that something can pass you by, such an opportunity, it can it can get him right on track. Look, his fight is still scheduled. Uh, they haven't said that, uh, you know, they're, they're postponing it or canceling it for that matter. So, you know, um, let's hope that he's able to do his thing. I, you can tell that they're being careful because of because of the opponent. I mean, this opponent, he lost to Lerena, who Huni just beat. So, yeah, you know, we'll see. Yeah, yeah we'll we see. will see. We will see. It's, uh, but he's the only heavyweight prospect, uh, the only player in the heavyweight division in his 20s. Weird. Yeah. I mean, you got uh, Atama. What is it? Moses Atoma? I have no idea who that is. Yeah, he's 18 years old. He's actually a powerhouse. Uh, young kid okay. with Frank Warren. Who else you got? I'm pretty sure Adelaide who suffered the loss. Oh, and and let me check Fabio Worley. Like, uh, we've been talking about it, but I didn't even say, you know, his age. I don't think he's – he can't be 30. Fuck around, be 30 since he started in that – in that, that league. Okay, right under 30, 29. Okay. Born 1994. Um, and, and I'm sure Adelaide would be in his 20s. Again, these are UK heavyweights, but look, it's this is international boxing, right? Frazier Clark. Oh, well, he's 32. Damn. Somebody said I should have known by his hairline. Uh, Adelaide is still 27. Okay. Adelaide is still 27, so... Who else is out there? What about Bakalov, ja ba Bakadir Jalalov? Well, how old is he? Uh, I mean, uh -huh. and obviously it's rhetoric. I'm not expecting you to know off top. He is 29. He is okay. 29. Cool. And he's been slow road, let me tell you. This poor kid has been pro. Let me just look this up. He's been pro forever, bro. Look, 2018. <laughs> God damn, what a shit. Crazy. What a There's shit guy run. Who, who, who I Six was years? What's that? Six years? Jesus Christ, yeah. bro. There's another guy who I thought was going to make noise. Mahmoudov, is that his name? Yeah, that's the one they hey. lost, right? Oslin Beck? Yeah, he lost. He lost yeah. to Caballero. Yeah. yeah, how old is he? He must be in his 20s. He's Let me a see. scary he... looking motherfucker. Let me... Yeah, well, he ain't scary looking no more after getting beat to the body. The, the jig is up. <laughs> the jig is up. The scare. The, what was it? Was the guy from Game of Thrones? The mountain ain't about shit. Ain't that the dude's name from Game of Thrones? This mountain right here. You hit him to the body and he deflates like a hot air balloon. B. This guy's thirty four yeah. though. It's a wrap. Thirty four and body issues is a wrap for him. Wow, he's thirty four. And everybody's going to the body on that guy moving forward. I know, just like Usyk. Just like Usyk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usyk, I mean, all the top, matter of fact, all the top heavyweights are damn near 40. Top heavyweights damn near 40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Because because that era's leaving. Like, bro, mm -hmm. what 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 Olympic run? I mean, bro, think about it. Tyson Fury was trained by Emmanuel Stewart. Like, he had a, he, had, he went Briefly, over there. but yeah. I mean, he went over there, but that's how long, yeah. like, he's been around. He, you know, he was around when Stewart was a fucking live. So, uh, yeah, man, um, those heavyweights, it's, it's, it's time for them to, to be gone. And the, the youngest new eras one, to come in. The youngest one's probably AJ of the top guys, right? What's AJ, like 34? No, I think he's 33. He's the youngest one. I thought he was old, and then I'm like, wait. I mean, I thought he was younger than that. I thought he was still 28. Motherfucker already 33. Mm-hmm. 34. 34, yeah. 30 Fuck. Wilder. Wilder's I mean, Wilder 36, 37. Mm-hmm. And Usyk's what, 38 or some shit? 36? Is he really? Something like that. 36, maybe? Oh, man. All like that. If you remember. Yo, that's crazy. On box track, Tyson Fury's number four heavyweight. I, he ain't even mad because Joe Parker's like his best friend. You're right. That's Usyk wild. is 37. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm switching my pick again. I, have, <laughs> I always have Fury beating him. But then I'm like, man, maybe Fury old ass going to get out boxed right now. But the older man is fucking Usyk? Wow. Yep. 37. Yep. I don't know. You, oh, man, I don't know. 
That's what I'm saying, man. Like, it's so tough in the heavyweight division, though. Do you remember Dubois is 26, like, bro? Dubois is 26. 26. He, that's he, by a, the way, damn, he looks that's 42. a fucking good age, bro. He could take over. But he looks 42. But whatever. Dubois? He, to me, he looks old. He has bro, old energy to me. I bro, don't know why. You're fucking wowing. I think he has old energy. I mean, maybe he acts 30, whatever you that's said. That's what I'm saying. But you yeah. said he looks. I'm like, how? He looks fucking. But do you nah. remember, like, he's you just, and me are only about... He's just one of those, like, uh, Green Mile guys, you know, like Humble Giants. You and me are only, like, five years apart, right? So do you remember when, in the 80s and 90s, when, when you hit 30, even in basketball, even in most sports, but in boxing, 30 was, like, that age where you're about to, it's time to hang them up. Do you remember that? Well, I can't say that I do. No, nah, it's always no, it's always been like that, bro. It's always been like that. I think that I feel like that heavyweights always had an extended shell life. They were the only ones that got respect um because 36 was considered their prime. Like 33 to 36 is like their prime or so, or 30 to 33. I, some I shit like that. 30 was right around when people started talking about hanging it up. Yeah, no, 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 but heavyweights. Heavyweights are, you know, we don't get uh, young heavyweights, so I feel like heavyweights were always in their prime around 30s to 33s, you know, even 36. And then for every other weight, yes, 30s was considered old until we got, you know, these guys like B-Hop and Floyd and Pacquiao and Oscar that they've, they have they extended that uh, for boxing fans. Now we see that more and more older guys in lower divisions fighting longer. Like, how old is fucking Chocolatito right now? That's what I'm saying. And it's just, it, that was my point. Like, it's really progressed. The, now, they really, 30 is the new 40. Now, now, 40 is the age where people are like, all right, a couple more fights, you should probably stop. But that used to be 30 for everybody watching. In the 80s and 90s, that was 30. Now it's 40. Literally yeah, no, and, jump. And, and that's what I'm saying. I feel like we've seen certain athletes show you that they can go past that, you know, mythical number of I'm done, and that has encouraged more people to do the same. Like, well, it's also advancements in exercise, science, sports and science for sure. Absolutely, right? Nutrition. The training, the training is different. You know, yep. some people don't do all the road work no more. You know, they live by other things. They talk about swimming or, you know, different things to not deteriorate the knees so they can get more shelf life out mm -hmm. of their bodies. And so the it's, it's really about, you know, the tweaks that have been made in training. Mm -hmm. Again, mm -hmm. that's why I brought up Pacquiao. Like, some of these guys push that bar further than others. Um, and, it, and it always came because they had great camps. I know. I mean, even Floyd, man. Floyd looks great still. Still. Oh, yeah, of no. course. Alexander so. Wilson, first Super Chat of the day, says $2. He says, no love for Martin Bacoli. I mean, we brought him up. We brought him up. And uh, the only love I got for Bacoli is that I always wanted him and Big Baby Miller. I would love that fight. And I don't know, did him and Dubois ever fight? Because I would love that fight. Dubois and uh, Bacoli. Bacoli, I would love that fight. Baby Miller versus Bacoli, I would love that fight. Um, fuck Zhang, let you know, let go of your rematch. Fight Bacoli, get back in the mix in another big fight, and let Parker go on and do whatever he got to do, and fight Bacoli. That's a good fight because you know styles make fights. You know what I mean. Like, Zhang, mm -hmm. in order to beat Parker, Zhang is going to have to train ridiculously. He's going to have to, you know, he's got to throw more punches. He was literally outworked, bro. Like, and he's going to have to move more to, to cut the distance and be able to work. I don't know. But Ruiz is also 34 years old. Poor guy. That's crazy, wow. bro. Wow, we when's don't even talk about Ruiz. When's the last? I know, no, he's so irrelevant, bro. He let his dad destroy his career, bro. Crazy. You think that's, you dude, think that's what dude, it is? dude, dude became who he was with one win. Comes into the rematch overweight, still doesn't get humbled. Head big as a kite, does a pay per view after that, 
that fails, still doesn't get humble. He all, even got dropped in that fight, too. It's crazy. Again, uh, what's his face? What's his name? Ariola. Ariola, yeah. And he should have destroyed Ariola. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. Like, the dude never got humble, bro. I was so happy for Andy. I was one of those weird fanboys talking about, man, fuck that rematch. I literally was the one that gave his ass the idea. The minute he knocked out AJ, I'm like, bro, fight Ariola in L.A. Fuck them rematches. You know what I'm saying? And look, they still ended up doing it, but how you going to do it off a loss? Like, bro, they, uh -huh. they, 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 they treated that career crazy, man. You think he's done? I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, if 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 Turkey Alashi got money for him, I could see it. But obviously, he, he, you know, he's got a high mandatory minimum. That why else is he on the shelf for all these years? That's too bad, man. Because he he has unbelievably fast hands for somebody his size. I don't know. I don't even see. I think they drop Andy from the rankings. But does Boxrec drop you too? Is he on Boxrec? I, I mean, I don't see him. I'm gonna have to put his name. I don't even see him in the rankings. Wow. That's crazy. This is what I'm saying. Dudes make a little bit of money, and I obviously a little bit, by a little bit, I mean a lot. And right. they just and they're just like, fuck it, I'm done, bro. I got good enough money. Fuck it. He hasn't fought since 2022 September, man. Damn shame. And that was Ariola, and then before that, it was what? It was just it AJ? was it was AJ AJ Ariola um, uh, Ortiz like AJ ruined his career. Oh, he fought Ortiz, right? He beat Ortiz, right? Yeah. That was a good win. I mean, I guess. And Ortiz, there's another one. Ortiz that, is that fight would have that, that fight would have been received better if it wasn't on pay per view. But again, Mr. High Mandatory Minimum, all his That's, fights, all his fights got to be on pay per view, even coming off of the worst performance of his life in the AJ2 That's, fight. This is across the board. Why do you think none of the four horsemen, as I call them, want to fight each other? It's all, I need this much money. I need these stipulations. It's in boxing across the board. Everybody's pricing themselves out. And that's the only negative thing that's going to come from Turkey Al-Sheik is because a lot of those guys on his cards are getting whatever they want, everybody's going to think that it should be that way. Yeah, but he stepped in because we ain't been getting it. So he's like, bro, if money's the issue, here's the fucking money. Get in there and fight. So don't blame him because before him, we wasn't even getting it. No, no, I'm not blaming. I'm just saying if he uninvolves himself, there might be a precedent set. But how can people are if he uninvolves himself, we won't get what we've been getting. Like he's given us like he's given us. And then, you know, you like, for instance, you might get in Ganu AJ, something we didn't ask for. But you got a, a good matchup. It didn't end up playing out that way you know i think nick ball's dirty moving forward but mm -hmm. the nick ball ray vargas fight was a good fight the the, the joe parker zang that's a good fight you know th they gave us that like we would we probably wouldn't otherwise get that because these guys want so much money to fight anyone with a threat mm -hmm. yep agreed i don't know we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens is uh there's a lot of uncertainty in the heavyweight division right now. Who's fighting who next? All we know is we got the Undisputed coming, but everything else is up in the air. Word. Shout out to Luke Santa Maria. Touchdown. He fighting this week on Pro Box. That's good. Word, man. That's what I'm saying, bro. These guys got to get on Pro Box. That's a PBC fighter he got on Pro Box, man. It's like... I'm not about to stay inactive, bro. Like we got to, we got to keep the juices flowing so that when I do get the big call, I'm 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 ready to rock and roll. It's just mm -hmm. the, just the most. I don't know. We got, yeah, man, wild. It's a there's definitely a new crop is gonna be floating in soon because like we just established, everybody's at the twilight of their career in the heavyweight division, all of them. Except Jared. Let me see this Ray Rod edit right here. I'm about to screen share with y'all. My man stay making some fly shit. He has the look of defeat on his face. A bewildered look.
know why they do that to Fury, yo. <laughs> yo, I love how they did Fury like that. Then they go when AJ did this motherfucking gun gun signal with his fingers. They made him flick a coin at Fury to Sonic coins. I love this guy, Ray Rod. So wait, that that gun flicker was at Fury? I mean, we all assumed it was. I guess Ray Rod did too. Who else, bro? That's messed up. Look, look at look at AJ's face. Uh, not AJ. And Ganu's face when he nah, got he, up. He was gone, bro. Not he, gone. see, not the first. He wasn't gone the first knockdown. It was more like, what? Like he was in such utter shock. His head got that big that he could not fathom that he just got knocked down bro. by a boxer in his second ever fight. I don't even know that it had anything to do with a boxer. I think it it, it, it was all punch. Like, you heard him at the post fight. He's like, bro, I didn't even feel it. I, I just knew I was knocked out when I woke yeah, up. Yeah, but that was the second, the second or third. The first knockdown, he was fine. It was a, it was a flash. He was okay. But he was just, that, that face was after the first knockdown. <laughs> he just couldn't believe it. Oh, That's man, these guys are funny in the chat. They said, wow, this alarm clock is set for 1 p.m. 1 p.m. ain't bad. Remember that Floyd trained that <laughs> night. Floyd trained that night. You get, you know, he, he said, you fight at night, you train at night. Yo, if Earl is special, he'll have a, a, a second half of his career and win a title. He's 34. So you think that's going to happen? So he could be one of the B-hop type. Is that going to happen? What do you think? Like I said, he if he's special, he could. He could be a B-hop and get a title. 34, fight, fight until you 40. B-hop never took a merciless ass whooping like that, though. No, I mean, you know, look, I'm not talking about his laws. You know what I mean? You got to move past that. A lot but of sometimes people, a lot of people, people took ass whoopings. Listen, all I'm saying is this. I learned my lesson with boxing. When AJ lost to Ruiz, I said, oh, he should retire. Then he loses back to back to 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 Usyk. Oh, he should retire. Wilder loses back to back. Oh, he should retire. And none of these guys retired. And look at where they at now. Like, you know, we are wrong. We just think in the moment. Um, you know, we don't know what they have left and what they can give. And obviously, AJ is a prime example of having so much more to give. You know, well, very few fighters have retired when they should in history. Very few. I mean, it's hard. That's what I'm saying. You, If you're a competitor, you always think you can win. It's also, people don't realize, you know, I had it on a very minor level, but, you know, when you have all the lights on you, all the people cheering, all that, that's like a drug. And that is very hard to walk away from. Tell me about it. FYI, Chris Eubank is 34 years old. Is he fighting Bud ne for sure? Ne never won a world title. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna fight Bud at for least, sure? At least Earl's thirty-four, three-time champ. You you think Eubanks gonna fight Bud? Yeah, I mean, you know, a rap money. Mm -mm -mm. Eh, well, how about that song go? You from New York? How it go? Highline, highline, hickey, I love. You know what I'm talking about? Like that. That that motherfucking a rap money, baby. That's a lot of money, man. You can't say no to that. And, and look, you got to assume it's the setup, bro. Like, it is what it is, man. Like, it, it, this, I'm at the point today that I was at the day that we did the second Frank Tank show. It's like, I gave my outrage. Y'all not outraged like me. Y'all not real fans like me. It's okay. So now we back to reality, the reality we live in, and he's doing it. Because it's the Saudi money, and those same Saudi people hope to get Canelo in September. That's it. I gotta, I gotta live in that bubble with them. Who do they want Canelo to fight in September? Hmm. Who do they want Canelo to fight in September? Who else? Terence Bud Crawford. That's why they're giving him the Eubank fight. Why? To like a tune-up? Introduction to their people. Eubank already fought over there versus, I think, Liam Smith or some shit. Okay. And then, you know, you go beat Eubank up over there, call out Canelo in front of the Prince, in front of the Turkey Alice Sheik. I'll tell you, man, I don't like that fight for Bud. Which, I think it's... Which one? Eubank. Man, he's stopping Eubank. So, I don't know. Y'all funny probably, as hell. I don't even know what's wrong with y'all. Probably... 
but I don't like that fight. <laughs> like we had that one caller call in to my. I need to see. I know I'm a Bud fan, but I need to see what he can do. Like, what the fuck are we talking about? This dude never won a world title, and I'm, yeah, but he's he lost to Billy one. Joe. He lost to Billy Joe. Bro, hype but, don't win fights, man. No, but what I'm saying was not just that. He's a bigger person overall. Okay, but but perfect example. We both didn't like Nick Ball's tactics, but did the height play a huge difference after the second half? So that's my point. Height only matters when it's When used it matters. <laughs> when it's used right. It doesn't always matter. You're totally right. Um, I just don't like that fight because what does Bud get? This is what, how you look at it, right? What does Bud get if he wins against... Eubank. What does that do for him? I mean, the room is $30 million. Okay, so for money. Fine. Money and to get to the next level. You're a 47-pounder. You need okay. to get where you got to go. It's a it's a transition fight. No, but Marco? He doesn't need to go anywhere. He could just jump right up because he is who he is. You know what I'm mean, saying? Like, he, he was going to fight Canelo. So, so let me be right clear. Away. The rumor is $30 million. I don't know if it's just for Bud or if that's, like, the total pot. You know what I'm saying? But that's what they're saying. And I get it. That's a lot of money. But I, I just don't like that fight because I think it's – I don't like it. I'm not saying he won't win. He what probably don't, what will. Don't, like, look, outside of the fact that it's not who I wanted. That's the first one. Yeah, but outside of that, uh, Eubank is very athletic. Um, he, yeah. like, like I've always said here, you know, he's the only dude outside of Roy Jones that can actually do the triple left hook on a high level. Um, okay. Has he had his losses? Yeah. But that was versus a boxer and Billy Joe, who's a southpaw, where, you know, you win some, you lose some, you learn from those experiences. Um, the loss to Liam power. Smith, he does have good power and, and phenomenal speed. He's fast. So, he's fast. Right. And he's naturally a bigger dude. So why? But he doesn't have the accolades where if you beat him, people are like, whoa. Be because it's not, a, it's not about that. Like, did Cavalaskis have the accolades? No. All right. But Bud is at this level Who's bigger? Now of like, Who's bigger? Cavalaskis or Eubank? Eubank. All right. How's that press right. conference going to look? Eubank is a fucking star, bro. And he's a cocky, England. arrogant star. In England, yeah. It, it don't yeah. matter if you're a star in England or not. Like, you think, what is it, Chris Hemingsworth cared that you didn't know him? He still landed the fucking Superman part or, or the Thor part, whichever one of those UK dudes I'm talking about, you know what I mean? Man. Like, they won well, those parts being why don't, from the UK. So that don't matter. That don't why matter. Don't they, why don't they grab Boots and bring him in and do it? Then he then then I bet you Bud would fight Boots if the Saudis brought him in and threw 30 million at him. I mean, who knows, bro? Who knows, bro? We, don't, we he said no to boots, so you know money is. I don't think it's about money, because he was gonna get if 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 Al offered you boots, it's pay per view. That's all Prime yeah. Video is doing. I mean, I get it. I guess he's trying to acclimate himself, maybe to to the one sixty eight. You know, for division. sure, and, for sure. You know, easy way to get to that. Get your body up there with Canelo, common opponent with a Canelo opponent. You know, Eubank fought Billy Joe. Eubank, Eubank lost to Liam, a guy that, you know, Liam knocked out Eubank, who got knocked out by Canelo. So it, there's some triangle theories there, I guess. You know, some parallels to pull from. Uh, there's a lot of issues to have with the fight because, you know, it's like Eubank looked good in the Liam fight, but that was under the Bomac tutelage. Now he's got to go, you know. Gotta go do something else. Find someone yeah. else. And and, yeah. and and hope to be on that level. Um Yeah. We'll see. I don't know. I'm I don't know. We'll, God we'll damn, and we'll... Ghana was 37? Fucking hell. Yeah. My He's man old. is in shape shape. Yeah. He did wonder... that. Uh let's open up the phone lines. If you want to call in, we got Twitter spaces and Discord available. We're talking Anthony Joshua destroys Nganu. What's next? Deontay Wilder, do you still want it? Should it be Hergovich? Or what fighter, you know, you have in mind? Um, once again, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. It's going to help with the visibility of the show. Shout out to 
Damien, welcome to the prospect level. Right now we're at 193,576. We need about another 500 to get to that next goal of 194,000. Who's ready to help? What's up? If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we go live. We going out to C Doug. Hold on, C Dub. Looks like we got to disconnect, reconnect. Mute up. You there? What up, sir? We hear you. Oh fuck. We hear you, sir. You can unmute. All right. Yo yo, how are you? We heard you. We hear you. How are you? What's up, man? Shout out. What's good? What's good? One of these, man. Good morning. Shout out TBV. Smash that like button. It's free. Do something with yourself. Ness, Marco, what's good, man? Up early working. You know, we uh -huh. here, man. A great weekend. A great weekend for comeback sports. You know, everything happened just as I predicted. Shout out J-Mac and others that gave me credit, you know, for the high level I, I have in boxing. You know, people recognize it's hardcore shit. You know, it's, some people just say they got it and some people, it just in them. You know what I'm saying? You know, I was robbed of the, the Vargas decision. You know, who who called in the E. Crow today, Ness? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> that know, was yesterday, uh, man. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, oh, no, you just call in to get Crow whenever, man. You know, the next time you call in, you know. You got the sound bite of when I said that Parker was going to be Zane, and then you had hit the little sound bite. You got that sound bite? Nah. When I tell you I'm when I tell you I'm Moses and you need to follow me, you stayed in the wilderness. Mm-mm. You know, when you, you told me... <laughs> when you told me Parker was going to be Zang, I didn't get mad at you. I said, I got to ride with my guy. The same way when Joshua, no. when Joshua, a.k.a. Beansman, said, Ness, Parker going to be Zang. I said, bro, I got to ride with my New Jersey guy. Like, it's, it's just how it yeah. goes. I didn't say you was mad. I just, you stayed, you chose to, people and others did too. And it's not just you. They, they chose to stay in the wilderness. You know, I'm telling you on Moses, follow me. You know, but you are, but the boxing ability of Parker, you know, the level, it was levels above Jerry Forrest. Kind of, you know, Zane gasses out. You know, he's a great, he's a good boxer, man. He's um, he boxes great and got the power. So I would love to see him Wilder and Zane. You know, just hardcore shit breakdowns provided, man. You got to take heed, man. AJ saved boxing, ain't that something? That's what I heard after the fight. You know, informed of the punches chance, but then I said AJ is going to get the stoppage. He's going to, you're going to look out for boxing. I didn't think people was going to be this elated, though. I didn't really think it was going to be celebration in the streets uh -huh. and root and and, uh, and they looting and they looting the stores and shit. Like it's a state, it's a state that the boxing is in. It's a shame, man. A two-time champ, former unified, had to be the zero and one MMA fighter to, to save the sport. You know, people like you know Ness and uh, you know look Marco loved it. You know, you had people, you had boxing peers that were that were relieved, like they had, like they had survived twenty one days in the jungle or something. You know, the Alabama mm -hmm. Alabama football team they don't celebrate beating Buffalo in football. Trust me, we're going to say, hey man, you did what you're supposed to do. Let's look, let's look forward to playing Florida or Ohio State, some shit. You know, they said AJ confidence was gone, man. This is why boxing the state is in is in is dead because. AJ had a bloody nose against Eleni, so y'all think he's not Devin? Don't throw away AJ so That's fast, the ball, man. The bell, champ. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what what he means. Like, yeah, I think that boxing should be celebrating what AJ did. Um, you know, yep. uh, I don't know. I didn't use any of those terms about saving boxing. Um, nah, but like but, we got. But for sure, we had a black eye after after Fury let him go ten rounds. And we're all going to be, like it or not, feeling the same way when Mike Tyson steps in the ring with that goofball. We're going to be like, this guy better not knock out Mike Tyson. I don't care how old Tyson is. It better not happen. Nah, no? I, I, want, I want Jake to sleep him. You want Jake to sleep Mike? Sleep him. No, you don't. I want Mike to go down face plant like Nate Robinson. Are you, are you trolling so, right now? No, because... He becomes the villain. He becomes yeah. the villain. 
And then you need a Batman. And who's that? Canelo. Maybe Bud if he beats Canelo before that, but... So yeah. you're okay with, with Mike <laughs> being caught in the crossfire for this whole plan? Well, this you whole heard, evil plan of you yours? You heard Jake. You heard Jake. And he's put out footage. This is all Mike's idea. This was always uh-huh. Mike's idea. So, you uh-huh. know, Jake is just a phenomenal 24-year-old, if he's still that, you know, that, that continues to give back. You know, I watched the Jay Leon Love live going at it with Andre Durrell, who tried to take the same route you went. And we screen shared it, and Darrell's like, yo, if you sleep, Jake, if you sleep, uh, Tyson, coming to get you, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, Jay Leon is like, yo, defending him. And I get it. Look, he's uh, y'all going to say he's on the payroll. He's supposed to say all that. But, but he's telling the truth, and it's the truth that I said before he even fucking said it. Jake is taking a traditional route. This is what you do. You get old people. He's 58, a little bit too old. You hear me saying it, a little bit too old, but the value is there. If the value wasn't there, we wouldn't be talking about fucking shit happening on Netflix for free. Oh, the free. value is there. But, but it's I'm on saying. Netflix for free. So listen, I've always been for the betterment of the sport. So Tyson is too. He loves this sport. And because of that, he is sacrificing his body. He knows I mean, what he's doing. Here's the thing, though. We don't know what we're dealing with. We mean? could be dealing with headgear. We could be dealing with them both having well, an agreement. Well, we know it's an exhibition. Jay Leon Love said on that live, it's an exhibition. I don't That's know if he, he slipped said? that up, or but it's, he said exhibition. Okay. So when, when Roy and Mike fought, Mike clearly took it easy on Roy. So we don't know if we got the same thing. I mean, or if they're gonna, I don't we don't know. know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't that know. That makes a difference. You know what I mean? I don't know. I mean... Remember, Roy made it clear that he he didn't feel like he got took easy on. Well, he he got a few body shots, but Mike wasn't coming at Roy. Like, come on. I mean, you know? well, yeah, Jay Leon, who does not represent MVP promotions, did say on a live that you could find on Fight Hype because it was like an Instagram live between him and Andre Durrell that Fight Hype, you know, recorded and re-uploaded, and they got it, and I watched it. Salute to them. And... uh you know, a lot was said, and Jay Leon went the route of, like, stop hating on the kid. Stop hating on him. Like, yeah, he 58, but it's Mike. Yeah, he 58, and it's Mike, but it's on fucking Netflix. Yeah, he fighting Mike, but he continues to help the sport. My man was talking about Jake donating his purses, you know. I mean, just so much shit, yo, and it's just, I just it's don't true. Think- and we, we Ness, I, you know, C Dub said savior about no, no. I, the, if you want to talk about quoting Ness, I said Jake was the savior of boxing before the Mike shit when it first popped off. I even I got interviews interviewing Eddie Hearn before he ever was interested. I'm like Eddie, these kids did 1.4 at ten dollars on YouTube. You ain't gonna sign them. He like, nah, we we not interested in that. That's gold. That interview. Now, and he, and he ended up off. being one of the first to sign them. I think the trade-off that you're talking about is not worth it. Us getting Mike knocked out for then Cal- Are you Canelo serious? to go knock out Jake. Are you so, serious? So you rather see, so you think it's okay to get Mike knocked out just so we could see Canelo knock out Jake? Bro, Mike would make millions. He about to be he's good. A, he's, like, he's collecting Social Security. Like, come on. I don't know that he is. With, he didn't have a traditional job. Oh, come on. You get the inference in the statement. Danny, you okay with this? You hear this guy? Danny's uh, alive? Did we get clarification if it's going to be an exhibition? Like I said, fight? exhibition, the word exhibitions only have come out of the mouth of a uh, teammate of Jake Paul, but not anything to do with MVP promotions. Um, Jay your, Leon. your friend, Jay Leon Love. Yeah, so if, there's you, no if you want to text him and be like, yo, I seen a video on Fight Hype, you're live, you're Instagram live with you and Darrell where you said it's an exhibition. Did you just use that word or is it technically an exhibition and they're going to have 16-ounce gloves, different rules, ex, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But good morning, bro. I didn't even see you because you know how it is. If I don't, like, click that, I don't even know you're there. 
No, nah, for sure. Top of the morning. Yeah, uh, I think that's the big one for me. I'm gonna reach out to to Jay see if I I get a response. But uh, that's like the big one for me. Obviously, I didn't catch his live to to understand like everything that was built. So who was he going back and forth with? Darrell. Andre yeah. Darrell, because remember Darrell said if he sleeps him, blah blah blah. So he addressed that, and then they was just going back and forth. You know, but like, here's the thing: an exhibition can just be an exhibition technically because nobody will sanction Mike because he's going to be 58 at the time. But it's that in Texas, mean that bro. It's in Texas. But, okay, but my point is, just as an exhibition on paper doesn't mean they're not going to go hard at each other. So I'm curious if there's going to be a pre predetermined agreement, like, all right, let's, you know, let's chill, let's go, but not crazy, or they'll be like, no, let's go. Bro, for for starters, you know that. You know, Turkey Alashik deals with Tyson big time. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And 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 this fight ain't go over there. So you already can see how big it is. You know, we got to just ride with this one because it's for the betterment of the sport, you know. Um, I don't want another island. But, you know, again, when the island... <laughs> When the island is like a world, it's kind of different, right? Like Netflix just has so many homes, Yo. and the possibility is so huge that. I also don't want to get Jake's head gassed. If he knocks out Mike Tyson, he's so gassed, and it's so Bro, unwarranted. It, it don't matter. All that means is more people going to be gunning for he. If I was him, I'd be doing it. Like, again, regardless if I get the Canelo fight or not. He becomes a villain. He becomes the most talked about individual in this sport. And everybody wants to fight you now. Everybody wants to fight you. That's true. Everybody wants it? to see you lose. You instantly become money Mayweather. But instead, whatever villain name we're going to give Jake, what could it be? What's his NWB, NWO run? So you're willing to just throw Mike to the I ain't throwing Mike. The He's sacrificing for the sport, damn it. Okay. okay. We look, he knows what it is. This Netflix. Sacrificing for the sport. Um yo, yeah, I mean look, we gotta we gotta see what rules are behind it. Like if it's gonna be a normal boxing match. Uh how I many minute rounds, all that, yeah. I think I'd be more intrigued. No one in, it's an exhibition, to be quite honest with y'all. Not me. You feel me? Yeah, man. Uh, Put Mike in 10-ounce gloves, man. I want to yeah, see Jake cool. curl Matthew, up. You got to chill. Bro, Mike, y'all think Mike ain't going to intimidate fucking Jake? Y'all think this shit going to be easy? I don't give a fuck what version. You telling me, Marco, you ain't afraid on, of... Bro, you telling you me right now, you you telling me bro, right like, now, Marco, you think at 47 you could be 50-year-old, 8-year-old Mike? Tell me. Go ahead. Tell me. Right now. Probably not, but I'm 50, I'm 47. I'm not 20 or whatever, and I'm not 200 pounds. All right, but it don't matter. He giving you the same amount of time to get ready as he giving Jake. Can you beat him? My answer is no. I can't fucking beat Mike Tyson. Yeah, but I'm again, I'm not young. I'm not big. I'm not that size. It's a lot of things behind it. All right, and, J and Jake days. is young with no experience. He Mike? ain't never been in there with nobody like Mike, man. Come on, man. He let fucking Tommy Fury back his ass up and put him down. Didn't Tommy put him down with a jab? What the fuck is Mike no. going to do? I'm I'll pretty sure kidding. somebody went down with a jab in that Tommy Fury-Jake Paul fight. Might have been Jake. It might have been Tommy that went down. If anybody went down. But that's what I said, Tommy. I said Tommy, oh. but am I wrong or not in the chat? Because I don't feel like oh, Googling that know. shit. I don't know, but hell yeah, I love Jake. Y'all don't, y'all stupid. <laughs> you should love Jake. He's changed the sport. He's given us MVP boxing. For, look, look how many people eat because of Jake, right? So he created this MVP thing. Now Amanda eats. From her, she gets Jonathan Bomba Gonzalez. Now he eats. Cool. Jake. Sees what Orlando was happening in Orlando. Now box 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 uh, box lab and Warriors promotion. Louis de Cuba Senior eats. You know what I'm saying? Now who else eats? The Orlando Caribbean Royale eats. Who's scaling they they, they auditorium now? Who who's able to do seven thousand seats now? You understand? Like everybody eats with Jake. You know what I mean? How many women out here can say they're making a million dollars? 
How many women women can say that, that they got they was able to headline in their in their own this country? Is right. But why does Mike have to go to sleep for all this? It's part of the sacrifice to continue to build this young man to help this sport. Like, bro, when he, when he says shit on his yeah. social media about boxing, it Ness, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. You making it sound worse like you had me. But you keep saying, like, oh, they sacrificing them. If he like, gets knocked out. <laughs> if he know. gets I mean, knocked I mean, out. But I'm just I'm just telling you how you sound. Like, it's like you making the fight sound less interesting. Like, then they sacrificing them. Like, why would I tune in? Well, I don't think he's sacrificing. Like I told, like I told you, I, I can't beat Mike. Can you? You 27. You think if Mike gives you 10 weeks, can you beat him? He's not a fighter. Can you beat him? Yeah. Wow. And you his size, you brave. <laughs> Fuck like, out of like here. You saying in a boxing ring? Hey, yo, fight? let me see if that... Because, hey, Danny, I know you listening, bro. T send me the bro, tweet. The There's fight, a dude on Twitter that just uploaded fight, all bro, of Tyson's footage. You know, the right to bear arms, my brother. Somebody uh, tag uh, me. Bear arms, my brother. Uh, <laughs> somebody, nah, boxing, somebody tag me, please. Let me say this so they could tag me. Because this morning I woke up to Tyson, uh, Mike Tyson's workout footage. Someone tagged oh, yeah. me on Twitter because that's where it was at. Look good. No, he, man, you kidding me? Y'all better cut the shit acting like y'all could beat Mike and shit. Fuck out of here. I would love. I hope Mike give Danny a shot. We going to blow up. After Danny fight, I don't know if he going to still be on the show, but we going to blow fight, up. Mike. Mike going Mike. Mike to put Danny in the hospital permanently. You kidding me? <laughs> I would fight Mike. You would fight Mike because of the payday. You don't think you could beat him, though. Was, you already no, said I that. Spar him. I would spar him for free. You just, are, you already said you don't yeah. think you could beat him, so you only fight him for the payday. <laughs> I'd spar Mike for free. Yeah, but no I'm going to just keep repeating. You already said you can't beat him, so you only fight him for the payday. Optimus Prime, $20 super chat. <laughs> Danny, the video you been putting out are fuego. $20, uh, $20 super challenge dropped the bomb for the dude. Shout out. Um, Shout phone out lines, phone Prime. lines, phone lines. Let's see what we got. Uh, Jerry Sorelanu. Jerry. Definitely lots of footage, lots of content on the page. Uh, not just that I've been putting out. But uh, Ness is back on the road, so Ness has been putting out a lot of exclusive footage and a lot more uh, camp footage to come out, so keep an eye out for that. Jerry, all right. Jerry, you got to unmute. Hit the thumbs up while we're waiting for Jerry to connect here on the live show. Remember, we need about another 500 people to go ahead and subscribe. Get us to that next goal of 194,000. Jerry, fourth time. Jerry, you have to unmute. Two-tone. Yo, what's new, man? It's your boy, Two-tone, the superstar. Please say the superstar. Uh, Jake Paul makes boxing look goofy as hell. It's a goofy. It's a goofy. And I say that respectfully. The worst thing that can happen to the sport of boxing is Mike Tyson laid the fuck out over this by the, this fucking YouTuber. And the worst thing to happen to the black community will be Mike Tyson laid out from a fucking YouTuber, especially Jake Paul. And I'm telling you, if he knock out Mike Tyson, niggas in the streets going to be trying to get their get back. I'm telling you, you cannot knock out our slam dunk champion, Nate Robinson, Anderson Silva, then come out and knock out Mike Tyson and think shit's sweet. I'm telling you. The savior of boxing makes Canelo versus David Benavidez. The savior of boxing makes Terrence Bud Crawford versus Jerron Boots Ennis. That's the savior of boxing. The savior of boxing makes uh, Amanda Serrano fight Alicia Baumgartner. That's the savior of boxing. What Jake doing is making that shit look goofy. When that shit dropped last week, the trailer, every fucking news cycle picked it up, and every news cycle said, damn, what happened to boxing? How you talking about Jake Paul more than you talking about Canelo fighting Jaime Morgia? How you talking about Jake Paul um, more than um, um, Arter Better Biev and Dimitri Bivol? Jake Paul ain't doing nothing um, but uh, culture uh, appropriation. 
This is the same thing with Vanilla Ice. That's this is worse as fucking hip hop selling out. Come on, boxing. Boxing is fucking sacred. What in the fuck? That's like a nigga off the street gets to play with LeBron James. No. What do you what do you what have you done to play next to LeBron James? What have you done to play next to Kobe I mean, Bryant? What I mean no, Tom, that's, Tom, yeah. So I'm just saying, let's just act like let's just act like my fellow New Yorkers ain't get blessed. You get what I'm saying? I've seen Kobe at at Rucker Park. What the fuck they even <laughs> did to to play with 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 Kobe being Bryant? You feel me? Oh, like it happens, bro. Hey, Sometimes it happens. It happens. You Danny, feel me? You comparing you comparing the legendary Rucker to Jake Paul? I'm Absolutely. People uh, playing with Kobe Bryant. You feel but me? them niggas, them niggas in the rucker put in work. They put in work. And none of them yeah, niggas is goofy. Yeah, and I'm sorry, Jay. I'm sorry. I, ain't nobody gonna tell me in the last five and a half years, Jake ain't been putting in the work because he has Ma major work. Major. No, 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 no. You talking about you talking about what you see on TV, right? So, see, and, and this is what all the callers do. They talk about what I see. What they see on TV, I talk about what I see in the gym. behind closed doors. Working, champ. You know working, what I'm saying? Working with the best. Like Jay Leon, that's one of my guys, bro. Like you know, I was, the, I was at his baby shower. You feel me? Is, is the gym Shout being? To, uh, do we buy gym footage on pay per view? Absolutely not. No. Nope. Ness is Ness is the godfather of boxing media. The godfather. When you have the Godfather saying that a goofy is the savior of boxing, bro, you, know, you the you, Godfather. Look at all that he's done. Okay, compare what what he's done from the beginning of his career in boxing, and you can go. Vanilla. You could go from the beginning, from the YouTube, first YouTube pay per view at ten dollars, doing one point four or one point two million, right? He's no he's one else. Yachty. No one else has done that. I, I I don't get that reference. I never heard that artist. I mean, I've heard the name, but I don't I don't listen to any Yachty music, so I don't get the reference. But no one has done what he's done, let alone like as a whole two tone. Like people do what they do on a meteoric rise for themselves. They blow up for themselves. Their meteoric rise, like someone to come out of nowhere, like Jake would be doing it alone. This motherfucker's bringing up every. First of all. No, what do you know about Jay Leon? And what was the last check that you believe he got until Jake came along? What are we talking about? Like he 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 got he got Steve Cunningham. He spawned with Steve. He give everybody opportunities. I don't understand what we talking about. We we not talking about one dude this that blew up in boxing and is taking advantage of the sport for self. We talking about a Bro. dude that is doing like, for so many on. people and for us as a whole Tone. because he gave us back what we've been lacking. We we don't got no show box. We don't got no boxing after dark. At least MVP got their fucking prospect series we get to watch. Like, I, I don't get what y'all don't see. I'm not talking about Tone, his you, fights. His uh, fights put him in position to keep doing better shit for the sport. Mm. Mm. What, Danny? So, so, yeah, no, I was just letting that finish because, you know. Uh, but, yeah, bro, like, Jay Leon, Jay Leon's a great example, bro. You think he's doing better now working with Jake and working with, you know, in, in the capacity he worked? Or you think he was doing better fighting under Mayweather promotion? Man, he, he lost to King Gabe Rosado. He, I, don't, I don't fuck with him. He lost to King Gabe. Bam Rodriguez does not put in work to get Sonny Edwards for Jake Paul and Mike Tyson to get a better look than Bam Rodriguez, somebody who's really running the fades. If Jake oh, Paul was man. really running, I would say it, but Jake Paul is fighting bums yeah, and the but, shit look good. Look, Jake Paul is doing what Bam ain't doing, bro. Bam is like Superman and Clark Kent. He take off the the, uh, the glasses when he go in the ring. He put them shits right back on when he come out the ring, bro. And he just as pale and 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 not outgoing like Clark Kent. Like he need to be Superman all the fucking time. That's not what Bam do. So y'all gotta get this shit out your head. Like I've been in this shit doing the same thing for almost thirteen years, and it's like we have to understand it's not just what you do in the ring. It's what you do out of the ring as well. Or you will you will forever remain nameless. 
<laughs> Straight Jay Z ball, man. You will forever remain nameless. You need to do more than just that in the ring shit. If you just want to be remembered in boxing, cool. Well, you know, when it's all said and done and the books is closed, yeah, you're going to get in them books. But how many people going to be there when they induct you? There's a Hall of Fame Yo, coming up and, right and, now, and, right, Danny? And, in August? Yeah. We got to, we got to, like, Ness barely even touched on it. But you got to remember all the, all the people that he put on his undercard that end up getting opportunities like the Montana Loves. Montana Love, because of that fight he had on Jake's undercard, gets a three-fight, $900,000 uh, deal, which then got extended, so he ended up making over a million dollars because of that opportunity Jake put him on. I don't know what Jake paid him, but I know I know what he got after that. You know, Shadeja Green, who who the, the God, you just said Ness, was, what he call you, the godfather uh, 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 of boxing, he couldn't do shit. And he was yelling and, and, and screaming and, and pounding nah, 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 Don't say and, that. Don't say that. My yelling and screaming probably got the attention of uh, MVP. What are you talking about? Like, bro, well, she, even, she was, you know, but it, it still, is what it is. You're right. You're still, right. With, even still with all that, him. you know, all, all these him. years, throughout all the years, you know, it took Jake and MVP to come in for her to get, uh, you know, her just do. No, you know, and sure. I'm sure I'm uh, I'm sure and others, that's, and others you know, like... and your relationship with, with, with Leonardo and others have helped. But I'm just saying, like, you like we know what he's done for people, bro. Like, I don't even want to speak on people like as much, but yeah, bro, he's done a lot. And and for someone like again, I, I need to know the details. I need to know details, but for someone to get Netflix involved and you know a netflix who's on who have only done two live sporting events and they've been successful successful ones and they've been huge like on the on, on a on a big level and i could just speak on it because i was there and i've seen okay oh wow damn we having a pre-party oh okay all right cool you know it's just it's just it was just a whole nother level i could only imagine what they're gonna do in a venue the size of at&t stadium Nah, for sure, man. You I know? mean, Buenos Dias, my friend. What up? What's going on, brothers? Salute. Back in the building, man. I feel like it's been forever since this old Nganu oh. and uh, Joshua thing, man. Marco, what's going on, man? Cold chilling. Last Literally. but not least, Mr. Alvarez. Can't got me. My brother, how you doing? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. And again, shout out to the TBV community. Um... You know, it's interesting. What a weekend in sports. Just want yes. to start. I just want to say that. What a weekend in sports. But King, I mean, take it away. You know, you guys mentioned Netflix. I said something in the pre-pro. It wasn't necessarily boxing related, but you guys see Netflix is going. They purchased a property in Fort Monmouth, New Jersey. Uh, oh, I seen that. They're going to be doing a studio in New Jersey. I was just telling my wife. That's crazy, yo. Yeah. I hope that yeah. means a lot of jobs because... Uh, a lot of studios are going to Vegas now, so that was crazy that they curveball to go to Jersey. Jersey well, because- well, yeah, they're trying. They're they're definitely trying to bring a lot to Vegas. Uh, I know just uh, last week the city the city met, so uh, it's gonna be interesting. They're talking about the new Hollywood. I hope. I hope not. <laughs> what? Yeah, all right, bro. I own real estate. Bro, this, over. I own yeah, real no, estate over there, bro. The minute he's I heard trying the to train, leave. That's I'm the like, thing. I'm trying to stay in Vegas. So, bro, you can stay in my here, spot. You know what I'm saying? For somebody I'm that just lives like, here, I don't yeah, want this shit to every turn time. to what LA is. Man, whatever. Bro, let me tell you. I'm, I'm I mean, dying I was for just that out train. There. No, I mean, listen, I was just out there, right? For the uh, Dev Ryan presser. I land at LAX. Just, just walk with me real quick. Land at LAX. I catch an Uber. It's 40 minutes away. Now I'm at the presser. I leave the presser in another Uber. That's another 20 minutes, right? So in my head, I'm like, I, right, I'm oh, at least an traffic. hour from the airport, maybe like an hour and 15. It's time for me to hop in the Uber, go back. So I was like, I'm going to give myself an hour and a half just in case traffic. How much, how long do you think it, it said? 
Two hours and 45 minutes, bro. I mean, that's LA traffic. I ain't even bothered. I ain't even bothered. But that's LA traffic. You have to understand when they do what they do in Vegas, it's going to level things out. Cause it, level it in what way? Because now it won't be so congested in LA. And don't forget, bro, the people, the people are still there. No, but listen, like, it ain't gonna change. My shit. brother, yeah, Chant, let me, it let me will. tell you. Listen, you've been gone for months. Hold on, just, just, oh just my hear god, me, I'm trying to talk to you from a tri-state area standpoint. Y'all don't have fucking ahead, trains. They about to put a train. Y'all don't have trains. We got trains. Like New Yorkers, literally don't have cars. They don't. This, so, I mean, obviously there's plenty that do, but there's so many that you can talk to Chant, that they refuse tell us to what buy kind of cars. Trains y'all got. Tell us what trains. Right. Never this, mind. Oh, man, we're going to get back to boxing because you cut our mean off anyway. I mean, you was no, about to talk about... No, saying, we good. Man, we want to go back to Anganu. We good. You always take <laughs> us off to boxing anyway. Like, you was about to talk about boxing before he cut you off, man. No, go ahead. no, it's all good because what it, what it ties us together because we're hearing Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, Netflix. So this is all big business. So we're talking about infrastructure being built. I see somebody in the chat says that Tyson could potentially take a dive um, man, I, and I, I want to, I want to disclude and dissuade any of that talk. And I just want to say, I want this event. Unfortunately, um, I want it to be um, visible because this is the same. Like I put it to you like this: We keep talking about Mike Tyson. We've been talking about Mike Tyson since 1985. Literally every year, we've been talking about Mike Tyson since 1985 up until now. He can only help the sport the same way Jake has been helping the sport. You might not like his character. Do I want to see the fight? No, but I didn't want to see Logan and Floyd. So I don't have much control over these things. All I'm saying is if this helps to spread boxing, if we get boxing on Netflix and somehow Netflix is in New Jersey and all this shit is happening, I'm here for it because I am a fan of boxing. Any way I can get it, I want it. And you and Ganu, AJ thoughts and what's next for AJ? Well, I, I think everybody has said enough on that, but I'll just kind of put the you know the, the feather in the cap. AJ is definitely uh, one of the best heavyweights of this era, and not necessarily because of the Nganu win. It's just because of the activity, and it's because of how he looks over this period of time. It's definitely because of the resume. It's because of the impressive nature that he's obliterated common opponents with Tyson Fury. So if we get to a point to where, now here's the trick. Are we focusing on AJ and Hergovic? And, and do we need to see Fury in AJ next? Or is that something we can let? Because we know we got the whole um, Usek and, and, and Fury, the rubber match. We got that going back to backs. Do, do we need to see that? Or do we still need to see AJ capture a belt, then perhaps swing back and get Wilder? Is the Wilder fight not important? Um, AJ is the man right now in the heavyweight division. You know, it, it, it's always exciting when one of the big guys gets a knockout. So here we are talking about AJ. If it was anybody else that had gotten a knockout, we'd be talking about them. This is what heavyweight boxing is and does. And I find that AJ is the guy that most, when we talk about some, even his losses become the discussion. Um, so, yeah, AJ's the man. He's the landlord. Shout out to London Runs Boxing. What's your thoughts on um, C-Dub feels that we shouldn't have he, not that we shouldn't have. Not that we shouldn't have. It's not what he said. He he just said uh, he wasn't expecting boxing fans, hardcore boxing fans, to be this elated, to be this excited, to to feel like AJ um, saved boxing. And we didn't use that term. He brought that into the conversation himself. We never said AJ saved anything. Um. I think C Dub is as credible as a caller and as a um a spectator of the sport. I don't know how he much did of a pick fan it. He, he did pick AJ to get stopped too. I mean oh AJ to stop God. AJ to stop in Gano. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And he I, picked listen, Parker to beat Zang. This is what I'm saying. So he knows what he's talking about. I I I'm just I'm I'm questioning why we shouldn't be excited when, mind you, take MMA out of this and let's just say the nature of boxing. Well, that's what he's In saying. The guy's 0-1. 
No, but forget about that. And AJ's a two-time multi-division, multi belt champ. Like, how can you get excited for what you know is supposed to happen? If, if, if I'm just, just let me just say this. People ain't gonna like it. If Canelo had done this with Boo Boo, if Canelo had done this with David, we'd appreciate boxing more. And what I mean by this is, never mind if you think he's an MMA guy. Never mind if you think he's the biggest puncher. If somebody says, hey, look, this guy over there, we think he can beat you. You supposed to smash that guy and get him the fuck out of here so we can move on. So that's all AJ did. That's what we want in boxing. Hey, we think so and so can beat AJ, right? You put him in front of him, you smash him and get him the fuck on. When we said that about Fury, it, it proved a difficult task. So we love when fighters can get in there. And if we think there's somebody that can beat him, listen, Bud Crawford can't get a fight because of that. Because we all thought, in quotes, we thought Earl Spence was going to be so, and he smashed him. Hey, there's a guy that can beat you. You smash that guy and get him the fuck out of here. And that's what AJ did. So whether he did it to an MMA fighter or professional fighter, he did what boxers do for the sport. There's a guy in front of you. If you think you're more done, hell, that's why we love Mike Tyson. No matter what you think of his resume, the guys in front of him, except at the championship level, he mostly got him the fuck out of there. For sure. Um, I got callers to go to. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It's going to help with the visibility of the show and put this episode in the eyes of boxing fans across the world. Let them know we talk boxing twice a day, Monday through Friday, and even on Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, Jerry, trying you again. Let him cook. Let him cook. Good morning, my friends. Happy Monday. How y'all doing? All good. Good, brother. How chilling. you feeling? Chilling, chilling. Well, I, I'm doing good. Listen, I got some whispers out of the dark alleys of the world of boxing. You know, all of us have been wondering where the hell did this Eubanks Crawford fight seemingly come out of nowhere? And Bomac was supposed to be is in both corners. Like make some sense out of all this. Well, I'm going to give y'all some homework because here's what I've been hearing. You know, our friend Bo Mack was locked up in the UK for some time, wasn't he? The Eubanks family is very powerful I mean, out in the UK. I'm sorry? Hello? You said, yeah, you said he was locked you, up for quite some time. I said, yeah, he was locked up for about a month. He was locked up for a month. But you know who was, who was absent during that time? The Eubanks family. Crawford had to get up and go out and visit his boy. And eventually they got him out. So it's curious that everyone is talking about the fight except Crawford. What I'm hearing is that this fight with Eubanks is personal. It's personal with Crawford. He went out and got the bag. He got Saudi Arabia to sponsor it. But the reason Crawford is taking this fight, and make no mistake, Bo Mack is with Crawford. Eubanks may be with Nelson. I'm not sure who, who uh, Eubanks is going to be with. But the reason this fight is being made is because there's a personal beef with Crawford and Eubanks. And Bo Mack doesn't agree with it. But Crawford believes that Eubanks, Eubanks abandoned Bo Mack after Bo Mack not only took his time to resurrect his career, but if y'all remember, immediately after Sp uh, Crawford beat Spence, Bo Mack left immediately to England, didn't even have time to celebrate that win. And the way Eubanks repaid him was to abandon the man. This is why that fight is being made. You're hearing it here first. You may need to, you may hear some trickling down effects or, or a ring walk talk with Danny may need to go out there and ruffle some feathers and, and shake up the bushes. But this is the reason why Crawford is fighting Eubanks. He wants his payback and blood Real quick. and the blood will be in the ring. Yes, sir. Real quick before you. What do you mean he didn't have time to celebrate the win and that he had to leave immediately after the fight? 
He went he after 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 Crawford beat Spence. Uh huh. After Crawford beat Spence, Bomack went into training with Eubanks to get him ready for his fight. He had no yeah. time off. He had no time Not off. True. So what I'm saying Not is Bomack sacrificed took, this. They actually took turns. Every every trainer got a week off uh, after the fight. They took turns, and every trainer made it to Nebraska for the parade. That Ness and I were no, there. no, no. What I'm, what they, I'm saying is, what I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that they didn't make it happen. What I'm saying is, Bo Mac sacrificed his time, and not only that, he turned Eubanks around, got him that win, and, and Crawford feels this way. Bo Mac necessarily Crawford feels that Bo Mac took his time, sacrificed time. And, and and the Eubanks family showed him no love because when he was in jail, he either didn't get help, didn't get visits, but the Eubank family has a lot of pull in UK and they left that man in jail. And, and Crawford, if y'all remember, Crawford got on a plane, immediately went over there, and, and I'm not sure exactly what transpired, but Crawford feels that they did Bo Mac wrong and he wants his payback in blood. I'm not saying the, the whispers are Bo Mac Ain't calling for it. He's saying let it go. But Crawford's saying, nah. We go, we go, we go, we go make it, we gonna make get that payback in the ring. That is why this fight not, feels like it I'm came not... out of nowhere, but it really didn't. Is this true? I, yeah, I'm not I'm sure telling where, you. I'm not sure where he's getting his uh information from. I'm not saying he's wrong, but you know, I think I think his this source is why... is his beef. This is why this this fight feels like it came out of nowhere. But you know who ain't talking? Crawford ain't talking. He in the lab. Yeah, when I'm when telling you Crawford right now. Talk, he, well, Eubanks already oh. talked about it. He already he already confirmed it on on Twitter. Crawford ain't saying anything. Crawford in the lab. He's trying to Jerry, make tr trust me. Jerry, I thought Eubanks only yeah, did a shushing emoji. No, yeah, that's a confirmation. No. Uh, you feel me? That's. I mean, people are taking it like he confirmed oh, so, it. No, uh, how no, are you? I, I, the, I'm just my curious. lender for hold life. On. How are you taking that emoji? <laughs> well, listen. The 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 ball got rolling on this Uvex versus Crawford. So so Jerry, I'm not sure Jerry, who... Jerry. So you don't think that Danny's oh, narrative of Eubank fighting Liam in Saudi? And the Turkey Alashik already having a relationship with you, oh, Eubank and and Terrence Crawford saying he got a phone call from them directly. None of that makes more sense than than what you're saying, which you I, haven't you I, haven't said where you got it from either. I, I I'm just telling you that most of us felt that Crawford versus Eubanks came out of nowhere. I'm just giving you an Is it, is it out of nowhere or is it a guy who's trying to fight Canelo? Who, no, who it's well, also, but, but, hold on, Jerry. Let me help you. I don't know. You're, you're doing a lot of mortgages and you don't have to follow everyone's social media. Just remember, though, that it is highly reported by Eddie Reynoso that Saudi Arabia is interested in Canelo. So, like, the, the September, like, Crawford moving up in weight to face Canelo yo, in September doesn't make more sense than, I don't know what you said. I, I just want to know. Who's, I just want to know, who's, like, who's what the who's fuck training, was Chris Eubank, senior or junior, supposed to do? Who's well, to, well to, Bo to, Mac, to get Bo Mac Bo hasn't Mac confirmed out. this. Bo Mac hasn't. I, I literally asked Bo Mac. He hasn't confirmed to me. Marco texts Bo Mac. He hasn't confirmed to him. So I don't know. What I'm asking you know, is, what I'm asking you're is, asking who's training who's, Eubank? We don't know because Bo Mac has okay. not confirmed this. Okay. So, so Danny's saying, what are they supposed to do? Maybe show some support? I mean, we're in the United States. If you're locked up and I can't do anything, but at least I could come visit, right? Are you, are you, confirming, we, are you confirming that they yo, did not visit, but, that they did not send any money, that they did not write what letters? I, do you know what I am telling you? I'm asking, do you what, know, I'm what, asking a question. I don't want you to tell me anymore because now you're insinuating a lot. So I need to just get some facts out for the record because they're out here. Because the last time this, I'm just, let me give you a backstory. Last time this happened, a gentleman calls in. He says, oh, no, I'm, I'm Antonio Leonard's son. And everyone took what he said as fact. So I got to now stop you 
and make okay. you say this is alleged or a hypothetical, or you have your source, but you have to you I, have to say all that. I'm just saying I've got I've got I've got my source, but mm -hmm. I want y'all instead of just turn listen instead of you looking at me and going I don't believe it I don't believe it. Well, Jerry, what I didn't do say you... that you didn't listen to us well, because on. you like to yell. Hang on, hang on. What we said on, is that on. we text the trainers and they did not confirm this fight. So you okay. want you want us so, to do more than that. We're going to the source. So Eubanks is not fighting Crawford because that's all I've been hearing again, everywhere again, on every again, channel. Again, we all text Bomac and he did not confirm this. This is all we can I say. Just, okay. I but don't I just have any heard further information. Marco, I just heard you and Marco discussing Eubanks versus, versus Crawford. I just heard y'all talking about as it. an alleged fight. Okay, so let's assume fight. it's alleged. Yeah. Let's assume it's alleged. I, let's I assume still it's alleged. I want to know what power what does I, the Eubank family have? Like, like is Emily you, a lawyer or something? No, like, no, no. You don't like I'm confused. I got you, Danny. You remember doing a press conference with Chris Eubank Sr.? Let, he said, no, we need parliamentary procedure. All of a listen, sudden, listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. What I'm saying is during the whole time, Bomac was locked up. But Jerry, Chris that is Eubanks, your counter and your call, my brother. But feel free to now, send another five dollars to get another thirty minutes. It was entertaining, but we can't. And, we and got other callers. This ain't just me. This ain't just me. Like uh, Steve in the UK is saying it. Like, bro, you know what I'm saying? And and we don't know who was there for for it, Bomac. For Bomac. Like, like, look, we don't know who wrote him. We don't know who visited him, and like, he can't confirm Bomac, or deny. He, he's Bomek saying that the oh, the Eubanks didn't support. You don't know that. Bomek yeah, came like, on Bomek the show was... and, and gave you credit for for, for riding him, Ness. I knew I I know people that wrote him and that wrote letters on on his behalf. He didn't name drop him, and he wasn't supposed to. You get what I'm saying? Like, Jerry, uh, Jerry it's something here. very 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 touchy. And again, I it's something that I don't know that the Eubanks could have done much. Other than what you and I could have did, write him a letter, put some money on his books, and maybe write a, a character letter, if that, you know? Yeah, I totally See, forgot that Bo Mac was training Eubanks. How the hell is he going to fight Bud? I thought. I mean, I let's not act be... like this. Welcome let me just, to the show, Marco. Let me Welcome just, to the fucking let me just, show. Let me just oh, answer that goodness. for Marco and whatever casual uh, has the same question. Remember that this happened already with Daniel Jacobs and Sergey Dervinchenko. When Dervinchenko, I believe, was undefeated, he was trained by uh, Andre Rogier and Gary Starks, so they just split. No, I get it can happen. I'm, not, I'm just saying it makes it more unlikely, though, doesn't it? Well, no. Again, uh, Gary Starks well, and Andre Rogier were a training team and trained fighters together, and they decided we, instead of training Sergey together, you just train Sergey. I'll train Jacobs for both Biggest payday of their career. So in this case, we know Esau, Bo Mac, and Red Spikes are three. Well, they can decide to do that for the betterment of the team because the team is winning. And Eubank is still part of the team. The trainers are still part of the team. Crawford is the head of the team. Like, the team still wins with this fight. So this is what I was thinking. I thought and, he was going to float and, it out and say, yo... Like they may have helped to intervene, good character letters, maybe knew a good, you know, barrister over there. And this said, hey, if I can look out and get you this fight, do you mind doing us the solid of fighting us? Over? I thought he was going that route, like a favor for a favor. Like, yo, if I could hook you up with a good legal team, perhaps you can give Chris the fight if you plan on moving up. Type he said, shit. hook me up with a good legal team. Danny, you had something to say? Yo, yeah, man. Um... I I don't know. I've I've heard Bo Mac mention that uh you know I you know what I ain't even gonna say that. But uh the Danny Jacobs and uh and 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 Chanko, you know they had over two hundred some three hundred some rounds spar. You know there's no sparring between these guys. You know they they were only there for him for four weeks. So you know yeah they could split the trainers up or they could not train them at all you know uh Eubank is one to have trained with many people throughout his career nothing unfamiliar to him uh like i said i just saw Eubank sparring last week and uh 
he didn't even have a boxing trainer in his corner. You feel me? He had a friend. So uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I was about to interrupt you and be like, didn't you just say you seen him alone? But you mentioned it. Um, We going back to the phone calls. We got modern. No, well, we got troll. Welcome to the prospect level. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, we got modern king boxing two dollars. Mike gonna beat Jake. I see holes, but he put two boxing glove emojis in the hands up emoji. James Benitez, Atlanta five dollars says Clarissa moved the rankings of best looking. Oh, excuse me, moved up the rankings of best looking female in boxing. The video shoot turned her to a 10. Alicia ain't messing with her in and out the ring. No, she did look good. I don't. I can't share it because um, I'm blocked. Actually, I can share it from like a different Damn, browser. she blocked you too? She blocked me too, bro. You know how You I know, goes. the shop steward of women's boxing, you know I ain't blocked. Yeah, but you, you know, can't screen blocked. share it. You can't screen share it. I sent it to y'all. You ain't even see it till I put it there. But I'm about to, I'm about to share it on, my, on another browser. And that will let me show it. I don't know that I'll be able to get through all the slides, but now nah, for sure, she looks uh, phenomenal here. This is probably the the you know the best her best look. I would go Yo. with this look as a fighter too. Like this, I mean, not as a fighter, but but yeah, I mean, why not do some shit like this at the weigh-ins? Might as well. Ebony Ebony Bridges does it, so why not? Right, do something like this at the weigh-in. I think that adds even more marketability. Not a bad way to go. For real. That's one. This another. And last one. And these are pictures from her photo shoot. And this is what James Benitez is talking about in his super chat. Uh, let me see what else we got. Another one from James. Two dollars. He says, Jerry, man up. We don't believe you. And your source. Damn. Um it's it's just like it's just like very hard to like I mean you know, I, I mean I ain't gonna like, lie. Oh, I, I ain't you know, gonna he lie. sacrificed his time even though yeah, you know, but he I ain't gonna lie money for no, it. No, 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 no. Look, I ain't shooting Jerry down. I think that it sounds way believable. Y'all tripping. Like if I trained you, you the only UK fighter I got, hypothetically speaking, you my only contact on the land, on the ground out there. Like, Yo, so, hypothetically speaking, right, I mean, again, this is Jerry's right, crazy again, stuff. For sure. But the reason I say it don't sound believable is because he's saying this, cool, again, not everything is made public, but when uh, Brian McIntyre himself publicly says... That he was taken very, uh, ve that they took very champ, good care of him out gonna, there. He ain't gonna say like, "Oh, you like." Why would anybody, you know, reveal? No, I, 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 I hear what you're saying. I'm just saying again, not everything made public. If that wasn't the case, you publicly wouldn't speak on it. I hear you, man. I mean, you know. Throwing people off, but for Jerry, well, we don't believe you. You need more people. We need we need more people to back that man. But hey, it was definitely a conversation. Drew, what it do? My man, Drew. Hey yo, how that audio? Straight. All right, all right. Shout out to the man out there. What's up, Danny? Next time, I. Uh... Expert tip, Danny. Next time y'all here in LA or a press conference in Hollywood, man, make sure you get that flight out of Burbank, Danny. Out of Burbank. Yeah, yeah that's where I fucked if up that champ. <laughs> yeah, that's a 30 minute ride. Nah, there. for real. So, nah, bro, trust me. Burbank even closer to where I was at. Trust me. I, I was that's where I I was gonna fly out of, but because of uh the weather canceling all the flights, I ended up just uh driving back. Yeah, yeah, and everybody mad that we hyped up that Ngannou uh, got his ass kicked. I mean, we are. We wouldn't be in this situation having hype if Fury and Wilder did their fucking jobs. You know what I mean? 
if Fury beats fucking Ghana, we don't have this fucking uh, fiasco. And if Wilder beat Parker, we would have had knockout chaos. But no, leave it up to Big Femi, the face of the division, the cash cow, Hugo Boss motto. He got to set this shit straight. And I want to see him fight her Govic next. And Marco, I, I need y'all to go with Ness. So you don't want the Wilder division. fight? You ain't want to? Because I still see people saying they want the Wilder fight. Man, I want, like you said, I need Wilder to get some fucking confidence. Oh, I didn't say no that. I, I'm good. I'm good with the. I don't, I think at this point, try, Marco said build it. I think at this point, there's too much building. We just need the fight. I, I'm with Marco. I don't want to see a shell of Wilder. I need to see some confidence. The man had no confidence against Joseph Parker. Didn't Wasn't even throwing. He's trying to fight like Malik Scott. He's not that guy no more. So at least get him just one, at least some more rounds in just to get a fight in. But. Y'all got to go with Ness on that on that journey, Marco. The visionary, it's a, it's a bigger macro thing. It's not just that one fight with Tyson. It's it's Netflix. Without Jake Paul, Amanda Serrano doesn't headline MSG with Katie Taylor, my man. It's about who he's bringing with him. Fuck the fight. Fuck this shit. It's on Netflix. The casuals are eating it up. Um, Chris Mannix was on um, that one uh, former ESPN guys. They're talking about it doing 70, 80, 100 million views. Like walk with us, baby. Damn, I, I get who the said that? Part of it. Who said that? Chris Mannix, Chris uh, Rich Eisen. Chris Mannix was on Rich God Eisen. He's like, damn. You think he's saying that? Bro, can, I mean, I don't know. Do I don't. I don't numbers. believe that because uh, Danny. What was that again? Danny had sent me a few months ago some football game that was. Danny, can, are you still there? Let me look at you. Yeah, you're there. What was yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, like that's uh, crazy the, numbers. The Thursday night football. But, the, but yeah, that's no, that's what Chris that's Mannix was huge. saying. That's what Chris Mannix was saying. But nah, but like the hype is gonna be there, and this is he wants the Canelo fight, y'all. If him knocking out Mike Tyson means he gets the Canelo fight, he gets the Canelo fight. You know what I mean? It's the villain so, story. It's it, it brings. Go ahead, Daddy. I don't know that he gets the yeah, Canelo no, no, fight no, no, immediately. No. So this is what I was basing no, not it off of. Ness, uh, but you know what I'm saying? Building it off, building it. So this, so when Ness was talking about the uh, the Dolphins and Chiefs. The Dolphins and Chiefs, so just walk with me. They had the Swifty hype and everything. They did 22.86 million viewers on Peacock for their first ever uh, football game or, or playoff game streamed on Peacock. Now, now although this is NFL, so what I told Ness, I said I think they're doing a 20 to 30 million uh, view range, right? Um, what people have to remember and take into consideration, yeah, this is NFL, so obviously poor fan base, but this was uh, the first time they had ever done something like that on there. You know, now with Netflix, it's been seen more, it's being talked about, uh, and obviously the, the, the commercials and shit like that, there was no commercials uh, like we're seeing, no promo like we're seeing uh, for this game as there's been already for this fight. So a little bit different, but that's why my yeah, prediction yeah, was in the 20 to 30 million uh, viewership yeah, yeah. range. And you're a numbers guy, Danny. You know Netflix is not doing this for no 15, 20 million views. They, they're at least trying to crack at least that 50, 75. I, I would say half the Super Bowl, which was 120. I would say I would say that's a Champ, that, that was that's the just bell. like Let me get such a reach people. because of like there's very very few things doing those amount of numbers. Yeah, that's huge. Like bro. In, across the year, you feel me? Yeah, I think that's actually a good number though, Danny. I think because of the visibility, the hype, and like I said, we've been talking about the name. Listen, Tyson Fury. All right, Luke. His middle name is Tyson because of Mike Tyson. We've been talking about Mike Tyson since 1985, man. Like, people are going to watch no, this I, shit. I, I hear you. I'm just, all I'm saying is, like, I'm putting it up there with some of the biggest and best sporting events of the year. The, oh, the college you. football, college football national championship this year did 25 million. And and you're talking about the University of Michigan that hadn't won in Lord knows how long. Poor fan base. They have the biggest stadium in this country. They do 110,000 fans every week. Like, bro, they did 25 million viewers. If Mike Tyson and Jake Paul can equal that, they have plenty to be happy about. Like, they have plenty to be happy about. Um, they're going to sell a lot of advertising. 
and and that's why it's not gonna be pay per view. Uh, they did big uh, seven and eight figure uh, advertisement deals for their two sporting events thus far, and you know they've had them free for their Netflix uh, subscribers. I'm I'm expecting something big, but I just want people to be realistic because you know when I'm telling you these other events that do huge numbers. And people like, oh, no, I should do double that. That's not realistic. No, and I'm with you. I think 20 is a good number when I say that. Just like, you know, people are people are still guessing for millions of pay-per-view buys. A million is a phenomenal number nowadays. And I think we need to accept that. Uh-huh. Um, so when you say 20 million on Netflix, I'm with you. That is a huge number because I'm thinking that that's a U.S. number. I'm not thinking about a global number, by the way. Um, and, and 20 million of anything is a fucking lot. Oh, wow. You don't, you yes. think that's a global number, Danny? That so, so yes, no, 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 well, no, your 17 no, no, million no, no, no. was He's global saying, though for the football, though. That's that is that global or what the football number that you had shown no, me? That? No, no, it's US, everything US. Mm. Yeah, that's like, important. we just now starting to talk global numbers because of, of, of these apps that are available but like even with the boxing when they did it with canelo a few years ago i fucking hated it because it's like i understand the zone is available in these other countries but when you talk about a fucking pay-per-view that in some countries it's 80 and in some countries it's two like yeah, but we again, ain't talking the same shit i guess when it's not pay-per-view you can you should be within your right to give out the global numbers. You can, you 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 can, and and you should. But if you're gonna do it, just give me the American one too. Like like I I just don't want people to again start basing shit. Oh well, it was this, it was not. Nah, yeah, but like, remember, cool. we've already moved to a territory where boxing is and that's not great. uh terrestrial. Like you know, it, it, ESPN is the last now terrestrial channel, and and Top Rank is the last promoter on. A terrestrial channel but they're still also at base so like i don't have to have television to watch any of their terrestrial well not any any of the no. boxing terrestrially i can still watch it on the plus from the beginning to the end for sure but but that's what they do they usually like whenever they have an event that they do because not all events are espn some of them no, for sure. are only plus so when they do an event that's on espn which is also available on the plus typically they give you, yo, this is what we peaked at, and this is what we did digitally. You get what I'm saying? So I just want um, I just want to be clear. I'm speaking American numbers. If they want to give us global numbers, more power to them. I want to see, mm. you know, the impact that they're able to make. But everything I'm speaking is American numbers. So, yeah, when I say the 20 to 30, I'm, I'm saying they do 20 to 30 here in America. I got Boxing Raph global. Hudson. Uh, from South Korea with the twenty thousand dollars, no, so two thousand. Excuse me, but he says from a strong source in the UK, Eubank, not next. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, Baby Joker, Mexican emoji flag got. Okay, so that means Mexican got boots. It's fight week. Zepeda Hughes. Yeah, I mean, you know, shout out to Hughes, but he's in a tough uphill battle but we didn't talk about my my boy shout out to Gil Castle Hill Gil uh his relative Elijah Flores is sparring Devin Haney did you get to see it and how was it bruv no unfortunately uh Champ left to LA damn so uh yeah he uh he should be back I think tomorrow so he sparred out there over the weekend and uh is sparring a day and coming back. Oh, oh. I I Moose, what up? Spar trouble too. Oh yeah, yeah. I seen him getting uh some track work with your video in your video. Not Yo, track work, for but Mo- agility work. While we waiting for Moose, that that um that stupid chat by um what was that um. Average boxing fan, who was that? Mexicans got on boots. Yeah, that's that's an important, famous line by Ali Sadiq. Ali Sadiq. That means it's time to go to war. Whenever you behind the wall and you see the Mexicans got on boots, you better grab your shit and be ready to go to war. Word. Uh, we got hot boxing minute. (laughs) 
Mr. Gibbs, can y'all hear me? We hear you. Yo, peace out to the TBV family. What up, Ringwalk Danny? I mean, Jake Donovan, I love your articles. I wanted to spin back around to that uh-huh. shit talk that you were talking Jake. about, Nestor. Yo, I, I agree with you. Ness, you and I see eye to eye on the Jake Paul thing because when push comes to shove, the more eyes that you get on the sport, the better, period. Eyeballs are eyeballs. And, and, and I remember Mike Tyson bringing me into the fold as a youngster. And I've said this many, many times on my platform. As a 10-year-old me, a 12-year-old me, you couldn't tell me that anybody in the world was more amazing or more dangerous than Iron Mike Tyson. As I've gotten older and become a boxing snob myself, I realized that Trevor Burbick wasn't the biggest name and Tyrell Biggs wasn't exactly generational talent. You know, Larry Holmes was way over the hill. And Michael Spinks clearly had no business coming out of retirement and fighting against a monster like Mike Tyson. That just added name value. He lost every single step up fight. So I know where to place him. But in my mind, it doesn't take away from the fact that he will probably go down in history as one of the greatest boxers that ever lived, right? Now, th- this fight is going to be huge because it's going to bring eyes to the sport. And these kids watching Jake Paul look up to him the same way. And I've actually met kids competing right now that were inspired by Jake and Logan Paul. So whenever I see people criticizing Jake Paul, the first thing I ask them is, is have you done any proselytizing for this great religion of boxing? Have you brought anybody into the fold? And if you haven't, then you have no grounds to criticize because let's keep it real. Let's keep it real. And that's most people in these comment sections, they don't even buy shirts. They don't buy pay-per-views, let alone pull up to fights. Like that's the reality of the situation is they just want to get online and be upset and complain about some shit and, and not keep it real that this 200 pound young and named Jake Paul are probably light they ass up man to man. Like that's the real, that's the truth of the matter. Like as corny as you might think he is like this, this event is going to be easily the most watched boxing broadcast of the year if not the most watched boxing broadcast of the last 10 years. Like, that's how big this event's going to be, and, and I'm all for it, Ness. I don't want to see Mike Tyson get knocked out. I'm not with that. I don't agree with you on that one. That That's kind of shystiness, but um, I, I think uh, I mean, I think it'll be cool. I'm only fight. saying that because if he does that, he becomes a villain. I, I agree, and, and that'll definitely put value into the, the, the impending Canelo versus Jake Paul fight. Not just Canelo versus Canelo. Jake Paul, but every fight moving forward, it's about, man, I want to see that motherfucker get knocked out. He fucking knocked out old ass, man. He don't got no respect. I, I hope, I hope, everybody I hope will Everybody will buy into his opponent because they dying for him to do what he did to Mike, I, to him. I, I, could see, I could see them plotting behind the scenes for that kind of angle, and I hope that ain't it. I hope that ain't it. <laughs> But, but I, I, I get where you're coming from on that one. And I do believe that, that when Canelo's all said and done, he's going to spin the block and get that huge Jake Paul bag after he's done with Benavidez and Crawford at the very, very tail end of it all. But, yeah, uh, as far as Anthony Joshua, um, because of me and my largest platform getting a million views a week on TikTok, I engage with the youngsters, I believe, in a way that most content creators in our niche don't. Most of the demographics site that, you know, where we're talking to 30s, 40-year-olders, me, I'm talking to a lot of youngsters, man. They believe in this MMA stuff, dog. They believe in that, well, in a real fight, you know what I mean? So I want to thank Anthony Joshua for bringing it back home to the church because these motherfuckers as quiet as a church mouse. Now, they can't say nothing. The dude that was the abominable snowman, the the the, the, the swap nest monster, just got knocked the hell out in front of the world, and now they know, like, there's levels to this. Sorry, MMA stands. Sorry, UFC fans. It is what it is. There's levels to this boxing thing, and it's apples and oranges. You know what I'm saying? Michael Jordan, you know, uh, LeBron James is not going to come out there and, and teach Patrick Mahomes how to quarterback better than he does. It's not how it works. And anyways, that's all I got to say. Thank you, Nestor Gibbs, for giving me the time. Peace out to the TBB family. Hit that like button. Appreciate you, champ. Appreciate you. Suleiman. If you are tuned in, make sure to smash the like, hit the subscribe, have that notification bell turned on so you know each and every right. time we go live. How you doing, Danny? How you doing, Danny? How you doing, Nesta? Yeah, man. So uh, up, big shout out for What's Anthony up? Joshua. Big shout out for Joseph Parker. That's the fight I want to see. That's the fight that should be made next. Joseph Parker deserves that fight, a rematch with Anthony Joshua. They're both winners. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think these guys should be matched with any losers right now. Deontay Wilder got a, a he got a start of winning fights in order for this fight to be made. I think Anthony Joshua and Tyson, I mean, um, I mean, uh, 
Deontay Wilder and uh, Tyson Fury, they took a lot of punishment in those three fights. It affected both of their careers. Um, and the aftermath, I think they, they're never going to be the same. And um, they shouldn't be matched. Uh, the Anthony Joshua for Deontay Wilder's fight should not be made. The only fight that should be made is the Joseph Parker fight. And from there, they fight the unified champion, uh, which is the winner of Tyson Fury and um, and um, Usyk. Um, leaving that for a moment, um, you met, you said that Chris Eubank Jr. was never a champion. Chris Eubank is a two-time IBO. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, the fifth, that's the fifth. Okay. That's the fifth belt. That's not one of the four yeah. recognized major four belts, uh, though. Okay. So you just yeah, got to clarify was, he, that. You just got to make sure you say okay. that. It's not, a, it's not okay, the WBC, yeah. WBA, WBO, IBF. Yeah, that's but not. he got... Okay, but he's a two-time IBO champ. Um, I think um, he's a very good fighter. He's the one that gave his first L to Avni Yildrim. I got that for he also, um, um, he also lost to Billy Joe. His first L was to Billy Joe. Yeah, he lost to Billy Joe, but that was an exciting fight. And um, you know, I'm, the guy's a good quality fighter. Um, he changed his styles. That fight with uh, that he got knocked out with uh, with with this guy with Leon Smith. Um, he was winning that fight. He just got his legs tangled or, or, or on the ropes and got knocked who's out. A better, who's a better okay. finisher, Liam Smith or Terrence? I'm acting uh, Crawford. I, well, I think, nah, well, well, not, not, not for nothing, but Terrence Crawford is an excellent finisher. Uh, we also, we're we basing Terrence Crawford's career. I mean, he got an exceptional career, but this guy is bigger. This guy has punching power. He carries a super middle yeah, with punching you, power. Yeah, but you're one of the main um, guys that likes to call in here and say, oh, well, this guy spars with this guy. Don't forget that, that Terrence Crawford is sparring with Lester Martinez, excellent young up-and-coming contender that's punching. He spars with, 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 with uh, you know, undefeated uh, Steven Nelson, who I'm sure you can tell us exactly what WBO belt he has because you know about all the regionals and stuff like that. Okay, so, so, yeah, no, so he's been getting that, quality. That, but, he's been getting that, quality that'd be, that'd be a good quality fight. But that'd be a quality fight. What I'm saying is Chris Eubank Jr. and Terrence Crawford is an excellent fight. It's a good quality fight being that uh, – the uh, Evo Spence rematch was not made. That's a good quality fight. It's going to show people that Terrence Crawford is acclimated to 160 pound division. And if um, uh, Alvarez wants to make that fight with him, it could happen at 160 or he could just move down. Because what I hear on the limelight, I think Alvarez is going to move down because all those fighters at 168, they what walk Alvarez? around 6 foot 1. Um, Saul Canelo Alvarez, he's going to probably move down to 160 fight Janabek. I heard that I, I'm hearing that he don't want to make Johnny Beck look like he might be fighting. Um, Bro, what, what is it, Dan fight? Aziz? Is it Dan Aziz? The one that just got the knockout over Liam Smith? He said, Did you just say you heard no, Hamza, Hamza, Hamza 160? I'm just Hamza Haraz. Haraz. Yeah, if he go to 160, it's more, it's more, it's more acclimate, it's more better for him because at that division, all those guys, um, Bro. Benavides is real quick, too real strong. Quick. When the last Who, time he made 160, Iglesia, O.C. Iglesia, okay, but let me give you an example. O.C. Iglesia is a 6 for one undefeated fighter, just knocked out Casares in a non-title fight, IBO champion. You got Devo, uh, Morrell Jr., 6 for one Why the fuck in a would half. Canelo fight that guy? No, no I'm he's saying, trying why, to explain why. Because, he's trying to explain why they go, he's going to go down versus staying over there. John, 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 is a, he's going to okay. go down to one thing. When's the last he'd be time more he made the one, I'm just curious. I don't know. Was that last time? Was that last, he never said he can't make the well, weight. He uh, never he, said he, he, he made it for for Danny Danny Jacobs is the last time he made one sixty. Yeah, he five can't make the one sixty, man. He he's a small fighter. He's got you, everybody wants him to get knocked out. Is a cruiserweight is not for him, man. Jake Paul is a ferocious puncher. I don't think Jake Paul should be in a ring with a Titan. He's that's gonna come cross both of those guys, that's man. That's the bell. That's the bell. Yeah. Yeah, I got to roll out, fellas. Yeah. I got to get back. Roll, roll out. King Amin of Essex. Roll out. All right, Twitter. All right, brother. Fellas, I'm going to get with y'all, man. TBV community. Support boxing, man. This is it, man. Be happy for this shit we got, man. Celebrate Anthony Joshua's win. Celebrate Clarissa Shield, you know what I'm saying, with her cash doll motherfucking impersonation. <laughs> Celebrate all this good shit, man. I'm Let's out. go. Uh, CYP. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> oh, man. You know what, though? You know what we should do? We, we, should, uh, we should erase the past narratives on TBV. 
and just roll with everything in the future. Let's erase everything. Because there was somebody on this show that used to pout, scream, and mute motherfuckers over the IBO title. Used to have the IBO president on this motherfucker talking about how it's a real belt. And see why people be like, that shit ain't real. It ain't one of the major four. And see why people get screamed on. Now, all of a sudden, it's a different narrative. So let's erase that shit from the past. A lot of new callers don't so, know so this. So are you saying I used to call it one of the majors? No, I'm saying you oh. should say it was a real title when it should count because Triple G had it no, and it Floyd does, had it. No, it does yeah. count. It does count. As you see, I always use the same examples. It gives people opportunities like it did for Tulani Mbenge, mm -hmm. Steven, uh, Sebastian mm -hmm. Formella. Those guys got mm -hmm. big fights. You know, they fought each other and, and, and Formella mm -hmm. ended up fighting Porter. Uh, and mm -hmm. same thing hey, for you, hey. He beat Reginald Quillen. All those are facts. Mm -hmm. Those are all facts. And the fact is, you called them dudes world champions back then, but now Chris Eubanks, he ain't a world champion for the same goddamn reason. That's just crazy to me. But, hey, it was in the past. I'm going to buy going to buy going to buy going to Hey, do y'all... I mean, um, when I tried to call them champs, hey. you would call them in discredit. I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I'm still sticking there. But now you changing to come on. I, I've noticed that a yeah, lot about you. Yeah, so I don't you. have to argue you, with you. You using a lot... No, it ain't about me. Yeah. Using a lot of shit that I used to you, say. You, 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 now you, you're you using it. Argue. You haven't talked about AJ yet. <laughs> no, because no, because you you were the one talking about somebody in a real champ. So I, I I'm just going on with the show going on. This is what you said. I mean, no, but again, we we, we, again, we gonna move on. Again, we, we gonna move on to uh, to Mike Tyson, to Mike Tyson, Jake Paul. Uh, I, I love what the other caller said. I noticed a lot of y'all don't like Jake Paul because in reality, Jake Paul beat your ass. See, that's the real reason why you don't like him. It's, I saw that shit with Shikari Richardson. Y'all hated her because she can actually run faster than you. Like, when there are people who you don't think deserve something, but they could beat your ass or are better than you, you fucking don't like them. Mike Tyson getting paid millions of dollars to jump in that ring because that's what he does. It's prize fighting. It's not age fighting. It's prize fighting. But when CYP gives you the ages of all the guys who start taking losses, y'all don't want to hear the truth. If you look at heavyweight boxers from 36 up, they lose. Every time they win one, they lose three. I've already done the math on when they lose, when, when one, they lose three. It's not a winning place for these guys to be after age 36. They gonna lose some fucking fights. It just starts to happen because age catches up with all of us. I'm talking about from the greats to the guys who retired, everybody. That's what fucking happens. If you still want to fight like Roy Jones, you're going to get your ass knocked out like Roy, and that's my fucking guy. I, I got tough skin from Roy Jones. I can't tell the man what to do. He don't listen to me. He going to fight. He going to fight overseas. He going to get knocked out. Mike Tyson is your guy. You ain't gonna listen. He ain't gonna listen to you either. He about to get his ass whipped by Jake Paul, and I'm gonna be happy about the shit because I don't really necessarily like Mike. That's just me. But at the same time, life fucking goes on. Stop complaining. Stop complaining. The bell, champ. Uh, let's see. We got JLA. JLA. What do you say? You Yo, watching this what's on up, YouTube? Now? What up? We, Hi. we hear you. We hear you. Take it away. Thanks for giving me a little extra time. It, it's kind of interesting jumping on Discord sometimes, so I appreciate that. But hey, about about uh, the topic at hand, AJ and Ganu over the weekend, uh, definitely a great event. But, you know, I'm a realist. I'm a big boxing head. I'm a big boxing guy. Uh, I've adapted to UFC just because, you know, there's it's more accessibility, but it's it's got some moments. But I've always known what everybody in boxing knows, that it's just, like you said, different levels. But this was just an unfair fight, but it was a, a good fight. And the reason boxing heads, I think, are getting so up on it is because we, we boxing heads have been getting shit for years from these UFC guys who really, really didn't know boxing. But they came up on the UFC wave, and they're talking about, man, you guys, your boxing sucks. It's dead. It's, uh, you know... Uh, UFC is destroying them. It's, and, you know, and kind of we're sitting back and I go to these bars occasionally and I see, yeah, these UFC fights, they don't seem to be crazy, crazy popular matchups. People are there. There you go. And they are, these younger guys are hyped up on it. And the boxing matches that I think should be getting really good attention, hardly anybody's there in the, in the, in the fight, uh, in the bar. And so uh, from that side, with that uh, age group, I think, yes, these, these UFC guys have a point. Also, they always say, well, dude, in UFC, you see the best versus the best all the time. Boxing doesn't do that. Those guys freaking don't fight each other for years. And again, I can't say shit to them because it's kind of true. We don't see the best fights or the M-prime versus M-prime like we do in the UFC. 
So I think those boxing heads just wanted to get one back on those UFC guys and say, fuck you. This is what levels are, man. I don't think it's one. I think we want to win all the time. It, that's true. That's true. But, but you know, this was a big one because, I mean, I, I, trust me, I love Ngannou. I'm not a big UFC fight, but I like UFC to a certain degree. I know what it is. Um, but Ngannou, I love the guy. I love his story. You know, he came up. I, I watched him. I just didn't like the fight for him because I knew what was going to happen. Now, I thought Fury was going to do him in. But then when I see the fight, I think maybe Fury carried him a little bit carried to make it him, more whatever, of an man. Whatever. If I, Fury could have knocked him out, he would have got him out of there, bro. The fact that he didn't get him out of there, that that's what that's what gave us the black eye. It, it was the black eye, but here's the thing that, that threw my theory off. I thought they were going to use that as a rematch to make even more money on the second fight. Big entering. Wow, this UFC guy actually gave Fury a fight. Let's rematch it. But that didn't happen because Usyk had the lock on. on no, hey, we, no, we still got to do it, it, I mean, I think, no? it, I think it didn't happen more because... It's Saudi. They don't need to build it or milk it for money. It's like we don't need you. To oh, rematch. we don't need you to rematch. Just fight AJ yeah. in another big fight. You know, I didn't think about that point. That's a good point because I'm thinking like from the business side, right? Kind of like sometimes these boxing promoters uh, in the USA and other parts are like thinking about how can we make more money out of this? You know, kind of like a little bit of a staging a shit. That's why. But yeah, I that's why point. this shit is beautiful, bro. It's like zero. <laughs> Zero fuss about promoting money is like he takes all that and you know we just get to watch the finished product. So yeah, and, and salute and, and, to him. Look, and for and the US people to, like that. And then we get to see first take champ, that's we the get bell to see though, first take uh, with Stephen champ. A. Smith. Forty bucks. We get to see for forty bucks as USA. Yes. That's great instead of a ninety, right? And <laughs> that's Shannon the bell, Jay. But I paid thirty eight. And now Actually, it was 38. Now they're like, talking two, about two, it right six. here. So, you know, what they talk the about Danny on, on Shannon show. Joshua takes out in Ghana with crushing KO finish. Yeah, that's they're, what I listen. Knockout sell. Tank is in a fucking uh, attraction for no reason. It's, 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 hey, for brother. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Knockout sell. But very, very, very few knockouts make it to first take. They might make it to Sports Center top 10. But for Stephen A. and Shannon Sharp to talk about it, it's far and few between. Nah, man. Heavyweight division is the casual division. Uh, AJ has been a, a, a known commodity. Uh, I think that, you know, you got to talk about his fucking fight. You know, it's AJ. And he did what Fury could. That's the biggest sell, Danny. It's not really, maybe it's not Ngannou. It's that this guy, you know, went 10 with Ngannou. I mean, with, with, with Fury who we had as this monster after he did what he did to AJ. I mean, to, 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 to Wilder. That's how it works. Like, our minds as casuals, not you and I. I mean, as casuals, we're looking Can at... Can you hear me? Who, you don't hear me? No, I hear you. I'm just making sure you can hear me. Yeah. All right, cool. So, yeah, I mean, no, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, right now, Tyson Fury is being a name drop. Uh... And and mentioned as I'll the right fight back, that right? Stephen A wants to see next. So, you know, uh, do your thing. You solo. Um, solo, dolo, Scarface, uh, Al Pacino. You feel me? But yeah, bro, you know, I love to see this shit. Joshua taking out. They've literally showed the knockout Lord knows how many times now. It's been at least eight times now. You know, I love to see this shit. I watch First Take every morning. Just so I'm current in the world of sports and, and, and news and shit like that. So, uh, again, I know it's the most watched morning sports show. Um, yeah, so it's just beautiful to see. Beautiful to see. Let's see what the people are saying. I thought Nganu is under PFL, but they just letting him box at the moment. Correct me, please. I'm casual after all. Yeah, so he left the UFC. Um, and then whether it was before or after the Fury fight, he signed that PFL deal. Um, he says that he's going to fight PFL at some point this year. Yeah, they've talked about him before. I'm just saying I watch first take every morning, every single morning. And, uh, you know, you might go weeks without them even mentioning a boxer's name. So. 
So, uh, yeah, you know, for them to be talking about it, you know, it's just dope. It's good for the sport. James Benitez, $5, says, don't forget I was the first to say Chisora beats Wilder two years ago. Since Chisora is way more experienced than Wilder, who is the safest fight for him? It's a good question. Uh, I guess it just depends at what level you want to uh, mix them in there with, right? So the, you could get a safe fight, but is it going to be a high-selling fight? Is it going to be an appealing fight? That's the real question. Um, you know, I think you got several options. Uh, it's really just up to him and what he want to do, at what pace he want to come back at, and how soon. You know, um, fuck, man. Throw him in there with, like, Justice Hooney or some shit. Who give a fuck? Um, people asking, when do tickets go on sale for Canelo and Munguia? Pre-sale is Wednesday, I'm being told. Pre-sale is Wednesday for those that are interested in those tickets. Um, Pre-sale is Wednesday, so be on the lookout for, you know, either fighter or the promoter slash network dropping the pre-sale code. Definitely, um, it's a big fight, man. It's a big fight, and it's already less than two months out, so... Grab your tickets. If you are tuned in, smash the like, hit the subscribe, have that notification bell turned on. I will be in the gym uh, a little bit later with the undisputed champ, Alicia Bumgardner, um, who is now clear to fight. And I can tell you, you know, big fight being negotiated um, for her return. So hopefully uh, things can get uh, confirmed. And uh, I'll have some news for you all shortly. So definitely expect some some more Alicia Bumgarner footage on the page. Mm. Molly and Stephen A. saying that this should give UFC fighters concern and uh, to cross over. Which, which, which... Look, I, I don't want to see it happen all the time, but I still want it to continue to happen. I want, and I'm calling it, because I don't he got a YouTube channel, John Jones? I want him versus Wilder, because I think he reacted, right? Or was it another is it another dude that looks like John Jones that reacted to the Ngannou knockout? Um, I don't know if he has a YouTube page, to be honest with you. Well, yeah, what about John Jones and Wilder? Love it. Love it. Love it. I wonder why the Turkey Alasik ain't throw him in the mix, right? Like, he he's another guy that's been wanting to do MMA. I mean, boxing. Is he, is he, um, is he like still contracted well, to the UFC or some shit? Yeah, yeah, he's still in the contract. Oh, that's what uh, it is, you know? And he's a guy that, bro, at this point, so sad because he's probably the best to ever do it. Damn. Not like, not like of our era. He's probably the best to ever do it. And it's sad because he's just been so inactive, bro. Huh. So inactive. And, uh, you know, obviously he has his things going on outside of the cage. But, bro, that dude's a bad motherfucker. Unbiased Brim, talk to us. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It's going to help with the visibility of the show. The quicker we get the 500 thumbs up, the quicker we open up the live chat. Unbiased Brim, what up with you? What up, Ness? What up, Danny? Broken. Marco gone? What up, brother? What up? Yeah, Marco, he's he's not there at the moment. All right, cool, man. You know, another, another wonderful weekend. There was some great boxing and... um. You know, I wanted to talk about a couple of things wherever I, you know, whatever time I got, I can. But the reason why we're excited about AJ is a couple of reasons. And we already know he disrespected the sport. He should have fought undisputed. Instead, he went off and did this Nagano fight. After goofing around with the undisputed fight and all the fights he did before that showed us that he wasn't really trying to prepare for an undisputed fight and fighting, you know, the trilogy that nobody expected. Dillian whitewashed, you know, so... I feel like as good as Fury is and talented as he disrespected the sport and AJ just had to set the table right. So that's one aspect. We're happy about that in regards to 
you know, boxing and how MMA, MMA fans are treating it and have been talking to us, you know. The second aspect, though, is the Wilder fanboys, too. I got Wilder fanboys actually out there having the audacity to say that it was it was it was fixed. It, it it was it was a fixed fight. They call AJ overrated, talk shit about AJ, but everything they say about AJ applies to Deontay Wilder. And instead of them just admitting that they AJ haters, they try to cloak it and, and and use other crap. So it's a multifaceted in regards to AJ. It's about him getting his respect in America that he hasn't gotten overall, and in the respect for the the for the essence of boxing. So that's why we're happy to see what happened. Um, I agree with you too, Ness, about your bud take at this point. I I, I understand why people are upset about the fight because I don't like the fight. But I just understand it looking at the dichotomy in the in the in the whole landscape. Because who is there to fight for a title at 154, 160 that has any value? Can I, can Jam- I ask you, gentlemen? Jamel, that? Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo has no belts now, bro. Actually, he does. Oh. Actually, he does. He's champion in recess. So if he wants to come back, he could come back to WBA and WBC belts. But you know Jam- Jam- Jamel is not coming back to 154, bro. He, I, I'm willing to bet people no, that he's I going you. to... I mean, you asked me a question. I gave you a champion. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I, 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 just want to, I just want to chop it up with you about it. But the thing is, Mel, the problem with Mel, though, he ruined the value that he has. He already didn't have high, high value as it is, even though he's a solid fighter. But on the biggest I mean, stage I mean, against I'm Canelo, everybody I'm thinks he's going to have a No, no, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be like that. Like, we had, as a hardcore, you and I both had enough time to get our rocks off and kick his back in. But at the end of the day, as a hardcore, we also got to say, he lost to Canelo, bro. He ain't lose no fucking value. Cut the shit. He lost to he God did, though. He didn't go out there. No, he didn't go out there. No, he, no, he, he lost no value. He lost no value, bro. He lost no value. He lost. He, he lost to Canelo. Bro, I'm sorry, but he did. No. You might. So I would then, have to disagree so with then, that, bro. So then that's cool. Listen. Do you so think then he let lost him. Value? So then let him redeem himself in his own division where he was king. Like why we gotta? Think, why we gotta think, think that he's I done think, or I, any weird shit like that? That's not weird, not though, my guy. It's not I, weird. I do think... Hold on. I Bro, do you think lost that, to Canelo. Uh, How because... could you be done? You lost to Canelo. It's Canelo. Because no, he no, lost. No, he didn't play like, sure a, like a lion. Right. He no, you're right. Ass. You're right. You're right. You're right. Fucking Ryan quit, and he ain't fucking done. Like, what are we talking yeah, about? The that people are following the male doesn't have. You're comparing right. two, but the right. different other things that apply. But let me let Ring Walk answer that because I know my time up. But what, let Ring answer my question as well, my brother. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I think that I think that we can't deny the fact that some people felt that he didn't put up a, a, a good outing. I'm not saying he's done. I'm not saying that he shouldn't fight again. But, you know, a lot of people was disappointed in in, in in his performance, you know, like I think there's a difference from losing to Canelo, but how he lost, I think, is is, is what some people are, are critical uh, of him. Um, again, I ain't saying he done or none of that. Uh, yeah, I feel but, but I was on the biggest stage, bro. They don't get no bigger I, than him, so that impression it hurt dude, it hurt him badly. I do have some breaking news. All right, Chen, that was uh, the bell. Uh-oh. One of, if Still not the GOAT, Muhammad Ali will be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Um, I know he he was a guest referee for one of the WrestleManias, I think one of the first WrestleManias. And uh, I don't know if his crossover fight was part of WWE or not, but I know he was a guest referee for WrestleMania 1 or 2, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, you know. Just news and notes. Counterpart CYP. Yo, yo, yo. I, I forgot to drop this conundrum. I had a conundrum y'all put me through, man. I was, it was weird over this weekend. I'm like, something didn't make sense to me. So I said, what do we bring to the audience? Okay, so AJ beats Francis by KO. Fury barely beats Francis. AJ now is the face of heavyweight division, number one. He should get Fury. AJ loses to Usyk back to back. Fury is favored to beat Usyk, and they're fighting next. So if Fury beats Usyk, the same guy that AJ couldn't beat twice, wouldn't that mean that now Fury doesn't 
deserve an AJ fight or AJ doesn't deserve a free fight based off the first conspiracy? Because I'm confused here. Because y'all realize that Fury did win, right? And y'all do realize that AJ did lose to Usyk. So if Fury beats the guy that he couldn't beat twice, that don't put him, that don't put him in a whole nother stratosphere? Oh, my bad, because he didn't beat the, the other guy, the MMA guy, as bad as you. That somehow means, man, I'll tell you, sometimes the UK motherfuckers be trying they Not for the hardcore, but for the, but for the casual and especially the way <laughs> the Saudis selling it. Saudis, Saudis. Come like, on, not the Saudis for, don't run not boxing. Not for dog. me and you, but hell yeah, that shit. <laughs> they, they, they don't run boxing. They don't run boxing. Once Fury, Fury once runs the heavyweight division. And if Fury wins, let's be real, he's going to be under fucking spirit. And that dude could retire and nobody going to say shit unless they offer him. For sure. You know, you know, you know how Fury is. He going to offer him ask for $100 for sure, million because but- he does not need nothing after that. So we, we, so we need to be prepared for that. Be prepared for Fury to stand on this fucking mountain looking down, laughing at people, not giving a fuck what y'all talking about, about no fucking Francis so, tale. He'll, he'll, I, he'd rather I, rematch I Francis I would agree than, with than you, to have to fight AJ. I would agree with you, but based off the interview he just did over uh, Friday morning during the, the live fight telecast, it doesn't seem like he's going to walk away. I don't know if you caught Man. it, but... Are we, me, yes, I heard him like, talk. It seemed like Fury always it seemed like lying. A, I'll let you go because I can't hear you. You know, you're right. No, Fury always lies. That's why I don't listen to what he says. I listen to what he does. And every time Fury gets leverage, he does something totally different than what he said before he had the leverage. Every fucking time he does the shit. Every well, time. He's grateful. I, he's thankful. I, I and then he wins. He changes his mind. I, I do agree with you, but uh, I've never seen him apologize. I've never seen I've never seen him uh seem like or at least come off apologetic and that's exactly what he was doing and and uh I don't know I think that you know he's happy with the money he's getting and uh mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think we'll see the fight happen. <laughs> I say we won't, but we're, we're, hey, we'll be here when it happens. I, the theory I know, he full of shit. When that motherfucker becomes king, he acts like it. He fucking acts like it. And to be honest with you, being an Usyk, being in Wilder and Vlad, that motherfucker don't need to fight no, no AJ because AJ is the reason why Usyk was the person he, he needed to beat. Y'all always talking about somebody dropping a ball, but y'all never want to mention the fact that AJ losing to Usyk dropped a whole fucking bunch of balls on y'all motherfucking heads. <laughs> Teabagging, CYP out. <laughs> For sure, CYP. Appreciate you. Look, I'm not saying I'm not saying I know something you don't. I'm just saying the dude talking about, you know, uh, he's sorry to the sheik and that he ain't gonna have another fight. This and that he's happy with the way he's been treated. So, you know, um, obviously he'll have all of the cards. Obviously, the ball will be in his court. So, you know, when it comes to being king and playing king, I absolutely agree. You know, he's going to ask for some shit that is, you know, king-like. He is going to ask for some shit that is um, much more greater than Joshua. And uh, I think it'll be up to the sheep to give it to him if he want, you know, if he want that fight. But obviously, you know, Fury's going to have to take it, you know. So you make a point. Look, I'm not saying he will or he won't, but we shall see. But phone lines are open. If you guys want to call in Discord and X Spaces is the way to do so. Discord and X Spaces is the way to do so. If you guys want to call in, give us your thoughts on Joshua and Ganu and what is next. Feel free. Lots of callers right now, so we will get to everybody. But in the meantime, smash the like, hit the subscribe, have that notification bell turned on. Ness, who we got next? Tip Bellis. Yo. Yo. What's the word, man? Yeah. I seen some shit on the zone last week, man. There's these two dudes uh, fighting at Gold's Gym and shit. The fuck? Uh, yeah. It was on the zone. Uh, 
some dude named Francis Ngannou and Anthony Joshua, like two big ass Gold's Gym members. They mm. was fighting on television. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but check it out, man. Hey, uh, hey, hey, you know, you know, you know, we know you lying, right? Because that would have meant in order for you to see them, you would have had to pay $40. Or call them. Not lying. No, no, no. I paid pay for the fight, bro. Trust me, I paid for the fight. I paid for the. Look, you know what's crazy, bro? I did have to stream it, though. Because I paid for the shit twice. So I don't know what it is. Like, the zone won't let me watch the fight. On like two mo- two mobile devices, so I had to let my mom watch it on another one on her joint. Then nah, you ain't lying about one. that. You ain't lying. They don't let you watch it. Yeah. <laughs> my girl can't yeah, even so- watch it in the other huh, in the other room. That shit is crazy, man. They out of control. Yes. Yeah, so-, so I created another account and I paid for the fight, and then the shit wouldn't let me watch it again. So I was like, "What the fuck?" I said, "I just went to Streamies, man. Shout out to Streamies, man." Uh, but yeah. Uh, Shout out to Joshua, man. You know what I'm saying? Joshua got the people going, man. Uh, shit, my boss, he he did, he into that mixed martial arts shit. So he and me up talking about, yeah, uh, AJ got to fight Fury now. I was like, damn. I was like, it's like that. Y'all think AJ got to fight I mean, because it's, 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 it's not about uh, more of like the best. It's just that that's a, a domestic battle that's made it, you know, past the UK, where those two are the only two that haven't fought, just like AJ hasn't fought Wilder. We just, Wilder, you know, yeah. we just want them to mix it up. It's not like, you know, we just, it's something no, no, that we no, ain't I, get, I, man. I'm completely right. Hey, Tip, shout out to my Dukes, though. Man. Shout out to my Dukes for being a Joshua fan, man. Hey, Word, I've been trying to get my mother in the box That's crazy. He years, said man. he said he, he the going. landlord, though. He had, he had Gerald Miller mom's. Wanting to see him fight now, nah, your moms, that's crazy. They, they, <laughs> yo, AJ really the landlord out here. Let me find out my moms want to see AJ. I'm, yo, I'm disconnecting the fucking cable system over there. That was hilarious. But uh, yeah, and then we had a, uh, we had a uh, Joseph Parker man beating up uh, Jersey sous chefs. Man, this shit crazy, bro. Hey, I don't know why y'all keep trying to talk about what's next for Joseph Parker. Zane about to run that shit back. My man got a rematch cause, all right? We we coming back for that strap, bro. You know what I'm saying? Joseph Parker got lucky because Zane didn't want to let his hands go. That shit not going to happen a second time, bro. Not going to happen a second time. I mean, it may have happened a second time with a different fighter, but it's not going to happen with the same fighter twice, bro. Not going to happen, man. Zane got his rematch cause. We going to spin the block on Joseph Parker, and we going to uh, uh, blow New Zealand up. Straight straight up, bro. That's how we coming, man. Big Bang Zane. Ain't no shout out to... Uh, TGB Promotions, man. We came out with the draw. You know, we uh we fought a tough, rugged fighter. He was a dirty fighter. You know what I'm saying? We gonna spin the block. And we're we gonna take care of that business. And uh Baby Joga, yo, let's talk about a real Mexican fight. Uh Eric Robles versus Liam Davies. Not that bullshit is a pay to fight. You know what I'm saying? A real Mexican fight, bro. Supposed you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's it, man. Shout out to uh, shout out to Gold's That's gym, the man. bell, play. That's again. the bell. Uh, we got Toledo, Trees in Toledo. Yo, we hear you. What up, though? What up, though? What up, Danny? What's going on with my guy? But, he, uh, he stepped away to smoke. Up, what up? Oh, okay, what up, though? But shit, uh, I heard y'all talking about these heavyweights and shit earlier, though, about how we don't really got too many younger ones in the game and whatnot. But I just chalk it up to us when we got the heavier bodies and shit. I feel like they just go to other sports, you feel me, like football and shit, because they pay a little bit more than this boxing, you know. Or if you had like a 6'6 motherfucker, I'm sure he would try to be a hooper. You know how that shit go. But uh, if I run over, by the way, shit, uh, I got I got you five. But um, and uh, Floyd Schofield, I'm I'm interested in his fight, by the way, with the, his next fight coming. Don't he fight on this undercard at at Cepeda and Maxi Hughes? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm interested in him. I want to see how he gonna look again. If he gonna give us more than one round, like he blasted through the other guy, his last fight. But I want to see if he give us a couple rounds. You feel me? And see what he look like, maybe what type of call out he give us too, if he gonna call out a name. I'm interested. 
But um, damn, Ness, you a funny guy too, man. I hear you trying to make Jack Paul. You trying to <laughs> you done threw Mike Tyson to the wolves. That shit funny. You trying to sacrifice? Damn, he says he's sacrificing for boxing. That's funny. What the hell? You trying to make you trying to basically turn Jake Paul into like the Dana White of boxing? That's what you want for Jake Paul? You want him to be the guy? You say he making moves to Netflix? I, I, and don't, I don't need him to be the guy, but he's helping people, bro. Like Elijah Flores is a is a relative of one of our community members. Anybody that listens to this show knows Castle Hill Gill. You know, Flores is one of his guys. He don't even got to deal with MVP, but we see him because of MVP giving Box Lab a deal. He sparred Tank because of that. He just sparred Devin because of that. He just fought in Puerto Rico because of that. Like, yeah, I fuck with Jake, bro. He doing what no. a lot hey, of, hey, hey. He doing what I wish Floyd would do. Where's Floyd's, where's Floyd's no, that's a uh, prospect no, series? That. His prospects for on the March 9th card in, in, in South Carolina off television. $35 you had to pay to watch them kids. You know, my own Dominican brethren. So I wish Floyd used his name to get a prospect series where, where Jersley Vargas could have been seen, where, where Jahan Ingram could have been seen. So, yeah, I, I love what it. the fuck Jake doing. Anybody that no, can't see that, y'all just, y'all just, you know, y'all, y'all stuck hey, in hey, names. We not hating. No, not we you, not, not you. I'm, not, okay. not you. I'm speaking in this general. An Ohio guy. I'm, I'm, I'm okay, speaking I'm in general because people, guy. people staying stuck on names. It's like, bro, what is he doing for the sport as a whole? Like, come I get, on. but that's just it might, that Michael that that Mike Tyson. Orlando popping right it. now. Orlando popping because of Jake. He scaled that shit to seven thousand. Come on, that bro. Mike Tyson. Bro, bro, but I'm just saying though that Mike Tyson take that you got though that shit is nuts though. It's like you got to think, bro. You talk, you don't watch other sports. So for us, that's my like dude, my us, take is normal. No, no. If he dies, he dies. If he gets nah, knocked out, but, Jake nah, is the nah, villain. Nah, Jake nah, is the bad yes, guy. I'm Everybody want to fight with him now. Everybody. But this is a, I. But but we would have rather him done this to this this Stephen Cunningham shit. That would have been cool. But when we were talking like Steve when we Cunningham said Mike don't Tyson, bring that's bells. Even, Steve Cunningham but don't I bring get bells. You, bro, bro, but you. But let me. But let me finish though. You got to see it from other people's standpoint. Like you just said, motherfuckers been watching Mike since the since since the eighties. Motherfuckers like this is like that's this what is it like is. My dude, no, but this listen, the though, biggest, this is like this the biggest well. You killing two. Different fucking but, generations. You get Jake's you generation the, and Mike's. But people don't take Jake serious. Is my point though. When you thinking and about other okay. sports, this is like this is like the Mac McClung motherfucker who won the dunk contest, dunking on Michael Jordan or something, bro. Niggas would go nuts. Niggas would be like Mac McClung. What the fuck, dunking on Michael Jordan? How you even get that opportunity to even get out there? How you even yeah. get a dunk contest? And now they mad. Michael, that and, shit nuts. And, and now they that's, mad. And now they <laughs> mad. And that's perfect. That's perfect. Now he's but, NWO man. Hulk Hogan. That's perfect. It's perfect. Hey, man. So he, if they are, listen, let me tell you why it's perfect, right? Because not everybody want to fight him. Not that they already don't, but now everyone want to fight him. And anybody he chooses got a shot now. Now they paying for everyone to see him lose, uh, you know, see him beat Jake. So, like, when he do so, want to fight Andre Durrell, even though he's old, we going to be okay with it. We're like, fuck, he going to fuck him up. He way better than, Ty than the Tommy Fury and shit like that. I'm telling you, I don't know. Look, he might not do it. Look, for all we know, they're going to be fine with headgear or big-ass 20-ounce gloves. Shit going to be a circus. Who knows? It could be fucking 50-ounce gloves. We don't know. It could be them fake-ass gloves that, that you inflate. Who knows? We don't know. We don't know. We here in this exhibition based off the, you know, live that, you know, uh, Jay Leon did. So we don't know what this is going to be. But hey, man. So my thing is, so when if 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 Jake Paul, like you say, he face plant Tyson, like he like he Pacquiao tight. That's what I'm gonna call. He, if he if if he Pacquiao Tyson, you feel me? What the fuck? So where do Jake go from here? If he said that he's trying to win a belt, he can't go back to fighting rhinos and fighting Andre Augustus of the world. Why not? You that shit why flat not? out. He nah, knocked out a 58-year-old. He knocked out, out here, a 58-year-old. <laughs> if he fight a fucking 48-year-old, it's a plus. Oh man, what the fuck, man? Bro, that's I mean, not, that's he no called Mike Tyson that's at 58, listen, though. So listen. it got to be like a 48 year old that's he like gotta, lesser than Mike. But this is what I don't get. You got to fight. This is what I don't get. Andre Ward. Andre Ward got to step in but, there. Andre Ward. But, got, if he if he if he Pacquiao Tyson, Andre Ward got to step in but there. Listen, but for listen. The, for the, Andre that, Ward got to step in there. He's doing his job just because you want to see him with a ward and you want to see him with whoever. 
he's doing his job. His job is to make you want to see him get beat, and he doing that. He doing that. I hope Tyson knock his shit loose, bro. I can't. I ain't gonna hold. I can't have this. I, I want him to now. Nah, I want him to stick to the just stick to the boxing, stick to the promoting the USA boxing, doing your MVP nah. series. If nah. you're trying to get the belt, go get the belt. But this this shit with Tyson, this shit not right, bro. This shit not right. This and oh, by the way, before I jump off, before I jump off, by he the should, way, he should talk Danny. to Oscar next. Then you, <laughs> I ain't gonna know that. Hey, him hey, and Oscar, an that shit might be the one. How <laughs> that's old an is idea. Oscar? Oscar can't be as old as See, Mike. That's no, an idea. And, and Oscar hey. might be Oscar might be the forty some year year old you need. You feel me? Oh damn, he fifty one. But that's perfect. 51. He should fight. He said Oscar. that's younger. He like fuck it. That's younger. He, that's that's, that's ain't perfect. Fit. Damn, that's not he fit. said. Ness, bro, you ain't going from fifties to forties. You going from high fifties to low fifties. Bro, the low bro, 50s. Oscar's not... perfect. Fuck it. Go bro, the whole bro, let me home. tell you, yo, this the only home. fight that Jake could get where he not the villain. Oscar's the only fight Jake could get where he not the villain. Motherfuckers gonna want him to beat the shit out of Oscar. Not me, Oscar. I got your back. I'm picking you to you out jab him. But so many dudes hey, but... gonna be picking against Oscar in that fight. You funny as shit. Hey, before I jump off here, real quick though. Hey, Danny, I know you're a UFC guy, but before Hey, I know Ness want my man Jared to go over there to the UK for Fabio Worley, but I'm saying fuck that. Jared, Jared, hey, hey, no. I seen, I, 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 Jared, I seen you doing some wrestling shit. I seen on your Bud Crawford shit, lightweight. But hey, man, we gonna see you if you want to go to the UK. How about you go over there, get the bag, and you knock uh Tom Aspinall shit loose. In the UFC nah, one man, time, Jared. get one back for the boxing one time. Fuck it, bro. bro you know, bro, you know, you know who that is. For I don't even know who that is, bro. That's the heavyweight champ over there, man. That's the heavyweight champ over there, man. Not this Jared shit loose, about man. the fight. What's that dude? Heavyweight name? champ. Look, you, you don't know who you don't know who his name is. Look, but that's 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 the point. <laughs> you should be you should be promoting that. You out here promoting other shit. Able, no, he fighting a dude. He fighting a dude. Just be Tony Yoka. What you mean? You know what the fuck going on? Hey, Rio Near, you know what the fuck going on? April 13th, man. Corpus Christi, Texas, man. But March 22nd, we got Aubrey Bell here in the city, Toledo, Ohio, Glass City Center. Then March 29th, we got O'Shea Jones, OTX Boxing in Atlanta. You know I'll be there. Come check your boy out. You know what the fuck going on. But hey, shout out TBV. Shout out Toledo, Ohio. Y'all be cool. Um, Danny, this uh, yeah. Chris Mannix, they send it to me saying Jake and Mike Tyson, he predicts, will be uh, the most watched boxing event in decades. What's the most watched boxing event? Let me, uh, let me do some research. Uh-oh. Coach, what up? What? Damn, Khalil Cole want to fight. Um, how do I add that to my story? Khalil Cole wants to fight, uh, he ain't tagged me. I can't even add this shit. Um, he want to fight Arthur Linden Arthur. Be. That's not a bad fight. So, unfortunately, anything I look That's up, a big jump it's for only him. giving me pay-per-view. Word. So there's no, like, most watched television boxing event? That's crazy. Nah, I know, I know the um the Danny and Thurman did like five mil. Did, yeah, I was gonna say the several million. And then, then Bundu Earl, CBS. Bundu Earl did six mil on, right after the Olympics or some shit. Oh, I don't, I don't know if it was that high, but what you wildin', bro? That was like a bud talking point. There's six million after the Olympics. Oh, What's happening? I, don't know if I said bud. I meant Earl. I meant Earl. Excuse me. Did I not say Earl? Yeah, yeah, you said Earl, um, but then you said it was a Bud talking point after. Nah, yeah, I fucked that up. It was an Earl talking point. What up, what up, Moose? Not much detailing the vehicle right now, but Bruh, shout out to I, you. I just, I just got my shit detailed. Literally, that's why I've been going in and out, the, uh, in and out the show. And I hate that you, don't, you, don't, you ain't around me, man. I had to spend my money with somebody else. Hey, man, I appreciate that, and I appreciate you shouting me out the other day saying that if you was near me, you'll use me to clean your car. I greatly appreciate that. Of course, man. Shout out to you. Shout out to Danny. Shout out to Marco. 
Shout out to King Amin. Shout out to the whole TBV community. Uh, I got a question. Uh, <clears throat> back when Willie Pep and you know people like Sugar Ray Robinson was fighting, what would you say the average amount of fights was for a fighter during that time? What in terms of what purse? In terms of how many fights fought, uh, fights they fought in their career? Fuck Robinson, man. I mean, I don't know. He fought a lot of fights, right? I'm pretty sure he up there with Canelo. See. Robinson, uh, Robinson got a hundred plus fights. Yeah, look at that. Willie Pep got a hundred plus fights. Uh, I forgot the brother's first name, but his last name is Armstrong. He got a hundred plus fights. And these fights, they was 15, uh, 15 rounds. I bet you the common uh, theme is that some of them dudes wasn't the greatest. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I agree. Uh, God damn, my man yeah. record 174, 19 and 6 draws. And he, he didn't have his first loss until, I want to say, around 90 fights in. Yeah, I mean, but who was he fighting, though? Hey, I don't know. But uh, what God I will damn. say is that he was... I tell you what, that motherfucker who... I don't know history, but whoever his, was his first fight, that motherfucker had 36 fights, 36 wins, 30 losses, 3 draws. His first fight, though, that's crazy. This record don't even make sense. I never looked at this, yo. I'm not a history guy. His next fight was 51 and 20 with nine. Like, what in the hell? And it was a 10. Yo, he started off with 10 rounders. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. crazy. Now, how many fights does the average person today have before they retire? My dude, he was fighting every two weeks, daddy. My man fought. November 9th, November 13th. God damn. But he did take That's time four off. Days apart. He took time. He took time off. He, Yo, yeah. He took time off and didn't come back till four days January. Apart. He 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 literally fought, took a day off, did the presses, the weigh in, and then fought again. Bro, and he went ten in that first fight and then and then went five in the next one, even though it was four days later. Then he ain't fight again till January. And I mean, I mean, Jesus Christ! The dude he fought had a hundred and seven fucking. Yo, this is funny. This is funny. Okay, now today, how many fights does the average fighter have before they retire? Are they having anywhere near that amount? Of course not. But 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 again, again, fighter, again, 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 look at this record though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Would the average and how much money y'all got to remember that? How much money did he make fighting in the city auditorium in Denver? I hear you there, but I'm painting the picture, and I'm, I'm uh, there's somewhere that I'm going with these questions, uh, and money isn't the, uh, what I'm yeah, getting but that, at. But that's that's the point that these fighters. That's why I said. Remember, my monologue was Wilder going back to Tuscaloosa, paying. Alonzo Butler, 25000 getting 10 rounds in a fight. So it, it ain't about money for me either. It's about activity, but people don't do that anymore. Yeah, I'm, well, right now what I'm saying is there's something that I, there's the point that I'm trying to prove in uh, asking these questions. So today the average fighter, they, they start off at around four rounds, and the average fighter will probably get around 40 to 50 fights before they retire, uh, maybe 30, you know. Uh, and back in the day, the average fighter had 100 plus fights, and they didn't start it for uh, four rounds per fight. You said the dude started 10 rounds, and when they when they really got up there, they was doing 15 rounds every time. There, it wasn't nothing for a person to fight one week, and the next week they got another 15 rounder. Uh, so the reason I ask that is because I hear people, you know, y'all brought it up a little bit earlier saying that you know med sports medicine and athletes are fighting longer and stuff like that well athletes can fight longer today because they fight once a year you get what i'm saying and they only got a couple uh, a few fights if they was fighting 100 fights it would be a totally different story and sugar ray robinson retired when he was 44 years old with a, over with 170 fights Champ. so i'm just go ahead yeah so so do you believe do you believe that uh by any chance, there's a possibility that sanctioning bodies have gotten just a tad bit more strict than what they used to be? Uh, I don't know if that's the case, but what I'm tr the point that I'm trying to make is that 
people like to say that back uh, today, uh, medicine, technology, we have made advancements today. I disagree. I, I feel that we're regressing. We're going backwards. Keep in mind, the average basketball player today don't play all the whole season. Back in the day, it wasn't nothing for the uh, for basketball players to play the entire season. They didn't miss games. Today, they get injured easy, and you don't even get to see them play. Back in the day, you had fighters who fought 100-plus rounds. You get what I'm saying? 15 minutes, 15 rounds. Today, they're not doing that. They're fighting once a year. Do you get what I'm saying? So when people say that we're getting better, get we're not. So that is not I get what you're saying, but we live in a world where a few years ago, right? Keep in mind, Canelo's fighting Jaime Munguia May 4th of this year, right? In Vegas. But a few years ago, Vegas State Commission said Munguia couldn't even fight. They ain't allowed him to fight in a state. He had to go to California. So, so I get what you're saying, but uh, times have changed. You feel me? We not in the same era we we was in. You talking about basketball players today? Cool, yeah. It's it, they playing less minutes, but you know, big men have dribbles now. Doctor J couldn't do shit to his left back then. You get what I'm saying? He had no handles. That ain't the I'm case talking today. About, you get I'm what I'm talking saying? About. So it's like. It's a different game. Times change. Times evolve. You know, people I'm talking don't about, want the same brain damage that people was getting back then. So, yeah, they're not fighting as much as they used to back then. State what conditions I'm saying, aren't that, allowing what they used to allow back then. Now, do regardless, fighters fight less? Yeah. But has medicine what, also, sports medicine also evolved? Absolutely. Now, keep in mind. I brought up the basketball players to show you that there's no sanctioning bodies in the basketball and uh, what they do, and they still are doing less. Everything is less today than it was yesterday. Oh, That's just on, backs up. So, so, the, so, so, the, so, so the NBA you, is in a league. They, they don't that look over. That is the bell, though. They, they not the ones that control the shit. Come on, bro. There, there's always somebody sanctioning. Yeah, they may not be called a a a a state commission. They may not be called a sanctioning body, but the NBA. And the rules that are implemented, that's the same shit. My gene bear is next. What up? What's good? How y'all doing? Chilling, chilling. Um, just to finish off with what my brother before me was uh was saying. So Sugar Ray Robinson earned about four million dollars in his whole career. So the guy, they just weren't making that much money. I mean, it, that that's still a lot of money, but you know, they had to fight a lot because each fight was, you know, pennies on a dollar for, you know, compared to what guys can truly make the day. So especially champions. Um but to the to the topic, man, I really I hate saying it, but I would like to see um AJ fight Wilder. I think let's just get it over and done with. You know, I mean, if, if we keep on waiting, we're never going to get that fight. And, you know, it, it just seems like the that, that you know, that eye of the tiger and Wilder is done. He doesn't have it anymore. So just uh, it, it's a good fight. I think Hergovic, uh, he, he lost to Zhang, in my opinion. I think a lot of boxing fans feel the same way. I don't even want to see that fight. So just give Deontay another shot. But, um. I got a question for you, Ness. You think uh, Parker is a Hall of Famer? Joseph Parker? Yep. Andy, Zhang, Wilder. Those are good wins, man. Was a champion. Nope. I mean, maybe. I mean, his career is still there, bro. It's not, a, it's not over. I'm not saying he's not. But right now, he's still one times champ. Um, I would like him to keep doing a little bit more. He's, I mean, the back half is a great half, bro. These two last names, you can't deny how good those names are on that resume. And, uh, and, uh, for whatever it's worth, I think he was 23, maybe 24 when he became world champion. So, you know, he's, yeah, he's still young, bro. He's still, look, he's 32. He's younger than AJ, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm just. I just think that his Holy his uh, shit, his record com comparing his record to Wilder's. I just think that his. I think his record is better than Wilder's, and people are giving Wilder, you know, 
a yeah, chance but, to make but, to, to become a Hall of Fame. I think that Wilder has his claim to the Hall of Fame is gonna be because he's like one of the greatest punches. Knockouts. Yeah, and and also you know well, tying, no, not, not just that not tying just Muhammad that. Tied, Ali's uh, Ali. yeah the tying Muhammad Ali's title, title defenses. defenses. So he's gonna be in for a different reason. It's not necessarily resume. Um, Got it. Yeah. Parker. But look, Yo, it's like you said, though. I Wilder gets say, in, and he got a Hall of Famer on his resume. So if he don't get first ballot, whenever Wilder gets in, it's hard not to put Parker in, even though I'm sure see why people call in and say there's plenty of people that beat Hall of Famers that didn't make it into the Hall of Fame themselves. Yeah, no, that's that's definitely there. Um Yo, and uh, I just want to say, uh, four million in 1965 when Sugar Ray Leonard retired would be 39 plus million a day. So uh, yeah, but you also got to would... factor in, you know, it doesn't mean he would have had that 39. You know, not to make it an argument. Just no, like no, no, no. Hella, hella shit. You know, could be going on and fuck. No, totally, life. totally agree. But but to that point though, I do want to say that. Uh, the first million dollar gate was done long before Ray Leonard even turned pro. You feel me? So I think it wasn't so much of the sport not making money as it was as maybe the 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 sport has always been corrupted and they just wasn't paying the money. But you know, the first million dollar gate was done a hundred years ago. Yeah, I mean, look, if uh, you know, out of the Ray Robinson conversation, what I would love for them. To take out for us to be able to like implement is is activity, you know, taking, you know, civic center fights, you know, reinforcing your local, you know, fan base because sometimes I feel like fighters make it to a certain level and they forget their local fan base. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Tim, shout out to Shakur that tries to like... go back to uh, Jersey as much as he can. Go ahead. He'll be back this summer. Oh, the oh yeah, back, that's uh... the word. Since yeah, we announcing so. shit, since we announcing don't, shit, don't I'm hearing I? I'm hearing Rayo and De Los Santos rematch on the undercard of uh Benavidez okay. Vazdek, possibly. And if it okay, don't land okay. there, then it could land on the Tank Frank undercard. Which would make more logical sense, kinda like, oh, this is our in house kind of tournament type thing. But I don't know. I heard it could be on the um Benavidez card. All right. Let me get to Hawk in Maryland. While we wait for Hawk to connect, don't forget to smash the thumbs up. I got James in Atlanta with the five dollars. Don't forget, I was the first to say Clarissa beats Wilder two years ago since, excuse me, Chisora. Beats Wilder two years ago since Chisora is way more experienced than Wilder, who is the safest fight for him. I mean, I think, again, based off what we see, again, 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 we going off boxing terminology, and it's... And uh, based off that last performance... I would have to say that the Chisora style is problems for Wilder. But, you know, he's still got the eraser, man. It's just a matter of actually getting him to get that, 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 that dog out of him again. You know? But, uh... We got... James back at us with another one. Alicia must be fighting Cyborg. No real big fights for her but the quote. Yeah, I doubt Alicia fighting Cyborg, but uh, Danny, who's Alicia fighting? Yeah, and I, dis I, I disagree with that comment. Uh, oh, there's bigger general, fights out there like, for her? I mean, I don't think Clarissa's the only big one. I think a Katie Taylor fight is big for her. Mm. I think an Amanda or a Chantel fight is big for her. 
Um, I think Chantel is realistic. I think everything else you mentioned is unrealistic. I don't think them girls, neither of them two girls, fight each, fight her. They, I think they're going to fight each other before they ever fight her. And I don't think they just had the back half of their career where they, even if they fight each other, they're not going to turn around and fight her still. Well, they ain't going to they ain't gonna fight each other. They already said that. <laughs> what, Katie and, Katie and Amanda won't do it again? You wildin'. Uh, no, I'm Katie and Chantel. No, I they meant Katie and Amanda. Not, Again, and you still got Chantel. Like I think all three of them are realistic. Whose feedback is that? Hawk, what up? I don't know. Yep. That's what up, Ness? Talk to me. Thank you much. Can you hear me? Finally, take you about eight minutes to get off mute. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I uh, I'm the best at these uh, phone crap. Hey, um. What up, uh, Danny? And uh, I want to. Where's your Danny there? What up, Hulk? Yup. What up, Hulk? <laughs> What's up, Danny? Um, yeah, man. Hey, I don't know what we do. We saying earlier, but man, yeah, we celebrating for that, for that mis mis malfunction that Tyson Fury did by going out there and playing with this guy. So yeah, I'm glad that AJ they went out there and uh. Cleared, cleaned up to clean up his mess again, Tyson Fury's mess again, uh, uh, and getting Angano out of there. I knew he was going to get him out of there, as long as he took his, you know, took his serious and uh, uh, but that right hand he threw, that was Jive Wilder, like wasn't it? <laughs> that was a killer right hand he hit him with. Who? No, for sure. You talking about AJ? Sure, AJ. Fuck yeah. yeah. Nah, bro. It was actually, you know, uh, he, he, we haven't talked about it enough. It was actually picture perfect. Like, he twisted it at the end. Like, it's everything a trainer wants you to do when throwing the right hand. Like, he did it. He did it like textbook. And, and, they, textbook. and they got the and, footage of him and Ben in the locker room practicing that right before they walked out. They sure did. They did show that practice in that before you walked out. They sure did. And uh, what I was about to say, uh, damn, one other thing. Um, hmm. What other uh, fight y'all was just talking about? What else was y'all talking about? I wonder. Um, AJ came one. out and immediately started. Huh? Oh. No. <laughs> nah, what else was the topic about today? Just AJ and uh, what he did to Nagano and what's next, either Wilder or Hergovich, or, or oh, obviously yeah, any yeah. any other name that you guys may want to throw in the hat. I, I still I would like to see Wilder go out there get a fight, look good, and then I would want to see him. And yeah, uh, so you still want Wilder to get a fight before actually fight? Okay, I, I'm already yeah. past that. I'm more like, yo, my dude, let's just do it. We gonna do it. Let's do it. Okay, then, yeah, yeah. I, hey, but I want to see him and Wilder. I do want to see that fight. I want to see that fight. I do want to see AJ Wilder fight. And, um, God dang it, it was something else I wanted to say. I just can't get it off my app. It's so fucking high. But, yeah, man, anyway, it was, it was damn sure pause for celebration when he cleaned his clock. That's like somebody coming over to me. And, look, we didn't even ask for that fight. Dylan just popped up with that fight, looking down there. Well, I'm glad AJ went over there and cleaned up his mess like he been doing with all of the fights that he fought behind Fury. Champ, that's the best. Oh, one other thing. Oh, hold on, hold on. What up? You back invited, man. What up? While we wait for Hawk to reconnect, James back at us with another two dollars. He said Drake is bigger. And has a better career than MJ. Mary J. Optimus Prime, five dollars. Even TBV has a prospect series. Shout out Michael to Michael Jackson. Wars. I don't know. I think he's talking about Mary J. But yeah, shout out to Border Wars. Be... September nineteenth is, is that, going down. Is that the first MJ? Listen, if you're trying to is fight on Border MJ? Wars. You need to be hitting me up because it's going down September 14th. You know, uh, you do have to have a USA boxing book. Um, you only need to, to, you know, do a physical to get that. And then we're going to match you up right. You're going to get the fight under the big lights. 
the big city of Milwaukee. You know, it's going down, man. So hit us up. DM me if you need more information. We're going to be doing a show. We didn't do it last Wednesday as I did a fucking 10-hour show Wednesday, right? So I was, you know, you know. Motherfucker got to eat. James, what up? Yo, Nev, Danny, you hear me? Yep, yep. All right. Yo, word? man. Uh, yeah, shout out. Man, nothing, man. What's the word with you, man? How you going to miss out on the big fight, man, if you trying to go catch footage of Alicia, man? Like, bro, if you're going to be doing, trying to film, film boxing, man. you need to go ahead and be filming. Barry, you should have been filming Clarissa Shields, man, that video shoot, bro. So you could have gave us exclusives on that, man. Instead of the oh, same man. old she gym don't pad fuck with me, bro. bro. She don't Come fuck on, with man. me, she bro. I can't get that footage for y'all. Come on, dog. She don't fuck with Ness, man. You from the Midwest, man. You can stand on that. Nah, she, she, what? she Who? called me a dick rider. Who? <laughs> oh, oh, oh I already know who. I already know who. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Online, at least, you feel me? But yeah, champ. Right, yeah, I don't, I you got feel you. me? I but I was you. getting, I mean, I didn't got y'all so much shit, and that's been getting, bro, I'm so, bro, fuck me. Y'all should say, y'all should be calling in saying how proud y'all is of Ness and the fact that he been getting footage and, and how he didn't, he didn't drove more in Florida than he ever did in Vegas to get y'all footage, bro. I'm so, like, man, as, nah, as a so friend, I'm, I'm proud of my dog. Nah, man, salute to y'all, man, because the work that both y'all put in, man, the show's elevating every day, man, so Bro, salute to y'all. Bro, I was literally going to go to Miami, uh, what, two days ago, but fucking Jermaine left. He and DR, I was tight, man, and fucking his uncle was down here, and he didn't even tell me neither, bro, it's crazy. But yeah, I'm trying. What the hell? What the hell? Okay, I mean, okay. nah, but you What's knew. It? You knew, and he was in the same gym David was in, and you yeah. still ain't choose to go. No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. When I, when I, when, when obviously I think someone called in and told us like, "Yo, Jermaine's there too," so then I hit them up, and they was only there for a few days. Then they came back. Nah, but I I'm just talked to the uncle. That, he was right, just no, still no. here. He just left. But go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, now on to the show topic, man. Shout out to AJ, man. A lot of people said it before uh, or earlier early in the show, man. AJ is the reason why he is saving in boxing. He's carrying boxing on his back and shit like that. You know, um, over I think over the weekend, I think his the highlights from his fight got over like like 12 million views already and shit like that in a three-day span. That's pretty massive right there. Um, you said ESPN's talking about it. You know, ESPN really don't talk too much about boxing these days, man, so... We got to take what we can get, so AJ is definitely moving the needle. Um, while the comeback fight, I was thinking guys like Joe Cusimano, um, fuck, this shit's a reach, man. Maybe, man, maybe Michael Hunter, man. He might finally need to get that fight, to be honest, man. But you don't really want Wilder to be in too many risks to actually lose any more brand value. So with that being said, Wilder either go straight into that fight, fight Michael Hunter, or just retire, cause you know he might he might have a better studio career, man. When it's all said and done, he might he might put out a hit number one or something that blows up on SoundCloud or some shit like that. You and, terrible, you ain't um, shit. <laughs> serious as shit, but it is what it is. Um, other than that, man, why you ain't talk about your why you ain't talk about your boy Keyshawn, man? Keyshawn to go. When's that rumor to be uh, announced? Keyshawn to go with what we talking about? Keyshawn fighting to go. Oh, really? You lying. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Shout out to <laughs> shout out to Ryan Garcia. That's what's up. That's what's Ryan up. Ryan Garcia telling these guys how to uh how, Yeah. How, nah, I mean, you know it good enough for Garcia. It gotta be good enough for, for, for him. I mean, I like it. I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, he ain't and got what, no power, what, though. What, he ain't got no Matias, power. Man. He ain't got no power. That's for sure. What about Matias? So, let me ask you this, man. Oh, since, the drunken man. He's probably not going to get that Puerto Rico fight. <laughs> do, you think, do you think it is more realistic that he is going to get the Taylor Catterall winner? Because that seems like what he's more interested in. Nah. Than any other name. I think, I think, I mean, Danny, correct me if I'm wrong. Wasn't the, the Puerto Rico fight targeted for June? There's still plenty of time. If I'm wrong about the time, yeah, the date, so then, 
If I'm wrong about the date, then there's, then then yeah, we might consider the winner or somebody else. But like, no, 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 no. As far as I'm concerned, it's June. Yeah, and and I heard that Pyro is back in the mix. Uh, you know, if if Elvis and his manager ever come on the show and make some noise, they said they got offered the fight and accepted it, and then that they, they you turned them down. So maybe he could get back in the mix if he shake the tree enough. Because Elvis Rodriguez says All he right. accepted it. He just a southpaw, so I'm assuming. Yeah. I'm assuming Matias and his yeah, team ain't interested in a southpaw for isn't, they come home. It, isn't Paro southpaw? Isn't Paro southpaw too? Except probably got less power than Rodriguez. Show is. So to me, that still doesn't make sense, man. I mean, what makes more sense is probably just put. Now nah, Rodriguez makes the of best loss. sense. Rodriguez is the one that's from fucking uh, DR. So DR versus PR in DR, is, it just makes sense. That's cool. I probably would holler at Jermaine Ortiz, though, off of that loss and shit, man. I probably would holler at him if I was Matias. But next, man, salute to y'all, man. Salute to the community as always, man. And um, mm, I'll catch y'all like next that. time. What? What you like, Danny? Jermaine. Get Jermaine the shot. I mean, I don't know what like happened with that. Like, if all else fails, if all else fails. There was heavy rumors that he was going to sign, and I hear he ain't done nothing. Jermaine and... and, and you know, DR doing a media tour with David Ortiz out here. Tim Bo Skay. Tim Bo Skay. Damn. Yo. 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 Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ness. Ring wall. Ring walk, ring walk. What's going on? Salute what to everybody. Saying, salute to the community. Salute, salute to the great ESPN HBO community. This is the real boxing. You understand what I'm saying to you? We 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 we've already, you know, saw what AJ did to the world of beast of Ghana. We sent that man packing his bags straight back to wherever he came from. And I told you, this is how we're gonna get rid of him. I I I think Wilder, he he he's the third piece in this. He needs to get in Ghana. So he can get his confidence back. So he can whoop on him as Alright, you get a call from You be doing you be doing the most, man. Tyler Mack, what it do? He got the worst service and worst luck in that. Where... Tyler Mack, got to unmute. Yo. Yo. Can I just, like, really, like, shed a real tear for my boy Francis, dog? <laughs> that was a body. Oh, that, was a, that was a straight body. Y'all really hurt by that, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm really disappointed in Francis. Not learning his lesson from his first fight. He talking about, oh, yeah, I'm going to be so much better. And the bitch still didn't move his head off the line of the right hand. Fury was catching him with that shit in the first fight. I don't know why he looked at AJ, saw his physique, and thought, yeah, I can get hit with the same punch. <laughs> I just, you know, what we didn't catch is that he, he went southpaw, man. He, that first knockdown, he was southpaw. Nobody didn't even mention that. You got to watch the replay. I don't know why he was in southpaw, but he was nah, in southpaw. No, nah, for sure. I don't, I don't know either. Oh, my God. And to be real, where AJ should go next, I don't feel like I don't feel like I want to see the Wilder fight at all because Wilder got that same issue that Francis had. Like, we see Wilder go fight the fight without truly making any real tangible changes to his game. Like, nigga, if we get the Wilder from Joseph Parker, what we want to see what happened to Nganu happened to Wilder, but, like, worse, I, I think he going to land combos off on Wilder for that shit talk. It ain't going to be a one punch. It's going to be a barrage of all heavy punches on that bitch ass nigga. Because I ain't lying. That nigga is about to go up. I think Wilder should retire. I done told you, like, when he got in there and laid that head against Joseph, that nigga's done. Oh, and Jake Paul and Mike Tyson, I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way, boy. Jake Paul, a real nigga, low-key for fighting Mike, because how many people we just be sitting around talking shit be like, damn, 
when you can hop in the ring with like a million, two million, three million dollars to fight Mike Word. Tyson. Word, we <laughs> all said that shit in our lifetime. <laughs> Somebody we done asked us did. that. He, especially for us older people, like when Mike was in his prime, that was a conversation every goddamn day with anybody. <laughs> that don't even matter if Mike was in his prime, bro. Niggas be, I, I'm, young, I'm younger. I be saying that like, shit, I don't want to hop in the ring with the old Mike Tyson. This fucker doing this so like, real nigga alert. I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, yo, there's some things that happen in the box of this wild right now, boy. I just, and what, what I need, what my heart needs, low-key Terrence Crawford versus Canelo. I don't care what nobody say. That's about it. That's about it. Boxing wild right now. Oh, yeah, my girl say this. Think about this for things. Me and my girl have been watching boxing for, like, the last three, three-something years, three and a half years. Like, she been really into it heavy. I got a heavy into it. She said that. AJ knockout versus Zangano was the best knockout she's seen since she's been watching carefully. That shit is sad as fuck. That shit is sad as fuck. Not even a yeah, boxer versus the, a but, boxer. Yeah, but that's only because, <laughs> you just got to explain to her, that's because he's an MMA dude, so his defense ain't up to par. But you can't take that yeah. away from her. The way that he crumbled, his like his back leg gave out like a kickstand, it was everything we want on fight night. Don't nobody... Look, I love boxers. You know I'm a... Def, it's the Haney voice. It's the Haney voice. I'm a Floyd fan. But, yo, knockouts is motherfucking knockouts. You go... Like, I was hoarse. My voice was hoarse all Sunday, bro. I barely could talk because of that knockout Saturday night. Like, and, and, and for me, I thought he was going to win a decision. I bet decision. Y'all, you, but I mean, you it, were just I think talking it's sad that shit. The most right exciting fight King. was between an MMA fighter and a boxer. It's just like, like that's her favorite fight. She's like, I never see him getting, I never see exciting fights. That was one of the most exciting fights I watch. And Francis came in and made that happen from MMA, nigga. <laughs> Francis, he he sacrificed himself for our entertainment. Nigga knew he would. Come on, nigga, nigga. I was me personally. You know, I was a Francis fan. I hoping the nigga. Be AJ ass and be super warrior. I'm the super warrior in both sports. Nigga, if I hop in the next sport, nigga, go play football. I'm a super warrior in football too, nigga. I'm just violent. I just want to one of them nah, niggas. I want to face that. He thought nigga. he was Bo Jackson. <laughs> yeah, like that what I wanted Francis to be that nigga. But it's I think it's sad that her her one of her favorite fights, her most exciting fights come from a nigga who really didn't know how to fight in boxing at all. But we that, need I mean, A level. Again, again, it ain't sad. It's exactly why. Because one dude is so overly talented. Like it, it, yo, anybody will get a knockout like well again, I'm lying, because fucking Fury didn't do it, motherfucker. This is exactly why <laughs> that's another reason why we excited because Fury didn't do it. This dude did what Fury did it couldn't do. That is just the bottom line. Fury didn't fucking do it. Yeah. You got a point. AJ versus Hergovic. That's it's, all I gotta say. AJ all, Hergovic. I mean one of these callers said it before me. I don't want to take their credit, but it's it's all Fury for. He didn't get the knockout. <laughs> He gave this motherfucker life. He gave MMA dudes, you know, the the will to believe, the reason to believe, and and you know, AJ nipped that shit in the bud. So I haven't yeah. used that whole save boxing term, but he definitely, you know, he gave them a black guy. We had one for a bit, but now we good. <laughs> AJ Hergovich, we don't want to see AJ versus Wild. AJ Hergovich, put this nigga against new new folks, bro. AJ Hergovich, I don't even see him go against Usyk again. Best case scenario, Usyk beat Fury ass. I would love to see AJ this new whatever. I guess whatever they calling him, uh, unafraid AJ, careless, callous AJ, punching and Ganu not celebrating AJ. I would love to see him get Usyk again. You know what I'm saying? Or Fury, but. And my purpose is Usyk, because I feel like that's a grudge match, nigga. Sometimes you need a good fucking grudge match, nigga. Champ, that's the bell. Uh, let me get to some other calls here. We got Trey Omaha. You are tuned in. Smash the like, hit the subscribe, and have that notification bell turned on. Trey, what's the word? Trey ain't there for whatever reason. 
Spider Rico. Oh. Hey, what's up, God? What up, God? Hey, what's up, Danny? What's up, my boy? Hey, what's up? What's up? Spider Rico. Team Haney, Team uh, Haney representation. <laughs> no, Team Haney representative. Executive number one, Danny Alvarez. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Danny, you be, uh, when you going to hold the bag for me, man? Damn. You get down to the gym. Oh, that's because of the bum gone and shit. I forgot. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> Danny, Danny. Hey, no, Danny, Danny, yo, Danny in elite level camps, bro. You got to get on that. Le- get on his level. Yo, no, I'm trying is, to get to, I'm trying I, to get to. I ain't even going to really explain myself too much, but, you know, the thing is that, uh, you know, Bump Gardner, she knew to, to, to like, the, 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 the team in the camp, so she ain't really feel comfortable asking somebody she ain't really know. So she's like, yo, hold the bag. Bro. You know, they, was doing, they was doing the drill, so I'm like, all hey, right. Man. Hey, man, I got to be, be real about the Bum Gardner thing. I got to be real about the Bum Gardner because I didn't watch it. I didn't watch what AB said till yesterday. and, and then, But I did hear my – I did hear we and me calling in saying that, you know, AB shouldn't have said this and all of this and all of that. But, you know, I really be I – don't, I don't like taking it easy on the females, man. If she's trying to say trying to say stuff to put this nigga down and she didn't fucked around and fucked around, well then well you put yourself in that position. And and uh, the same way as when girls wanna be boxing men, well you you put your you wanna go against a man, well that's how men talk that's how men talk each other down. Well if another nigga talk about you, you gotta say whatever it is to talk about that nigga. And that's the way it is in the streets. Especially when you from Ohio or the Midwest, they really clown your ass. You know, and they really got hands to beat your ass. So it's just like, uh, when we pick our females, you know, we're talking about females, right? When we pick our females, I would say, if you want to make an intelligent child, you want to have a wife, you pick opposite to what you are. If you want to be, if you want to be like inbred, then pick somebody that look like you, act like you, talk like you, and your child going to come out probably with some type of physical deformation. Come on, you man. Pick, Yo, and... what is wrong with you, bro? You are not a doctor. Yeah. You out here wild. What are you talking about? For real. Keep it boxing, that's, please. That's what... Boxing, please. Y'all be getting so off topic with this, like, weird now the science guy shit. Come on. What, what, you, what you mean? What you mean? Keep I'm it boxing. I'm just asking boxing you to keep it boxing, everything. player. That's all. Everything you know what everything. I mean. Keep okay. it boxing. Well, y'all... Y'all, boxeito, I feel like y'all not boxeito, keeping it. Boxeito. Boxing is starting. Boxing is starting to go into where Devin Haney's talking about other stuff and AB's talking about other stuff. But you trying to you trying to keep it boxing, but boxing is bigger than boxing, bro. And you you trying to keep nah, it centered. Boxing keep is show. I'm just trying to keep the show boxing, bro. I'm just trying to keep the show boxing. Well, I'm trying to say with them boxing. About inbred kids. Yeah, you're like, talking about, you talking about kids okay. have to do like, with the Nah, that's too much. We don't want you to explain. Please don't. Please don't. Okay, because I would. Because I would nah, go into good. this about... we good. We good off that. We All just right. want, like... You see, y'all? We you want see your y'all? thoughts this, I'm on... Trouble. We just want your thoughts on yeah. AJ and Ganu, the fight. What's next for AJ? Do you want to okay. see him fight Wilder? Okay. You don't? Okay. Do you want Hergovich? Oh, AJ, you don't? Okay, AJ, what do AJ you gonna want? Be, AJ going to be... Uh, Big Bang, the only one that can really mess with AJ, and AJ going to knock him out silly. Because he moved too slow. And uh, Fury, and also, you know, also with AJ, I feel AJ got superior genetics. And that's why he won the last fight. Y'all want to say, don't talk about this. I'm big trouble, big muscle. Esteban from Oregon with love. You changed your name a day. Big trouble, big what? What was this new name? Big trouble, God muscles. What's big up? Big trouble, I my God name muscles. I like it. All right, yeah. champ. Yo, you know, I mean, you actually got a skill for na- get, making names. You need to try to, you know, change that into a career for fighters, right? Because you the one gave uh, Shakur, what is it? Oh, come back. Yo, I don't want to fuck it up. You know you made that up, and I be trying to use it, but I got to say it correctly. I got it. What is it, though? Come on, man. The kid from Jersey, you gave him a name. What's his? What's his name? We got we got Tupac Shakur Stevenson, you know what I mean? 
And then we got Cino. That's Canelo because he all about the money. No, 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 you right. It was it was Tupac Shakur Stevenson, man. That's right. You and then we that. got and then we and then we got uh we got baby G baby Davis G baby oh, yeah, Davis G because... baby Davis. You did make that one too. <laughs> we got hey, but my favorite one is Cino. We don't give a fuck about no. Canelo don't care about these hoes. He care about the money. He don't care about what y'all say. He gonna fight whatever gives him that money. Cino, that's his name. Canelo. Mm-hmm. All right, All right so I'm Jen, Let me get to Trey in Omaha yet again. Yeah. Trey Omaha. Yo, Trey Omaha. Yo, what's up with your service, man? What? Why can't you ever connect? We got Hotbox a Minute with the $5 cash. Shabby said, working hard in the mug. Salute to you, champ. Appreciate you for the love. Stainless, the pound for pounder. The champ is here. The champ is here. Where is that? Here we go. The champ is here. Boy Stainless sending that fat $10. You know what I'm saying? Modern King Boxing. $2. Modern King, what up? What's that? Vermont, this is stand T-Buds up. Buds Country, TBV. Let's go. Who else we got? Who's in the building? Go on. Yo, Trey, man. We trying you again, Trey. Out here wilding. Why am I Allen? Yet another error, it says, at and Trey. I don't know what's up with him today. We got Hawk with the counter. Salute, Maryland. What up? Salute to Lido <coughs> with the $5 for the run over. Treese, the mayor, what up? Hawk, what up? Yo, yo, what up, Ness? <laughs> I just remember what I was about to say, man, for your phone hung up, man. Hey, you know the Sheik, you know the Sheik had uh had put in the task for uh Engano to be knocked out of boxing, man. He said that shit on on uh on on video that he had no no disrespect for you, Engano. He told him to his face, but and I want you to get but I want you to get knocked out of boxing. Yeah, yeah, I seen that and, interview. I seen that. I seen that. That was a little clip. Yeah, but it was part of an interview. Yup. So that's what kind of you know made the whole thing all sized up even more for me because uh, AJ did it and uh, he had put Fury on the job first, but of course he couldn't do it. So yeah, yeah, I am sized about that AJ handling that business and completely just wiping. It's like he hit him with that last shot, like. You know how I don't know other other uh, uh, cultures uh, when, when they get in their ass kicked what happens, but when uh, when at black when 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 it's black black people back in the day they get in their ass kicked the motherfucker always talk to you while you are whipping them you know what I mean and it was like AJ was talking to him as he was clocking that dude and that last one he said chow take that with you I just loved it man I loved him just knocking him out of that that whole conversation out of boxing man it, it was just getting disrespectful how many People that was in boxing, like boxing, true boxers, were saying that Ngano was gonna beat him, dog. That's I was just so glad we got rid of that shit. And like him and Fury, their rematch they supposed to be having, that ain't even interesting no more because uh, AJ just completely annihilated him. So yeah, I'm just yeah, AJ, AJ, yeah, that's right. And I still want that AJ and Wilder fight to come up. Still want that fight, but that's what I wanted to say. Hawk, appreciate your calls, man. Thank you for the support. Trey. Indeed. Appreciate it. Third time. Trying you again. Third time to charm. James Benitez, $2. Fury's on Netflix? Did you watch that series yet? I didn't. I'm going to have to watch it during my break between Yo, this show and the next show. We finally hear you. Shout out to Rob Biggs. Welcome to the champ level. Man, shout out to motherfucking TBV. Shout out TBV, man. I finally get on this motherfucker, man. Hey, 
So I'm gonna tell y'all something just real quick, cause I coach MMA guys. I actually work. Nah, 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 you think you're slick? Fuck all no, that shit. No, I ain't shit. slick. I be whooping Fuck they ass all, all that the time. Shit. I be whooping Fuck they... all that shit, bruh. What is the word in the motherfucking gym? Is he fighting his stable mate or is this fake news? Hit me with that other shit. <laughs> all right. Hey, look. That ain't, that ain't my... my that Trey. Ain't my, uh... Stop the bullshit, Trey. <laughs> Stop the bullshit. Don't be trying you to... Don't, know, don't, don't be speak. shucking and jiving, man. Don't speak on you don't know. Hey, look, look. Is it fake look, news? Is it fake into. news? I, don't act like I, the gym ain't know. talking. When you hit in the bag, what is the Trey, gym, have what you is ever the met Chris? Saying? Have you ever met Chris Shubank, Chris, uh, Trey? What is the wall saying when you hit in the no, fucking bag, I, man? I ain't met Chris Shubank. He ain't, the, hey, he I ain't never even met him, you feel me? Yeah, so I can't even speak on that. Hey, I had broke my thumb. So, so I, I right, this how I, 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 Trey, one last question. What up? Is that a good fight or a what great up? fight? <sighs> Why are you doing this to me, Ness? <laughs> uh, I said, is it a man. good fight or is it a great fight? To me, because of the name, it's a good fight. Mm. I like it, but I, I was just, hoping I, you say it's I a just, great fight. Then I was gonna say, yeah, that's a real, that's real news. But you ain't, you ain't say great. So I, I, I you, you left me, you left me still wondering. I, just, I don't, I don't understand. I, cause I don't understand how we fight in our stable mate. It just don't make sense to me. So oh, don't so that's you don't believe I, it? So you don't believe it? I, I don't know what, what it is. I don't at all. So, but hey, this is what I was calling to say. As a, uh, cause as an MMA coach, I know just, but I only work wait, during so the you, wrestling so, part. So wait, really so wait, you action. coach MMA now too, huh? Well, I mean, I work with the fighters. They, they, I'm in their corners. I'm the one telling them what to do, how to win these fights. I got five yeah, undefeated you, fighters right but now. But you coaching them from a stand up. You ain't you like you, you a boxer. How would I mean? How you coaching MMA fighters? Please explain. Because I got a wrestling background okay. and I was really good at wrestling, so I worked. I only think. Oh, I so that's an Omaha thing. Y'all all like wrestling. Y'all all like wrestling. Nah, I was just cold at wrestling. You could look me up, but <laughs> let me let y'all know something real quick. Uh, that was AJ was supposed to do that. Uh, when I when I spar MMA guys, I, I ain't trying to be rude or funny, but man, I be torching them guys. So. If you really wasn't expecting a first round knockout or at least a second round knockout, bro, yeah. Tyson Fury ain't getting no fucking first round, second round, That's, third round, Styles fourth round, fight. fifth Styles round, sixth fight. round, seventh round, eighth round, ninth round, tenth round. He ain't get Styles, one. Styles, Not even, he didn't even get a Styles. knockdown. Motherfucker got knocked down. Come on. Exactly. And Styles make fights. And I, obviously, you see the, the end result this week. So I'm going to say it again. Stop dipping these MMA fighters into this boxing scene. I get Floyd Mayweather and McGregor did that shit a while ago, but that should have been a one-time thing. Now y'all Nah, nah, we good. We good hurt. off that. I that, want all the motherfuckers to come. Come get this money. But let me ask this you, an open you, market, hey, why you on and James we gonna keep, when James, we gonna keep knocking they fucking Benitez, blocks no, off, no, man. Before, we want John Jones. Right, we want right. Wilder to take John Jones out next. All right, but listen though, why you why you why you cap on here, man? You said the other day you were saying that AJ did save boxing. You said AJ saved boxing. Today you said I ain't never said AJ saved boxing. You said that I said James that Benitez or somebody. Nah, man, you did. You wilding, bro. You kidding me? So you ain't never so so this no. whole week you didn't say after that knockdown you didn't say that he no, saved you boxing. No, you must say listen. <laughs> he did one show since the knockdown is the Yo, fucking when y'all gonna Sunday realize, show. When y'all gonna realize that Ness <laughs> is the not eleven the same hour show? You said show. that shit. Yeah, I need to realize. Don't believe him. Him. Danny, don't believe him. Don't believe him, Danny. Hey, Danny. Hey, Danny, before I go, can you do something for me? Depends, bro. What the fuck? Man, can you leave my what girl, you Alicia you Baumgartner, alone? That's my girl, bro. What you Whoa, doing? Fans, Why you holding the fans, back for you my sound, girl? You sound wild no, crazy right now having a girl, whole imaginary me. relationship you with tripping. someone. You, <laughs> You having a whole imaginary relationship with someone. You know there's a movie about to Shit. come out about imaginary friends. Just telling you. Shout out to my boy, uh, what is it, Ryan Reynolds? Man, I'm just chatting. I'm just chatting, man. It's just so shout out to but the hey, channel. No, shout out know? TBV. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, shout out to Danny for getting that fucking content, too, because I definitely wanted to see that shit. That shit look good. Uh, disregard that AB shit. That nigga just sound like a lame for real. He just wants some money. Other than that. Danny Ness, keep doing what y'all doing. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Hey, if you can, get on that Patreon.
I still need to get on that. I've been saying I'm gonna get on that. I have not, but I will be. Other than that, I love y'all. I'm out. Hey, stay tuned, Danny, because I'm gonna have another one coming up soon. So stay tuned. All right. All right, Trey. We got Mustafa on the counter. What up, Moose? <laughs> oh man, not much. I just wanted to further touch on what I was saying earlier because I think we kind of went away from uh, the point of it. The point was uh, you and Marco had brought up that uh, fighters are lasting longer now. And you have, you know, things like medicine and sports nutrition and all these things to attribute to that. And all I was basically saying is, is that uh, <clears throat> I would say making a case for the older generation that the older generation, once again, they fought in 15 rounds uh, once every week, you know, once, uh, twice, twice a month, sometimes, you know, after a couple of days. And uh, <clears throat> whether you look at football or, or just, you know, society in general, we are weaker as a society because we're comfortable now. We have everything is convenient today. So our lives are convenient. You know, we live, our, people back in the day, they say, uh, we're living longer. That's not the case at all. Uh, people have longer careers now because they do less. Now, you may have more techniques. You may be able to dribble with your left hand, and they wasn't able to do that back in the day, but they're not stronger. They can't endure more because they do less. That's just the facts. Uh, and, you know, it's just a law of life that whenever you become comfortable, it is something that can work. It can kill your drive. You have to be a special person to be comfortable and to still be hungry. Uh, but the average person, if they're comfortable, is going to kill their dreams. Uh, <clears throat> and, you know, I think, well, I think that's about all I got to say. I just wanted to touch on that. Salute to Jake Paul. Salute to uh, Mike Tyson for bringing this event, bringing eyes to boxing. I do, uh, as a black man, I don't want to see Mike Tyson get knocked out. He is a hero, not only within the black community, but, you know, around the world. But, uh, you know, I can't be mad at Jake Paul. He done worked his way into a Mike Tyson fight at a young at the age that he's at. He's doing boss things, making boss moves, uh, doing things that are good for the sport, putting people on that isn't really, you know, that ain't signed to him. So... You know, I really can't say I can't say nothing bad about Jake Paul. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Francis Ngannou and Anthony Joshua. I was wrong about uh, Francis Ngannou. I, I thought he was going to get a knockdown on Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua went out there and took care of him. Easy. He made it look easy. Uh, <clears throat> but, yeah, I think that's about all I got to say. Shout out to y'all. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to everybody listening. It's one love. Yo, I watched that movie yesterday. It's crazy because I that's cannot, business. I cannot find. Oh, did Marco jump on? Is that you? Yes. Yeah, I just was gonna say. Marco, that how long you been in New York? How long what? How long you been in New York? All your life? Born and raised, Hell's Kitchen, baby. Sweet, Born and raised. bro. Like in 2015, 2016, there was a documentary that came out. I don't even know if it's a documentary. I'm using the wrong word, so strike that from the record. Something came out locally in New York City for, for, for Bob Marley. I feel like it was a movie. It was like in those, you know, small theaters in New York. Bro, I went to see this Bob Marley movie, uh, whatever, you know, that time frame. And uh, I can't figure out the name of the fucking movie. But this new Bob Marley movie comes out called One Love, and bro, it's it's like the same story opposite though. So so Was the it good? one, yeah, they both good. But the one I went to see in New York obviously showed Bob Marley's first wife, right? And she was a they 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 portrayed her as a dark skinned woman, heavy set, not as good looking as his second wife the light-skinned woman but now this movie is produced by ziggy and rita which is the mother first mother and it's really about them it's about like it's the same story again except that it's she's heavily included where in the other movie she was just more like dropping the kids off and had a separate house. And he would go over there to confide in her, but they made it feel like it wasn't nothing more than that. Uh, that shit was crazy, man. Different, different. It, it was, it was, uh, you could tell 
that the family wanted to get like their version out for their mother. Cause if I'm if I'm you know if I'm Ziggy and Rita's my mom, I'm like, oh man, I remember this shit totally different. But they were both very good. I just can't remember the one I seen in New York. Cause now I want to rewatch that shit. But I guess you ain't a movie guy. I am a movie guy. I don't remember that one though. Fuck. Well, moving on. Rod in a seven zero. But you ain't see the new one either. One love, huh? You guys are. Nah, my, uh, my wife's dying. What's to see up it, with though. you guys not doing movies, bro? You guys are like, tch. it's like, what's uh, up? Bob Marley movie. Nah, I, we go to movies all the time. Right. Yeah, I ain't got enough time for that shit. Hey. What up, Ness? He ain't got enough time. You hear this guy? Go. Can you hear me? Perfect, bro. So, uh, nah, I, I wanted to call in. That last caller just just earned you five dollars, cause um. It seems like I, I get what he's trying to say, but he's not comprehending the uh, what's going on today. And Danny tried to put him down on game, but he wouldn't listen to Danny. So basically, what Danny is trying to tell you is the fighters back then they didn't have a sanctioning body, so they could just fight over and over and over. Nobody cared about brain damage. Nobody cared about them being injured. They could just get out there and fight a hundred times in a well, week. Well, just so he doesn't win really the argument, say like th it wasn't as you know the commission wasn't as strict. Cause you don't want them it wasn't to call strict, in yeah, and say, absolutely. "Oh, well, there was a commission." Yeah, that's right. They wasn't as strict. So today, even if a fighter wanted to fight like that, they probably wouldn't be allowed to, as Danny was saying, because of the what we know today, the different medicines and things like that. So you can't compare the two. I mean, and Danny is absolutely right. Danny is absolutely right. Where I'm, fighters' uh, primes, just we got to look at. Fighters' primes are lasting longer. Like Floyd Mayweather was 38, still beating young fighters in their primes. So you got to think about that. Whereas when we look at like Sugar Ray Leonard or somebody like that, like they were calling Ali old at 33 when he fought. Uh, when they thought he was over the hill at 33 when he fought George Foreman because he had took so much of, of punishment. And if you look at basketball today, basketball the players don't play 82 games not because they're always injured but because the technology and the science say, hey, this owner is making money off this player, so he wants them to last 20 years versus back in the day when Isaiah Thomas retired at 32 years old and Larry Bird was done at 31, 32, and these guys was done at an early age. They want them to last today, 39 and 40. Steph, do you realize Steph Curry been in the league almost like 13, 14 years, and he's still one of the top players? He's still making Golden State a lot of money. Do you realize that Kevin Durant been in the league like 16, 17 years, and he's still dropping 30, 40 points a game? So these guys are making these owners money for 20 years and 15 years. So, yeah, they're going to make sure, like, hey, if I could play you 68 games versus 82, and that's going to extend your career extra six years in your prime, not just being out there being like an old hag and dropping 10 points, but you still could play at a high level at 36, 37. That's what they want to do. So that's the difference today. It's not because they're weaker. It's because they're smarter. And the players and the fighters are better today, in my opinion. That's my call. All right. Appreciate well, don't call. go too far. I was going to say. Moose back at you, but say, yeah, you go ahead so you don't have to cut them Yeah. Uh, just to just to the to further my, my, my point, a lot of states, uh, the, the commission will suspend you for 30 days, win or lose after a fight, because they don't want you active during that time. You yeah, know, they so want not, you to now, have. I was gonna say so now like, you gotta now you gotta be like an A side to go to fight in another commission, another state, you know, be able to generate in another location. So yep. you know, it's not like back in the day where some of these guys were just in their hometown every two weeks. But even even, even every, on every, top of that, Ness, even on top of that, Ness, uh, you gotta keep in mind that a lot of these states, although each commission is individual, a lot of them will honor, you know, other commissions suspensions and, and 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 such you know like for example if it were to be a new york thing uh nevada's gonna honor that you get what i'm saying so nevada's gonna honor that so you know it just depends but you know times have changed you know things have evolved you know uh you look at the nfl the season's only gotten longer so it's like am i gonna say that now but that's what i'm you know, saying guys Again, like not the guys like jerry 
not to argue, but like this what I my monologue was like not about money. Like I'm pretty sure Birmingham or Tuscaloosa ain't honoring Nevada just like um North Carolina. But again, is the fighter gonna wanna fight in North Carolina? Cause he's this draw, he's this name. But if you just want to get active, boom, boom, you fighting every two weeks. Yeah, you do. You know, and you 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 make what you make or you don't make or you sell what you sell. I mean, but whatever those shows, like, fuck, a James Payne show with Christy Martin, they would love that shit. You know, they was happy when they got the Big Baby Miller one. So imagine a Wilder turnaround, you know what I mean? Or anybody, because it's about activity. Like, we, you know, Prom Video is going to be a big show, like... Look at the rumor. Again, we talking about Rayo versus Edwin on the undercard of, you know, David and Vazdek or Tank and Frank. So it looks like PBC is on a learning a lesson and they going to stack their cards now with names, you know, try to get value in the name maybe. But let me get to this counterpunch from Moose because he wants to get back at what was just said, I'm assuming. Right, Moose? Yes, sir. The brother, the brother brought up. He brought up uh, Kevin Durant and them, and they they playing longer and they later into the season now. I'm not saying that uh, <clears throat> we're not smarter. That's not my argument. My argument is we're we're weaker today because of that, because of the smarts, because it's comfort. It's like a muscle. If you do not work the muscle or put the muscle through stress, it will not grow. It will not adjust. It will not adapt. You know. It's the same Ooh. thing with the human body. If you if you got people who are yeah, in, uh, who don't have the comfort, huh? No, I want him to pause pause your time because because this is just something that I said earlier. Um, I think it was before you called in, so you might have not heard it. But you're basing it off of what you see, right? So, for example, if back then if they were fighting six times a year versus now they're only fighting twice a year. You got to see them fight every two months back then. Now they're only fighting twice a year, correct? Sugar Ray Robinson was fighting multiple times a month. Cool, cool, cool. But what was he doing in between? Training. Cause, cause, but, I mean, how much can you train? Like, like if you fighting every two weeks, do you think he was – like, that's one week of training, maybe – a week and some change with your cutting weight, like at best. So you think he was right back in there? Like how much training was it really? Because all all of that matters. So if you think these guys, he said he worked out every day, ran five miles every day, did calisthenics every day. You know we're weaker today than we were back then. They can endure more. They can go through more back yeah, that, then. That's, that's just how it was. Though. No, 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 no. It's not an opinion because when you got somebody fighting 15 minute, uh, round, 15 rounds per fight and they're fighting every week and they got 170 fights, that's not that's a fact. It doesn't matter yeah, that the sanctioning have, body they, is weaker and that they want to put rules and stuff on it. Yeah, they, they're creating an environment to breed weakness because the environment has changed because people want to be so-called smart. But the fact is people were tougher back then. They may have made it less money. They may uh, not have had the special techniques, but they were stronger. They went through more. You got people back in the day who was walking 20 miles to work like it wasn't nothing. Today we have electric cars. Hey. We have cell phones. Everything is instant. Yo, no, nah, I, get, I get it. I get it. I get it. Cause you like, you like my dad, you get what I'm saying? You know, my, my dad, he the type of father where he suffered growing up, so even though he got money now, he feel like he feel like his kids got to suffer too. He has that mentality. Yeah, so and I'm pretty what, sure your I, father. I you will say your father is stronger I, than you I, are. You said what? I'm pretty sure you would agree that your father is stronger than you are. Uh, yeah, and I would I would say that, and I would also say, and I've said it to him. That as as an individual, I'm smarter. Like I feel that I move smarter. That's his I argument. That's his argument. Holy shit! He sandbagged you. He said that that because no, of sure, those things, sure, we've sure, gotten sure. smarter and gotten away from the toughness. For sure. Yeah, but that smartness. Like, all like, that does is like, make you weak. I don't have to be. I don't have to. I don't have to be. Or I don't have to do stupid shit 
Yeah, but that's something we so, learned with Scrooge and Duck, right? He said, work harder, not no, work smarter, not harder, right? Wasn't it Scrooge? What, what yeah, was it? Yeah, One of for them sure, for sure. And that's what I'm saying. Y'all could have the tough shit. Cool, like, if you're trying to put, if you're trying to prove, like, this tough shit, cool. The tough shit is also a lot of dumb shit. You <laughs> feel me? But that's what hey, he's still all saying. All I know is Ray, Ray Robinson, he retired tougher. at 44 years old. 44 with 170 fights. That's a long career. And 44 only, years and, old and, is a late and, time and, to and retire. Only, and only $4 million made it. That, that's only $39 million. That's not my Bro, argument. He, that's not my argument. The money is not my right, argument. So, and, uh, Ray Robinson no, owned no, a block no, 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 where no, the celebrity sure, entertainers sure. came and, again, and hobnobbed and with him. And that's just me telling you, you can have the tough shit. You can have the tough shit. Because I'm not with the dumb shit. And that was some dumb shit. Okay, now I'll say this. As a fan of boxing, I would really love... We would be talking a whole lot less more of people's personal lives and a lot more about boxing if we had boxers fighting once every... Uh, twice every month or once every week. We wouldn't be on here talking about shit that's irrelevant. We'll be talking about actual fights because we'll nah, be having fights Jim. every week, nah, multiple Jim. fights. And, whereas and today, we would luckily get a fight every week. We don't even got a card nah, this week. Nah, Do you get what I'm saying? Nah, let me tell you how so you can, wrong. Let me tell you, I'm not let disagreeing me on the money. Wrong. I'm not disagreeing. You can keep the money. That's cool. I like the money too. But we are weaker. That's a fact. All right, champ. Appreciate you. Uh, Josh, what up, though? Man, what's going on, Ness? How are you? So, uh, you know... Good, good card this weekend. Did you, uh, did you catch that mirror, that 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 mirror, that dream off dude or whatever the fuck his name? Hell is? yeah, Masvidal. Yes, absolutely. Man, it's that really... motherfucker's badass. He's yeah, nice. they call him the new Triple G, the baby Triple G. I think they saying. Yo, and have you? Uh, I, I didn't get to catch the, the the recap show, so I don't know if you talked about it. But have you seen his record? He's fought like plenty of good guys already. He's only like I you know what's up. funny, he didn't fight as many good guys as the guy he beat. Like I actually thought the guy he beat was yeah. gonna beat him. He had better names on his resume, so yeah. But his his uh his debut was against uh Vladimir Hernandez. Exactly, the guy that Troy Isley beat. Yep, yep. We talked yeah. about it. Yeah. You a day behind, yeah, play. You a day behind. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a day behind. And then uh I heard you this morning shouting me out talking about Eastman told me to pick Parker. Yeah, Man, but I also a... just like the other guy, I I also told you I gotta ride with my guy. That's like that's like hey, uh hey. Devin Devin fighting Matias and, and you call in like yo, I'm picking Matias and that's I I heard son, I know and I gotta ride with my guy. Yeah, true, true. But I'm not gonna lie, Ness, that that knockdown one through six, Zang, that was fucking that's a lovely pick that you put in there. I'm like, man, I ain't putting in all these damn prop business talking about, and that shit hit. I was pissed. I'm like, fuck. He yeah, dropped man. me twice. I, and, I, I, and, uh, my uh, other prop did. bet didn't hit, though. Right when I was fucking like, yeah, man, I put a bet that said AJ gonna knock, get knocked. Boom! He fucking finitoed my mm -hmm. man. Yeah, he finitoed him. All right, that's enough the zone. You know I don't fuck with the zone. Man, did you see Figuero, uh, Figueroa fighting Jesse Magdaleno? I seen Bolton. that. I seen that. Isn't that Bolton. on the undercard of what? Who who they saying that undercard is? Uh, Canelo. Uh, Canelo. Shout out yeah, to Figueroa, man. Shout out to Al Heyman. He takes care of his own. Look, Figueroa is Mexican. He's about to get on one of the biggest Mexican cards in in the last. I don't know, Danny. How long? Because you know, let's be real. People are mad that he's fighting this guy, but like, he's giving them what they haven't gotten since Eric Morales and Barrera. And, and after that, it was just him and Julio Cesar Chavez, which never, it never made it. it. It wasn't, it wasn't, you know, we knew, even they knew that Chavez wasn't that dude. Yeah, and uh, Chavez was his biggest, one of his biggest commercial pay-per-views. So, I mean, yeah. I'm expecting the Munguia card to be full of action. I haven't seen a boring fight put on there yet with Munguia, Canelo, Boots, and Crowley, and now... Figaro and Magdaleno. I really just wanted that green print. I wanted that Fulton. A little birdie told me that Fulton turned it down, said it wouldn't be ready. So that's sad shit. I really could have got. I mean, a better I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, he he asking for a tune up, like right, like you know he. Yeah, he's asking for a tune up. You know, it's just but only I mean, they right. 
Bro, listen, that, I know that, that Figueroa, because... I know that Figueroa has been in, in Vegas for mad long because that fight was supposed to happen in December. He not that January. fight, not that fight, but he was supposed to fight on that December card that happened. No, he was supposed to fight the, on the uh, Benavidez card. Right? Nah, Martin. nah, he was supposed I mean, to fight. November. He was supposed to fight on a Jan on a December card with Stanionis and and, and and Thurman that never happened. Yeah. Uh, I got I, I got told that Vargas uh, once they moved the day back that Saudi money came in and Vargas said fuck that, fuck that waiting on Al Heyman shit. So which Vargas? He burned. Ray, uh, Ray Vargas. That, that's why uh, he took the Nick Ball fight. I mean, Once yo, he got, got a he got a draw. I don't think he burnt. He got a draw. He ain't lose his belt. There's still value. He still got the belt. They could bring him back to have him lose to somebody. I mean, for Fulton. What did, what was that, 26? Uh, Let Fulton beat him. That's what that, man. They need to come on with it because I ain't, I ain't rocking with that Jesse Magdaleno fight. That's some bullshit. I mean, but, bro, uh, but, but uh, uh, this kid's been out for a while, and this is an all-Mexican car. Magdaleno's Mexican. Figueroa's Mexican. Canelo's Mexican. Munguia's Mexican. It makes sense, bro. This is not for us. I keep telling y'all. This is, this is for, you know, Danny's dad and his abuelo and shit like that. And uh, uh, I'm a watcher. I'm a work. boxing fan, like Munguia style. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if John Ryder, I know he got his ass kicked, but if he could be you know, remotely competitive. I'm sure Munguia going to be competitive. But I'm also looking for Canelo to straight stop him with a nice uppercut like Billy Joe. But, Josh, get your final thoughts because you know the bell rang. Got to get to these cops. All right. Can you, uh, can you get an interview with, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, the retrainer from New York, Rogier or something? Oh, he yeah. Has, uh, he has that 26-pounder, the Dominican – uh, Nunez, but I, I haven't heard nothing about him fighting anybody. I don't a, think he got Nunez. Ain't Bob Santos with Nunez, or is that another Dominican? Damn, Bob just snatching motherfuckers, ain't he? I, I mean, I, last I remember seeing him, he was with uh, Rozier, and that was, uh, shit, man, that was the Brandon Lee card when he Luis fought with Tampa. Nunez? Yeah, Luis Nunez. Face. He fought uh, Jonathan Ferrero on Benavidez and Nah, this dude is trained by Bob Santos. I needed just to see his face. He's trained by Bob Santos. He's actually been active. He just got a fight, didn't he? I think he has a fight lined up for like a WBA eliminator. Nah, nah, he's been inactive, like I said. He's he's been out all year. Last year. No, no, he's inactive right now, but he has a he has a fight lined up. This guy, let me tell you, this guy, unless he's no longer with Bob, but when I said I seen Delo Santos spar. He was in there sparring too. This kid. Yep, yep. He uh, he's he's cool with Delos Santos, but that's all I got, Ness. You got it. Let me just screen share this for for purposes. This is the Luis Nunez we talking about. He's supposed to be a puncher. I mean, that's what they tell me in the gym. We got to see. You know, uh, it would be great if Danny got to to Bob Santos' gym. There's a lot of people over there. And uh, like I said, I hear that Edwin is fighting Rayo. He's supposed to be getting back from the DR this week or la or no, this week or or last week. Um, who we got? Rod. Hey, Ness. Yeah. So this this guy that got ten dollars out of it today, man. Tell him congratulations. But uh, <laughs> but he he's not listening to Danny. His argument is not in good faith. His argument is tailored around as if it's an opinion. So what I mean by that is is when he comes, if he comes back on and does another uh super chat to come back on, ask him what scientific studies to give us the sources that told him that humans were stronger back then than they are today. Because what he's not understanding, what Danny is saying is, it's not that we can't do what they did back then. It's just that we decide not to because we want our bodies to last longer. We want to be at our peaks longer. And if you look at it, when those fighters fought those fights, their bodies broke down faster. When those basketball players played all those games, 
their bodies broke down faster. They may have played 10, 12 years, but in year 12, they was averaging 10 points a game and their knees was messed up, the back was messed up because of the way they did things. So we just got smarter, as Danny said, and said, hey, if you could cut 10 games off each year, then you could extend your peak for another six or seven years. So it's not that they're stronger. Do you think some guy in the, in the 60s who was uh, 6'4", 130 pounds, is stronger than LeBron James, who is 6'9", 270 pounds, and bench 450 pounds? Do you think he's stronger? No. It's just that he's that we're smarter today. And so Danny is absolutely right. It, unless you can show me some scientific study to say that humans today cannot withstand or cannot do the things they did back then, then your point is irrelevant. You have to be able to show that humans were actually weaker today than they were back then. That's not the case. If we had to, we would do it. Our bodies would just break down just as fast as their bodies broke down. That would be the only difference. So his argument is not in good faith. And Danny is absolutely right on this 100%. And the last thing I say is, is Wilder should take a fight this summer, get a win, because that will make the AJ fight more interesting. And with Fury and Uzi tied up and Parker tied up, him and AJ could fight in September. And it still will be you know, a good fight. So that's my call. All right, Rod. You are the man. Let's see what we got. Who is next? Uh, years of lurking. Two dollars super chat. Fighters are fighting two times a year because of pay. Exactly. If they, if they would, if they would, you know, not be, if they would be cool. You know what I'm saying? With making a lot less to sacrifice activity for two times a year, like have one big fight. In two bullshit fights, two stay busy fights, go to your hometown, be Bud Crawford, do those two, and then now you're nice and tuned up, your time is right for the big fight. But again, we fucking dreaming, hoping, wishing, all that greatness, man. Fucking hell. Who do we got here? Actually, I know what we're doing. We are... I'm wishing on a star. LV. Slugger. Shit, LV, give me a minute. J. Billy, get your counter. Per, my bad, my bad. Yo, they sound like the people that's like, oh, we need same day weigh-ins. Oh, shit. It's like, bro, y'all need to, y'all need to do some tri- time travel, clearly. Y'all want to, y'all want to go back to yo. the, uh, yo, yo. to the old yo, yo. We hear you, we hear yep. you, we hear you, we hear you, we hear you. I we do. Hear you. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Shout out there, shout out Denny putting in that motherfucking work. Uh, Ness, I don't know if you said it, Damn, but I did. I think it was a fuck? Hell yeah. but uh, facts. but uh, I think I heard a super chat that said AJ say boxing type shit, where AJ is the face of boxing. I don't know if it was you particularly, nah, but I, I think it was a super chat. Yeah, I think it was a super chat. I think bro just got kind of confused because you read it, but uh, I'm in this boat with it. People are saying, you know, he's the savior or, you know, AJ did his thing. Shout out to AJ. Yeah, shout out to AJ. But it's like, fam, it was an 0-1 prospect. It was yeah, an 0-1 prospect. But, but why, why take that approach when we, as a community, we wanted Wilder to do this before even Fury got this opportunity. So now, I did. now we who, gonna... who, who is, We don't. No, no, no. On this channel, we do not push exhibition fights. Nah, we ain't pushing no exhibition you're fights. Wilder. Nah, nah, we always nah, want, nah. bro. I'm telling you, no listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm no, no, no. You, you wait, wait. No, no. You listen to me first because when Floyd fought Gotti, you was like, I think Danny mentioned it one day or something. You was like, man, what the fuck, man? Yeah, Let's talk about a, the top. That's not a you real know, exhibition. Like, that's some bullshit. Fucking who the fuck is Gotti, bro? That ain't even like, come on. We bro. want come Mike on. Tyson knocked out around here. It's a bullshit here. too. We seen, we seen Ganu vulnerable. We seen Ganu and Ganu vulnerable, and it was crazy because. During the build of the way in and then right before the fight, people were saying, damn, AJ looks scared. AJ looks scared. I didn't see it like that. I was like, bro, look locked in. You know he what I'm saying? Focused. AJ yep. looked locked in. What you, what you say, Marco? He, he looked focused. I'm agreeing with you. 
Bam. That's the most focused and locked in I've, I've seen him in a very, very long time. So I'm then, not going to say so then, ever. Why, you, why would you discredit the win then? I can do two things at the same time. But why? Both things can be true. We, we see. But, but listen. Just, it, no, no, I'm not saying I'm going to give you more time. I'm going to give you more time. I'm just saying, this aren't we on this show you know right me. now? But aren't we on this show right now, like, asking fighters to take less money for activity, but y'all going to laugh at him 100%. for fighting – for fighting to stay active, like it, we, we, no, like, no, we want it what both I'm saying. ways. All I'm saying, fam, is I'm reeling everybody back in. They they going off the deep end. You feel me? Like boxing is saved. AJ should go against Fury. This is the best. Eight. It was against an 0 one one prospect who yeah, just came from yeah, MMA. But, but, but guess what? No, let me finish. That. Let me finish. Let me finish. Come on, let me finish. You know let me finish. Let me finish. They said that because he fucking uh, did what he did versus versus Fury. Of course, that's. That's what he was. And let me say this. AJ stood on fucking business because if he lost that fight, if he did not look any, if he looked anything short of spectacular, it would have been bad for boxing as a whole. Yes. So maybe the win was good for boxing. Yeah. But come on, guys. Like, let's My not bro, overdo you it. You discredited and giving credit. I'm not you discredited in nothing. Yes, you are. Because both things. Life is a contradiction. You live to die. You say you, you say, so yo, come things, on, he's an over one prospect. And then you're like, but he's mm -hmm. but he but he definitely did what he had to do for us you for boxing. Yes, you said back in yourself right now. Because yes, it's a against an over one fighter. My if dude, you used to still, an over one. No, let me still say dang, what we finish, said. Dog, doggy, doggy, let me finish. Let me finish. Champ. Look, this is what I'm saying. If you fight an over one prospect. And you lose. If AJ would have lost to an 0-1 prospect, it would have been terrible for boxing, for UK boxers, shit like that, fam. You feel me? So the the win, he he looked great. I'm just saying, let's take from it what was from it. Like it is what it is. You feel me? Let's make the main thing the main thing, fam. Like he looked great. He did look locked in, but we got to know who who that was against. Okay, I don't want to shit no more. Shout out to fucking Joseph Parker. You feel me? Looking like Jonah in the belly of the fucking beast. You feel me? That's I was telling my boy, I wish more fighters would look at Joe Parker and get inspired. You feel me? They, they should be inspired by him to expire. They should be inspired by him. You feel me? I got to disagree The losses with that. that he's taken in. You feel me? The, the losses that he's taken and he's still active. Just stay active. Stay active. Your time is going to come back around. Shakur, Tank. Don't be scared to take these big fights. You feel me? I'm not just speaking to them specifically, but it's like people have to have that mentality opposite of Joe Parker. You feel me? We got to give a lot of credit to Joe Parker. I, I hope he's listening to this or, you know, his people listening to this because, you know, that, that was that was a great performance. It was, a, it was a tough fight for him, too. He got knocked down, what, twice? Was it twice or once? It okay, let's call it once. So, I, I, I kind of disagree. Thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Wilder... Wilder and, and uh, uh, Zhang both didn't do much. I looked at it more like what they didn't do as opposed to what Parker did, but that's just me. See, Marco, you, you got to look at what uh, maybe what get... Joe Parker was doing. No, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me go. Let me I got to guess. You gotta let me look... get right back to you. Uh, I'll get right back to you. Go ahead. Uh, Benji. Or should I say Benny? The fuck? Which one should we say here? Let me get to this. What's up, brother? Good morning. Oh, you you are you are muted for starters, and you're driving. How's this gonna sound? Unmute yourself. So you heard my call, huh? You heard my call. I said I needed you to jump on a stir the pot, but you still on mute. I don't hear nothing. It says guest has himself muted over there. So you can only you can. Help us. Still says you're muted, but in the meantime, in between time, this is the manager of uh, Elvis Rodriguez. So he dropped off. All right. There you go. Well, there you go, Danny. Who we got in the meantime? J. Billy, Discord. go ahead and, go ahead and finish. Spaces. I'm putting you on the clock, fams. You you out of control. You're getting one more minute. Up. Oh, fuck oh, yeah, yeah. We'll be, no, oh, wait. Let me wait, get We're going to try. We're going to try. He back. All right, Benny, what up? We hear you. We hear you. All right. He went back into cyberspace. 
All right, so boom, we're gonna wait till Benny get on. So this is what I'm saying. Maybe Joe Parker took something away from Deontay and Jane to where they couldn't do what they wanted to do. Because usually with Deontay and Jane, they're fighting fighters that's they're usually the same height, if not one or two inches above or below. You feel me? They're 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 either punching up or punching at the same level. So you really think that yeah, Jang, uh, that Parker made Deontay just circle and not throw any punches? Because we saw him do that against yes. Genius too. It was yes, because it was hard for him to look. We know uh, Deontay is pretty basic. You feel me? He is basic, so it was hard for him to Benny, get that that right off. Are you there? Because you haven't hard. unmuted yourself at all. Yeah, we're trying to get Benny on, yeah, but now nah, I disagree, you, champ. I try me think. when you're not driving, I brother. Just, it's not going to work while you're driving because I can't hear you. Marco, you got to think about it. Go ahead. Deontay, Deontay hadn't fought a, sh a shorter fighter on the level of Joe Parker before. So yeah, that's I not feel true. like Ed, he fought nah, for Spielberg, man. He, no, yeah, it's it, not you true. You have to understand, like, how many, how many so time champs is Spilka? How many time champs is Spilka? How many belts has he had? Come Bro, on, let's don't do this. Because Joe back. Parker. You, you just say he hasn't I'm fought. Not. You didn't say he ain't fought a I'm champion. Not. Like, don't get, don't, no, get no, 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 no. don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. No, 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 I did. You're not listening. You're not listening. I said on the same level. Bro, Spilka, I said he hasn't Spilka was mad he hasn't competitive. Fought. People used to oh, try to climb him for that. I mean, Spilka's on the same level as Joe Parker. I'm saying I'm if you watch that, the fight, you uh, see that he was competitive until he got Ortiz knocked out. is a better fighter than Joe Parker at the time. That's what I said. Is when, when we look at – let's talk to me, chat. Hey, 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 live chat, power chat, Discord chat. Let me know. Is Joe <laughs> Parker and, and Spilka on the same level? Let me get a one in the chat. Of if course Joe Parker, not. And, of let course me get, not. Hey, that's what I'm nah, – But that was, he was that, competitive that was, that was and he fought that's, someone no, no, that's, that size. That, now you pushing the goalpost. No, you. That's that nah, is what I said. You can run it back. It's on wax. Is, this shit is on wax. Saw, I'm gonna cut it up and I'm gonna put it in the Discord. I'm gonna let you see it. I'm gonna etch right, you. So right, what I'm that saying was is, an extra minute, man. We right, gave you an extra right. minute, man. Can't let you cook too long. Call, man. Let me Can't go let ahead. you cook let too me go long, man. Can't let you cook too long, man. That's too much cooking. LV, what up? We're wilding out. We got we got to slow him down when they. You know what I'm saying? Slow him down. Wilding out. LV. LV. All right. Fucking hell. Dom, what up, man? Y'all should, should migrate to Twitter spaces, honestly. Like, Discord is great. But that shit what up, bad Nash? issues connecting. Twitter's always, for the most part, better. What up, y'all? Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, good weekend of fights, especially if you're a UFC fan. But, you know, we're here for boxing. And uh, what we saw, that was a necessary moment for combat sports um, in whole. You know, as a boxing fan, I'm not particularly proud of witnessing um, that beatdown, but I am happy that we now have a clear distinction between a boxer sharing an arena with a mixed martial artist. We've had McGregor versus Mayweather. Um, was treated like a send-off for Floyd. And um, though he earned it, he didn't prove anything that substantial. And I felt like people left that fight giving Conor more credit. Um, he surpassed the expectations that people had. Um, the next notable fight, we had Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley. Um, Disney kid turned prospect, KO'd, two-time UFC champ, no problem. Um, you know, perhaps it was too much proven that night. And People didn't give that win much uh, credit. And then recently we had Fury against Ngannou. And we had Tyson going in there overweight, underestimated him, and didn't apply himself at all. And still got a knockdown um, a win with the no. knockdown on the scorecards. Yeah, so, he got um, knocked down, though. Right, he, he got knocked down and still won. So, you know, Ngannou got all the credit again. And, you know, hindsight 2020. But I don't think MMA is going to get any credit moving forward because uh, Ngannou showed he has no shot at boxing, not in any uh, capacity um, of a champion. You know, you don't send a winless fighter against the world champion. Um, not once, not twice. I don't care that he made it out unscathed that first exactly. time. This shows exactly why you don't, um, you know, 
do a crossover and I don't want to see any crossover again. You know, these, uh, you don't begin your career at the top and that KO was brutal. I've never seen nothing like that. Honestly, um, Francis got folded. He got folded to 7.30 PM. That was a perfect punch. You don't ever get an opportunity to even get a punch off like that on another boxer who worked his way up for a shot like that. You just don't see it. It was like AJ swung a metal bat at a wiffle ball. That shit was amazing. And AJ, he's been proving himself. I mean, this doesn't really count for much, but I do think he's a bad man in the division. And, um, you know, people should take him serious now. And I do think he should be up next for uh, this undisputed title once that gets uh, settled. And that would be an amazing comeback story if AJ is able to, uh, you know, work his way back up to the top. But after that fight, I think he's capable. And uh, one last thing, I want to shout out um, him again for just getting the topic of UFC versus boxing. Even Dana White had uh, gotten asked after his event um, what he thought of the, you know, uh, Saudi fight. And he said that um, he's he was, he's not a fan and he's ne- never been a fan. And that's how those fights will always go. Yeah, Dana I'm sure himself, so, I'm sure he's you know? never going to say anything happy, though. He also is the same guy that, you know, tried to f- say that, you know, there was no big fights for Ngannou in boxing. And, and, and you know, he was wrong there. But um, LV trying you again. TBV, TBV. Ngannou made 600000 in his last fight. Just got done making, I think, what, $20 million in this one? Mm-hmm. Yep. TBV fellas, how how it sound? Life, homie, set for life if he managed it right. Chilling, you sound good. Yeah, man. AJ, shout out AJ, man. Did what he's supposed to, just like I expected. You know, probably not as early, but I feel like that's what a guy on his caliber, on this level, fighting, being a two-time champ, working his way up to this level. You know what I mean? That's what you're supposed to do with a guy with no boxing record, jumping in with MMA. You know. uh I understand why he got the fight. You know, he and Ghanu scoring that knockdown against Fury, but I just feel like Fury supposed to got the job done. But you know, shout out Ngannou, You know, getting that big payday. He been one over there in MMA, never actually getting it. So coming over to boxing, you know, and actually finally getting that big payday. So you know, he did what he had to do. But at the same time, we needed this for boxing. You know what I mean? I feel like we would have got a lot of these crossover things. In the middle of these people prime, like similar to Floyd, you know, Floyd did with against McGregor because, you know, he was accomplished. He was going out, you know what I'm saying, last fight of his career. So I ain't really mind it too much then, but with these bugs, I would rather them do it similar to how Floyd do it more near the end of their career, you know, just for a big payday to cash out, you know, while they ride off to the sunset, but not in the middle of these guys' career because, I mean, you had a lot of guys talking crazy, man. Like, you know, you had actually had guys on the back call calling for the guy they won this past weekend, Sean O'Malley versus uh, Tank. You know what I'm saying? Saying that would would have been a, com- a competitive fight. But in the same breath, you know, Devin Haney shouldn't get no credit for Ryan Garcia or he need to fight the Matias of the world. You know what I mean? So it's just sound, that's just crazy to me hearing people say that type of thing. So, uh, yeah, shout out AJ for, for doing what he had to do to uh, get these guys back on track and just try to keep it boxing, man. But, uh, I do expect AJ to uh, continue to stay active. Hergovich fight. I'm not really feeling the Wilder fight right now. Just the fact that, you know, we just seen what Wilder did against Parker. I would want, want him to get a, a tune up in or something like that. But, you know, if Wilder and his team decide to go that route, you know, we rock it with the champ till, till the wheels fall off, man. So, uh, you know, hopefully they can get back active getting there. I want to deal in white for Wilder, man. You know, they got that history, you know, and, uh, I feel like it'll still be a straight little fight, nice little build up, and Chizora? a straight. Look. They saying, you know, some some light rumors it could be Chisora. I don't mind that as well, but we like you say, uh, Chisora is aggressive. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely gonna come rugged, but uh, his defense not as good as a Parker, so he might just run into a big shot from Wilder. So uh, I feel like the only reason why I said Dylan White was is with the history, and he got that win over uh, Parker. So he could try to right two wrongs at once, you know what I'm saying? Try to get that, get the guy that actually got that win over Parker with him actually losing to him. So uh, that's why I was saying Dylan White. And, and it's a UK guy, just in case he want to get right back in with AJ after if he's able to beat Dylan White, which I feel like he'll be able to do. So uh, 
AJ for AJ, I feel like a Hergovic, something like that, or uh, a Dub That's the bell, LV. I got Saudi forever. Yo, Lance Myers says that we remind him a lot of Chris Farley from Beverly Hills Ninja. Have either of you seen that movie? I used mean, to be one of my favorites. I guess he's as a calling kid. us fat, but I have yeah, you I know. I've, I've, well, Saudi, well, are you there? Fucking hilarious. Saudi, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm there. Yeah. Are you really in Saudi? Uh, actually, um, I just joined the. Uh, space and uh first of all i would like to to say that joshua fight was very good fight uh it was uh it, it was not uh as expected that he will finish it in two rounds uh the fight to, between ngano and uh, fury fooling it was fooling us we thought that ngano is a very strong person but i think tyson fury went to that fight with a lot of arrogancy and uh, also non hundred percent preparation. Uh, AJ, I think he get balanced now after. I do believe that after his first loss against uh, Ruiz, he dropped his uh, ferocious, his aggressiveness. He tried to be more tactical, and uh, he it, it was not him. Once he 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 go back to his uh, fighting. Uh, uh, structure like the, in the beginning, very strong, start aggressive. Uh, don't try to understand the, the opponent for one or two rounds. Just go and fight. Uh, that's that's uh, that's why uh, I think Joshua win. Now, what next for Joshua? I don't think Wilder in the same level of Joshua for the time being. Uh, Wilder after he got a lot of money after uh, the fights uh, between him and Fury I think he get a bit relaxed we saw the last fight uh, Parker uh, win easily and uh, that's that's a good point for AJ as well because AJ is always trying to improve he never settled down he is always looking for the top I think the most uh, weighted fight is now uh, Joshua Fury and uh, Fury with the Ukrainian guy. I forgot his name. Uh, that's from my side, and I'm glad Usyk. that um, our country... Osik, yes, Osik. Uh, that's from my side, and I'm very happy that uh, my country is uh, hosting all these fights and trying to entertain the world with uh, with fights that we couldn't see uh, in the near future with, without the support from our crown prince, Prince Mohammed bin Salman and is uh, trying to promote the country, etc. Thank you very much uh, for allowing me to speak. Hey, champ. You got to tell Turkey yeah. Atlas Sheik to make uh, Devin and Tank, man. We want Devin uh, and Tank. Yeah. <laughs> you telling him, like, <laughs> my, my boy is with him as well. You never know. Yeah, you well, never know who he knows, know. right? He, he, he don't never know who know. you yeah. know. He don't know who you know. Yeah. A lot works yes. to everybody, baby. Exactly. Exactly. We'll see. But I think Haney is, is will play with Garcia soon. Go ahead, finish up. Okay. No, you can finish. Go ahead. Yeah, Garcia and uh and Haney is uh I think in April. You're correct. If it's going to happen, it'll be April 20th. Yeah. Danny so says maybe it's after happening. that, we'll see Tank. And I think Tank also, I, I heard, I heard, I'm not sure that Tank became a Muslim. I saw a video of him uh, yes. in a mosque. Uh, That's correct. And I, I, I think that will, will help a lot uh, to improve also his uh, uh, popular, popularity in, 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 in our region. Uh, and uh, we will push from our side and try to reach to Turkey. Al Sheikh to push him to to make this fight maybe uh, after the summer. Let's go, champ. Appreciate yeah, you, man. Is. Thank you for calling in. Thank you for continuing thank to make you. this show international. Um, General thank Camino, you was about to say something? 
I was just about to say the tank needs to just stop saying disrespectful things over to Turkey Al Sheik through social media, and maybe the fight will have a better chance. Uh, uh we got general. Hold on, me no. We're open though. Danny, you ain't go to the Hardeen event. What event? Bruh, you wild. I was wanting to go. March 8th, they had a fucking huge event. I wanted Anybody to fly back me? just for... Yeah, yeah, I know. You don't pay attention to the chat that we're in. General Camino. Got a... Yo. What up, champ? What's good? What's good? Cool. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Uh, yo. Great fight this weekend, or Friday. It was a long-ass pay-per-view. I can't lie, though. Whoa. 11 and 9. That was crazy, bro. Up. That shit was 10 a.m. to, like, 8 p.m. Yeah, bro. It lasted a long time. But, you know, uh, AJ did what he was supposed to do. I, You know, I can't be mad at the man. You know, he came through. I mean, he did have the luxury of watching uh, Tyson Fury fight him first. So, you know, he has some... Something to go off. It wasn't like he just went in there not knowing what this guy could throw or would throw at him. So he had the luxury of that. But outside of that, you know, he did what he was supposed to do. He got it done early, too. He ain't let it go too long. So, you know, that's what's up. Um, After two good performances, even though one of them wasn't really like a high-level boxer, I think it's time for AJ to get back to business, you know, chase some titles. Granted, they're tied up right now, so I wouldn't mind a Philip Perkovich fight. I wouldn't mind another fight against um, Parker, although he already beat him, which is which is cool. You know, Parker has won some fights, too, so I wouldn't mind if they fought again and in a fight with Herkovich before he goes up against whoever's next, whether it be Fury or Usyk. Granted, um, if they want to throw Wilder in there, honestly, I won't be too mad. It's something we've been waiting on for a very long time, even though it's past overdue. Um, I wouldn't be mad at it, I think. Fans would enjoy it. I think that's something that uh, Wilder would get up for. I think we'd get a very high-level performance by Wilder if we got that fight. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, outside of that, I don't know. I really can't complain, you know. It was a pretty decent uh, pay-per-view. The fights were a little boring here and there, but they had some high points. Um, nah, you ain't That Nick lying. Ball shit was crazy. They could do better. If they're going to they try terrible. to keep us for that many hours, they should try to do a little bit better. I think they're learning. They, 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 they're. It looks like they're learning. They're, they're, they're gonna have some high points and some low points. I mean, we're in the first probably year and a half to two years of this, so I see them learning. Um, one thing I want to highlight though, like I was just running through Twitter today, and I'm just like, I'm. I saw Cool Boy's uh Twitter account, uh Stephen Fulton, and I was just looking at his account, and I'm like, damn. In a way, fought him, fought for undisputed. And got another fight announced, and we ain't heard shit from Cool Boy, bro. But what about what about this one? Jermel Charlo beat Castano for undisputed. Fought versus Canelo in undisputed versus undisputed, and and Castano was just seen hitting the heavy bag. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I mean, they got these. I I mean, it's weird with PBC. Like I, I get it. It's like they want to play both sides of the fence. You know, we a promoter, we're a promotional company and a TV show today. Tomorrow, we might just be the TV show. Friday, we might just be, you know, the promotional company that got a couple fighters that don't got nowhere to show anybody off. So I don't know. It's weird watching them. I hope those fighters get an opportunity to fight. I definitely want to see Cool Boy back in the ring. I don't want to wait too long, but it looks like we may be waiting a fair amount of time before we see him again. Um, Outside of that, I mean... Great job with the interviews with uh, Keith Thurman. I mean, I wasn't excited for that fight before uh, or when it was announced, but after you did your interviews and I saw his uh, opinion on the matter and how he feels about how his career has been going, I'm excited for it. I think we should get a pretty good fight. Um, I see a lot of people saying Tim's who stoppage. I feel like Keith can take him the distance. I don't, I don't see Keith getting stopped, but outside of that, you know, everybody have a good day. Thanks for taking my call. Moose. You they gotta unmute. Appreciate the call, champ. Moose. Gotta unmute. Yes, sir. Am I coming in clear? Yes. All right, now the brother. 
there's a brother that counter punched in and he spoke on what I had to say. And he said that uh, I was wrong and Danny was right. Now, for me, it's not about being wrong or right. It's about speaking on the truth. And the truth is, as he mentioned, is that we're smarter today. Uh, you'll have players take time off so they can extend their prime. Okay, that's cool. We are smarter today. But what does that result in? That results in being weaker. Because anytime you do less, you must, you're must you not going to get more. That's just the way it is. It's, uh, it's simple math. In order to get more, you must do more. In order to get to 200 pounds benching, you must do what's required. If you don't put in the work, you're not going to get there. You're going to stay at the level that you're at. Discomfort is what creates growth. Discomfort creates create, uh, allows for creativity to flow. When you're comfortable, you're lower in every way. You've made it, but you're not who you was when you were hungry. That's just how it is. That is a law of life. You cannot argue that. So you can argue, yeah, we get more money. We got more techniques and we're smarter. That's cool. I'm not even against that. I'm just telling you what it is. I'm not even saying that I want us to go back to the past. I'm just letting you know that when you, in order to get something, you must give up something. And if you want comfort. But champ, can you yes. just hear me out? Because it seems like, it seems like, like, I agree with what you're saying, right? But this is the point where we're not understanding each other. I've continued okay. to say you're only talking about what you see, right? So I don't yes. care what you think can be done between two weeks. Ain't no fighter having a full training camp. So we also have to take into consideration what we don't see. So, yeah, cool. You might see motherfuckers fight twice a year. You saw Devin fight uh, Loma in May last year and Regis in December. But you ain't see Devin in camp from December of 2022 to May of 2023. So does that work just get discredited? Hell no. And that's what I'm saying. Like, cool, yes, you, you, we may see less fights. But we not we never gonna see what's done outside. Just same thing with the athletes, and, and it's, it's the same thing. Uh, we talk NBA, boom boom, motherfuckers playing less minutes. What about the NFL, where where these motherfuckers is playing three more games a year? It went from yeah, but 14, the NFL it used is to be fourteen. They, they, it started as eight. Let let's be clear. It started as eight, went to twelve. When I when, you know, I only went back really to the to the late seventies and early eighties. By then, by then they was doing fourteen games a year. You get what I'm when saying? I say so it's like we not gonna take away because they played less than what people playing now. If anything, they try Can to take away from the athlete today because they they talk about they get more time to break the record. But go ahead. Okay. Now the first thing you said is that we don't see the Devin, the work that Devin Haney puts in when he's not fighting. And you don't see the work that the fighters put in back in the day when they wasn't fighting, when they was fighting multiple times per month. 15 rounds, my guy. We, this not a, it's not a comparison. It's not up for discussion. Do you get what I'm saying? I understand you're from the new age. I'm from the new age, too. But nah, if you're going to be smarter... I don't get what you're saying, because at the end of the day, then, then at said, the end of the day, if you fight four days apart, like my man said, Ray Leonard fought... How much fucking training is you getting in between them? Or if you fight in two the training don't fight, matter. Really? The fight, the fight, they don't, the training don't matter because the fight is fifteen rounds. So whatever training you're doing, it ain't nothing compared to whatever they're enduring on it on, on consistently. Uh, Do you uh, get them? You saying? got it. Because niggas, because they had to spar as well. They had to do all of that. And I'm not saying they did it. Uh, I, I don't know what uh, his regiment was in between that four days, but shit, four days, another fifteen rounder. That, or another 10 round, are you starting out at 10 rounds? That means somebody who's going through more, uh, they, they had to lift more weight in their life. More weight had to be lifted, so they had to be stronger. It doesn't mean that Devin Henney can't go back there and be just as strong, because if he's put in the same situation and has the same environment, he's going to be just as strong. And then you mentioned the NFL. The NFL, they've created rules to make uh, make it safer. So yeah, they can add more games, because it's not br as brutal as it used to be. Back then, Motherfuckers, it was it was it was just shit going on that's not going on today. So that's the only reason why they can have these games. It ain't that they got uh, anything as advanced. All they doing is saying let's do less so we can stretch shit. That's all it is. You don't need no scientific evidence or nothing for that. All you gotta do is look at what's happening. Use your common sense. That's all I got to say. Thank you. Passion, baby, I appreciate it. 
Passion, baby. Passion. J. Billy. Yo. You got me? Nah, man. You look. You sound bad. So you got. You. <laughs> Yo. What I'm sounding like I'm cutting out the audio. Good. How the audio? Shout, you shout sound out to like you on a muffled Bluetooth, my bro. Oh, man, I'm, I'm gonna tap back in. I'm gonna tap back in. Uh, Timboski, trying you again. All right, well, we got shiny suits. Remember, for nine months on the champ level, does Wilder regret not taking the Zang fight, given how slow and gas Big Bang look? Hey, man, we made money on that one through six pick, man. He did what he did. Um, yeah, and that's GTO, Instagram, and Twitter. Danny, where can they find you? They can find me at Ringwalk Danny and pretty much just the boxing voice for all footage, um, all behind the scenes, all the exclusives. Check them out there. Marco. What up? Uh, Marco, three underscores boxing. Not, you don't spell the word three underscores. You just hit Marco when you hit the underscore three times. Boxing on Twitter, on YouTube, and on Instagram. TikTok too, no? I see you on TikTok. TikTok too, yes. Ain't you yes. on TikTok? Yeah. Muchas gracias, mi gente. All right. Peace. Catch us on the next one. Arriba, dirt.